been watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Anyway. Oh, fuck. Stab at me. Okay, <laughs> okay, Rawls. <laughs> Wazowski, you didn't file your paperwork last night. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that boy. <laughs> Oh. All I know is us though a fuck ton of miss mission cerulean vouchers in that one time where everything went horrible and and Sam felt really bad and bought you and me a bunch of vouchers, remember so I, I, don't I still remember have that every one of those vouchers. Wait, what was that sorry? Back back in early Diadem, you got really upset because of one experience where we all went in together went really bad. And you bought Sari and I a bunch of vouchers to make up for it for some reason. Well, I've only got and six I still vouchers. Every one of my vouchers. I've only got six vouchers left, so. Well, that might have been how many you give. All I know is I have 18 vouchers, and I don't remember ever buying them. <laughs> so I'm good for a while. All right, so I have no idea where the uh, where that NPC is. I, I know they're in the pillars somewhere, though. Well, I just felt really bad because it was one of those things where if you do leave in that diadem, you're kind of fucked. Are you I don't know, fucked? We, we understood. We weren't mad at you. Either. Well, it's because there was a bunch of dicks harassing bad. him for some reason. I, yep. I wouldn't go there now for you vouchers. Because it's like, it was the... Same I, I don't remember specifically what was going on, but I do remember that it was a bunch of people that didn't want to do the objectives because like, oh, we don't need to do the objectives. Oh, yeah. people you did. don't need the poetics and stuff. It's like, yeah, we kind of want them. We're doing this, you know, to kill a lot of birds with one stone. We want to do the objectives. Oh, you don't need to do the objectives. And, and like, then, you know, they, Sam was like, no, we really do. And he was being calm and all this other stuff. And then they sh started being royal fucking jerks. Oh. Just wasn't fucking deal with it. Dealing with it at one point because it did. I didn't want to blow up. I didn't want to get pissed off because I was. Yeah. So yeah, where's the? None of us blamed you at all. We understood. It's like. It's by the uh, airships. Ah. Okay. I should have figured that's where it'd be. You don't really have to activate anything. You already have access to it. Just so you know. Yeah. yeah. Do we all have to? Do we all have to talk to the NPC, or does one of us just take like take uh, us in or? Uh, I think, I think it's just one. Hold on. Let me let me, let me try. <clears throat> Uh, Trials of the Fury. Yep, just one person. Oh yeah, but anyway, um, what I was telling you yesterday about the uh, fuck, what's it called again? Oh yeah, check disk thing that I was running. I did yeah. the check disk slash f thing and rebooted my computer so that it could do the scan, and it just instantly goes, okay, it's a hundred percent done, and then it it went straight to my computer. So I, I did the, you know, I scanned it again, and it's like, oh, yeah, no, there's still an error somewhere on your hard drive. So I did, F, you know, the uh, check disk slash F thing again, and when I rebooted this time, it did it right. And it actually started scanning it and, and doing all the other stuff. And then when I did check disk upon rebooting into my computer again, that's when it did the full scan of my hard drive and said, no errors found. Yeah, it seemed like that, that one sector was just a bug. Uh, if it's repeatedly coming up good, then your hard drive's not damaged. Yeah. Did you do um, SFC scan now? Yeah, that found nothing. That said, the that it found no integrity violations or whatever that means. Yeah, yeah well, we, the fact, we the fact that you're coming up with hard drive errors on blue screen, but not when you're checking the integrity, it basically means it's your motherboard. Yeah. Same with the memory management, because if there's a problem with your RAM as well, it would also pop up a problem. What? Well, Operation have... populate. I haven't really done. Oh, um, I haven't really ran uh, Memtest eighty six or Windows Memory Diagnostic in a while, but I guarantee you, it's not going to find anything. That's where we got to go. Let's go. <laughs> Operation did populate. I like that. So I like how um, it still counts our exploration as done from from before. Don't leave once you get your objectives done. Work on getting the world boss to pull. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Who said that? Oh, shout, shout, I'm guessing. The shouts, yeah, the shouts going on. You're not my real mom. A good place to grind afterwards is a place that we can go on foot. We have to go kind of on foot. We can't fly it. Yeah, the, the island <laughs> below has no flight. Yeah, that is a good place to grind <laughs> after. Ice cream is good. Well, you know what? <laughs> 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 I was shouting random shit and so will I. In-game mama says, Dewey. So, what was that about? 
going on foot for grinding? What now? Um, after you complete your mission progress, there's these things called ethereal gaps, where it will take us to the islands, islands below. If you see in the map, there's some islands that are grayed out. Mm -hmm. There's a shield there. You can't purposely go there with flight on your own. It'll block you. Oh, what the um, fuck? Why is Brachiosaur already here? Uh, yeah, I... yeah it's, it's a fate. Uh, he's oh. well, let's do this part of the fate. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, wait, no. Different fate, different thing. I'm I not there yet. Just a different mob. Uh, it's okay, fate... you'll still get credit for all this shit. But, um, and this is just regular fate, you know. You, you grab drops and you turn the drops in. Uh... And freaking those islands that are blocked off, you can access them, but only after you complete your mission progress. You see it at zero out of three. We have yeah. three missions. To do. Um, once you get all that done, then you can access the lower islands. In the lower islands, you can't fly. You just gotta walk. That's weird. And when it comes to the mission progress, each huh. mission has a uh, objective to do. Like we're doing it right now, use the sand trap to push back the Pisces. You do that, and then you get <coughs> your evaluation percentage to 100 the rest of the way uh, through fates and killing things. Once you do that and get your um, evaluation percentage to 100, it flops over to the next mission. <laughs> I, I yeah. love how. Uh... God damn it! I love how that's a baby Brachiosaur over there. Uh huh. Should... At least there shouldn't be anything to do with uh, fucking uh, Dinosaur Island or anything like that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that if I can't count that one out of... Now we gotta kill the Pisces. Oh my god, guys. Proxy. Hmm? Let the tank do that jab. Giant <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> Stab in the butt. They look like acorn cats. What? What? They look like Dr. Butt. Seuss bullshit. Or as my mom calls them, funky monkeys. I like how the crabs are called cutters. Use a scent trap to ambush pack pieces. Does that mean? Yeah, and the uh, scent trap has already been used. That's why they're spawning. Yeah, oh. I um, it once we land it. Well, so I just got two cool. lock boxes. I'm getting. Yep. Yep. Uh, the currency is damaged lock boxes. And lockboxes. It's a currency of 40 damage lockboxes to one lockbox. So okay. direct lockboxes are better. Each uh, lockbox you can open up later on. Uh, you can open up later on to get get uh, goodies, such as gear we need or to material. Build up. Evaluation. Yep, we got to uh, do fate. Uh, there's a fate down there, but. And there's a fate up here. Let's go here. Uh, well, actually, no, wait, not, not that one. Oops, that was dumb. I'd have to take the ethereal gap to get that one. Yeah. I mean that one. Uh, because the other one was blocked off. That was dumb of me. But yeah, we'll go this way. It does look like they rearranged some of the islands here, though. They did. It's actually sec section off into two different sectors as well. The lower area, you actually have to take teleporters to get to, and you can't fly in it. I am so fucking glad, though, that you can just fly out, fly out the gate. <coughs> that alone Which makes this nice. shit a little better. Yeah. And and then the, us, the more things we kill and, and face we complete, we'll get more evaluation percentage. Sorry about that. Face, though, man. Ugh. What am I going to do with my mic when I, when I stream that later, sir? <laughs> Plug the webcam in? I guess no mic. They don't. They don't register that as a mic. Oh. At least I don't think it does. I had to try. And then it would I'm probably treat it as a PlayStation Eye and turn the camera on, which is something you don't want. No, I don't think so. That that's set up completely differently. Ah. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know, man. It, unless your mixer has a way of doing things, but I don't think it would. I don't think it would work like that. Or me be able to listen to stuff, not me to give input to something. Five Lords loot of, boxes. Lords of the Sting. Oh yay! This is appropriate. Everyone else gets fancy mounts, and I get a chair. <laughs> I got a bug. <laughs> I got a broom. <laughs> yeah, but I got a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Although that reminds me of fucking Hocus Pocus, dude, where that one witch gets the vacuum cleaner. Oh god. 
Target is online. It's like, I can see it play this fucking day. Look, I'll even go in the first person. I can see that shit. That is not out of my line of sight, you piece of crap. I really hate it when games don't have intelligent targeting. Targeting. You know what I mean? Oh, that's too far above you. You can't see that shit. No. There's a there's a half a foot rock in front of it. You can't see its head poking above the rock. You're a tiny little Nikote. He's like, dude, I can fucking see it plain as fucking day. If I can go to the first person view and still see it, there's something wrong there. Fix your targeting. Uh, oh, this is getting irritated. Uh, I think it's this one that's closer. I got the white fat chocobo. It's called Excitable Boys. Ooh. That fresh fake popped up. Maybe we can get the older one and then get that fresh fake. We're in evaluation 74% percent 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 percent. Yep. Once it goes to 100%, we're going to get another mission. You get three missions. Uh, Per diadem. I actually prefer this style than everybody getting something completely different from everybody else. All right, go fuck off and figure out what to do. Yeah, this this is more so if you have the coordination. Crabs. Get a lot of things done. Crabs. Well, I'm sorry, Val, you got crabs. Yay! <laughs> Why'd you give me crabs for Serena? <laughs> um... Watch out for watch out for your shellfish, LG. You trying to kill him? Uh, I'm dying. <laughs> These crabs are. <laughs> Why can't I get off my fucking... Let me get off my fucking mouth! What the fuck? Oh, it's because somehow, even though I've got Windows notifications set to not show, they're actually blocking the fucking mount roulette button. Thank you. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> like you said. Aw, oh, these crabs. Look at all the crabs. Oh, crab legs for everybody. Crabs. Crab I legs. I blamed this on the midget. He gave us crabs. I'm sorry. My onion attracts crabs. My onion brings all the crabs to the yard and death. <laughs> Snip, snippity, snap. <laughs> I can't complete that. There we go. Five damage loot boxes. Brings okay. a whole new meaning to the term onion knife. Primary uh, objectives complete. On to the next objective. I just linked it, so let's go! Use sit ambush to speckled with Harkalax. <laughs> no, honestly, then all I really need to link, you just need to pay attention to your mini map and look for the gold arrow. I know, but you know, <laughs> the streamlining people appreciate. Gold arrow? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, on your mini map, you don't gold, see the little uh, gold oh! arrow over there? I didn't know you were talking about the mini map, I thought you were talking about the main map. Well, the mini map, just look for the gold arrow and follow that direction. Yeah. But I, I do it just to streamline the entire thing. Like, okay, here you go. And, um... Oh, you know the other thing that seems nice about right the new now? diadem is the fucking thing that it's not like three hours anymore. Or two hours. Ooh, that is interesting, actually. Um, the only time that your time will extend here is if you get into an emergency mission. And, yeah, every completion of an emergency mission is 15 minutes extra to the time. Oh, wow. Um, oh, but, wow. Unicorns. Really? That's the ethereal cap. Where's that fucking scent trap? There it is. Um, Where is it? Oh, you got it. Well, it's right here. Th this is interesting. <laughs> we got new mobs. And then, um, well, the interesting new thing about mobs, but not new models. Yeah. Well, yeah, they've reused resources. But of course, evaluation. That's like the unicorn mouse that white mages can wear. You ride. Or... If, we're done, if we're done with uh, missions, our evaluation points still keep on going up. After the end of the end of the, that, which I'm thing is used for like your ending rank. And yeah, world, yeah, and the world boss popping. In the world boss, yep. So exactly. for the white mage, how do you wear the unicorn? By putting it between your legs, and it carries That's you from place to place. So the uni so unicorn is a new term for tampon, is that or is it? <laughs> no, because males can ride it too. No, it it's just the problem is while the unicorn is alive. You have to keep telling it, you know, it puts the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> Good lord. You gotta, keep, you gotta keep the skin smooth, because you gotta fatten it up first to keep the skin smooth while you're starving it, so it loosens the skin to, prepare, to make it easier to make a coat out of. Ah! Oh. Learn a lot, lot from you, Buffalo Bill. I swear to god, these puns. I just looked, I looked at a fake old shard to get. 
We just need two more. Yep, they'll spawn. <coughs> I like hey, how wait. the is a giant. Those bejeweled unicorns are ranked two. That means they're notorious monsters, yeah? Or no? No, no that's right. These speckled pacalucks are ranked right, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I remember it's now. Easy. Yeah, notorious is, is five. I think star. They count them. Star was star. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah, that's a world boss. Is a star. Yeah. Okay. Although I killed multiple fives last few of them, and it only counted as one NM slain. I think it was the fact that NMs are the world boss stars. After we kill... Oh. We gotta kill, yeah, this one. Need a second. And then we gotta do fates after we kill this last one. There's a fate right across from us over there, the big fucking O2. Yeah. Excitable boys. He there likes the name of that fate, I wonder why. Cause he's a he's a Neo girl. Two Killer why? Tofu. What? Why are you pulling that thing? I like I don't know. Well, Look at all the rough pretty fucking quick. The hell? Look at how, how giant these things are. Oh. I just want to kill it. Okay. I... This looks dangerous. It looks a little dangerous, yeah. <coughs> the cool thing is you can pull these things out of the uh, the circle that they spawn in and kill them and so count. Christ, there's more tentacles in here than one of Dreamer's favorite movies. Well, what movie do you think is one of my favorites there? Uh, Tentacle Mania? Okay. The Seventh Coming? <coughs> Seven. I don't Splatter, know, but it involves, uh, it involves a lot of high pitched squeaking. The onion. Uh, blue girl? The <laughs> <laughs> I am legit confused. Uh huh. Okay, let's start. I'll just start naming shit that has tentacles in it. I got the Lamage Dock Box. Lamage oh. Dock Box. Oh. Really? <laughs> Uh, you do realize I said it that way on purpose, no? Over here. What's for wow. why, so, why somebody pointed out 13.5.17.6? What's over there? Oh, goodness. Oh, that's where the ethereal gap is. No, right. right. For, for that, um, for that continent. Um. Uh. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> this fate, this fate over here. The fate is right here. <laughs> the two Someone was checking the thingy over there, I don't know. <laughs> you just see, you just see Bo just be like, guys, guys, and he's just taking the whole thing. Uh, this is our target, no? <laughs> yes, yes know. it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Defibrillate destroyed me. Don't defibrillate my heart. Defibrillate. <clears throat> Dude, I don't get how my arrow three didn't hit both of those. They're like as close as you're gonna get to freaking being in the. Oh man. We have a game, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I streamed my raid last night, on so... The, on the way to the boss fate? What? I think that fate is, uh... past the gap. Someone check real quick, the... Uh, yeah, th there's a fate called On the Inside, which has about 16 minutes in it. That's a boss fate. And that's, uh, in a grayed out continent, so yeah. Yeah, that would, that would take too much time, I, I think. Why did it have to be fates, though, man? Ugh. I like it. Yeah, you would. You, you, you will complain at anything. Right. Now, I'm not now we just complaining at anything. Things. It's fates. Uh, just pull this Zuggerer, dude. Over here. It's a glue Why? 
Because if you kill them, you might snuggle the Odin. Yeah. We're at 95%. Those last five points. You might as well. Damn, this thing's what? tough. Or you want a Deus Ex Machina it so you counter its most powerful move in one shot and kill it when it's supposed to be unkillable. What? Hang on, though. Or unblockable, rather. Oh, Zontetskin? Yeah. Oh, like how you could pray to it in 11 and miss it and have it miss you? That was awesome. Kneel before Odin and it would, in Zontetskin would have no effect on you. In fact, that's probably, that's probably one of the things that pisses me off about 8 the most. It's, it's oh. it, it breaks its own fucking logic by doing that. What do you mean? Ugh. Wait, 8 does? Yeah, this thing that's supposed to be unblockable, this dude, because he's so fucking awesome, blocks it. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, with yeah, with Cyphers. Yeah. Like, wait, what? To be fair, he was augmented by Eddie's power, so... You could argue that logic, but... Let's go ahead and kill this thing. Yeah, but that the would, animation... that would make him the most powerful, like, being in the universe, which is just... Boy, well, he is supposed to be powerful. augmented by something that is supposed to... That's able to yeah. completely manipulate all time and space. So, at that point, he technically it would be. But he's really, <laughs> like you can explain it. It's just the animation is retarded. He's like, I've got my sword to the side. Oh, Odin's coming at me. Tilt. And Odin's like, Oh, I'm not gonna stop. That's gonna hurt me. Ugh, I just got clean because I'm a dumbass. No, the animation was stupid. Like, yeah, I'll, that, that was a slap in the face. It was like, what? Yeah, but you could argue that Eddie. Uh, you know, was augmenting his power so that he could rival Odin's, but come on. The animation could have been done a little bit better. Alright. Now we just gotta go here. What the hell's up ba, with this? Ba, da, ba, da, ba, Dude, those clouds below us look really sinister and cool. Since the command has attracted a greater pre predator. Okay. Ah, here we are. This little fucking bird thingy. Yeah, it's a pterodon. Pterodon! Darn, motherfucker! Pterodon! Woo! -hoo. Duck tails! <laughs> Duck tits! Woo! -hoo. <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing, woo! -hoo. Howard Duck! Woo! -hoo. <laughs> Howard's yep. a fucking duck! <laughs> New fairy like Howard's a duck! Ooh. A lot! I know everybody else hates it, but you call it oh, it's, it's so shitty. But it's amazing. <laughs> Wasn't there a Howard the Duck in that uh, cartoon? No. So who saw the new intro to the Fairly Odd Parents? What? They brought it yeah. back? <laughs> yeah. It's still, it's still, it's never, it hasn't stopped. Personal it's reward. Have, is a uh, Highland. Where's the bag? Oh, okay. oh, it's over there. It's over here. Everybody check your mission rewards. Mission rewards. Where's the bag? Right here. Watch it. Right, watch yeah. Let's click on the bag. I got right. wind materia four, dexterity materia four, strength materia five, four brass sky pirate spoils, and what else was that? Ten, you probably ten got ten lockboxes. Yeah, personal. You see reward. how it's damaged and then lockboxes. Should we use the gap somewhere to get down? Yeah, it's pretty much now. You can do whatever the fuck. Um. I really? Know. Oh wow! Yeah, you can't go below. That's cool. Uh, yeah, well, we need... yeah. There's a gap though. Uh, if you guys want to do this island right here, that we're yeah, the teleporter up. thing is right here. If you guys, that's the teleporter. Where are you guys? I I, I already put the flag by the ethereal gap. You got to use that to get to the bottom. Continents. I don't. Oh, I see it. Sorry for the step. Yeah, you can't fly down there. You can mount up. But you cannot fly. Gap to the ba boss fate. Where's the boss fate? Oh, it's already been done. Wow. Lock that. We have to get there quick then. Nah, it's, it's, oh, no, you actually can't fly. <laughs> oh shit, it just fell. Well, yeah, you can't fly, dummy. No, <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't try to fly at all. Hey, is that leaps off? La la la, boy, I'm splat. What happens, man? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, I just walked off into a gap. Oh. I'm sticking close to the villainy in case something goes wrong. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where it's <laughs> Hey, it's, it's, a, it's a level 5 bastard. <laughs> That's just. Bottom. What the hell? Why did I get heavy? Oh, God damn it. I aggroed the goddamn tree. <laughs> I didn't aggro it. Coming. Damn it. 
Well, it says it's targeting you. I didn't aggro it. It like turned. Now we're as I went. for the next couple seconds, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> At least it left us alone. You're a bastard. Wait, what are you guys? <laughs> we're up top. Where's everybody? Oh, okay. I was like, what? I don't know. Right there. It's not my fault. Where's the path you? down? There was a path down. I knew what it was. I but see now it right I here. Where? You're getting aggro by everything. I don't care. <laughs> I love how the tree just turned around and said, "Fuck you." <laughs> yeah. It instantly starts off with a weapon skill that heavy everybody. It's ridiculous. This is awesome, man. Let's go to this fight down here. All right. Well, we just run over that way, I guess. Yeah, apparently. Well, the fight's right here. I'm looking right dummies. at it. Yeah, the loose and dummies. I'm like right after above. me. We <laughs> run and get away from them. They don't leave me alone. I've been they've been chasing me forever, dude. Oh God. <laughs> really? Remember, this is the diet. I'm gonna have to deal with ads because you. Are <laughs> Shut the fuck door. up, Neon. <laughs> <laughs> you were there too. <laughs> yeah, and I watched they... him run right through them. What else was I gonna do? They were in the way. Fuck this. I got it all. <laughs> oh my god, there's four. <laughs> 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 they just oh. even, there's five! <laughs> oh my lord. Oh man. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> this is... This is some bullshit, Serenia. It's not my fault. <laughs> why, why can't one of you guys be a, like a mage that can do AoE shit? You both had to be monks. <laughs> Motherfucking monks. Just single target there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and Hector doesn't play. <laughs> Even though he was a mommoner. Uh, summoner. A mommoner. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than a dad deer. Is it really? I guess so. I mean, it depends on if you like boobs or not. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just want you to say what. Oh, Where's my... the one that is not attacking me? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like <laughs> oh my god, there were six in there. I just killed one. I need an oh, adult. Shit. Well, we got like 20 some seconds. We're not getting this fight, dudes. I'm sorry. No, we're not. Hmm. I wonder if I can blame a certain white mage for no, pulling all this extra shit. No. Because <laughs> I didn't pull the fate, mobs! Okay. Okay, Serenia. Okay. Yeah, hey, uh, I, have, I have a question. Where the fuck's your summoner? Okay, there he is. <laughs> oh, we still got fuck? two back yeah, boxes. Two. Fucking rip me. Uh, oh, what the hell? <laughs> abomination. <laughs> what Serenia did was an abomination. Hey. Oh, but no, but it, its move's called Bombination. I know. Bombination, yeah. <laughs> I was punting off that. Come on. Did you say punting? I said punting. Punting. <laughs> punting. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Lol at Serenia trying to take off. Not the trees! <laughs> uh, I, have, I have a question. Do you know that summoner? No. no. Okay. He, he's, fucking up the, he's fucking up the rotation. He's rotation. <laughs> oh my god, is it above us? It's above us, yeah. Son of a fucking bitch. God Fuck damn it. It is above us. I wish people on I wish people on Discord would stop sending me fucking messages. Oh. I just went around too, so I don't know which way to get up there. Wait, you said the ramp is there? Okay, the ramp is all the way down south. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm on Bismarck's bird. Here's the ramp. Here's oh, there it is. I found it. It's a bubble bird. <laughs> Tally forth. Tally bum, forth. Bum, bum. Back the trees. Nobody's Don't stepping in the holes. Don't aggro that tree. I already did. Bilbo, Bilko Gaggins. What? 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 <laughs> I have Bilbo, no idea about Bilko? Well, I got stopped. 
and slept and everything. Yeah, I'm Monk's still down. Asleep. Monk's down. Oh no. Not the trees. Um, so. I don't know where. Oh, he's home pointed. Okay. Holy fuck, what the hell happened there? I'm home pointing, because <laughs> that was some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, everyone was put to sleep and then all of a sudden he said, fuck the monks. Yeah, yeah it's just the monks go splat. Just take 19.6k. Well, the reason the dragoon lived because he has a higher armor class. Not just that, but it, he did enough damage where I could have lived if I had my max health. Unfortunately, I did not have my max health. And I was asleep, so I couldn't heal you. So I did like, not oh, have my max shit. health. I did not. No lulz. <laughs> Tornado. Uh-oh. He just insta killed the sun. 58,000 damage? I think we're supposed to split that damage with him. Because <laughs> there's no other reason to do 58,000! Too late now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know! I didn't know what it was! <laughs> he just He's died. playing Summoner, that's what his ass get. Stay away from the Summoner! The wood remembers. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Once he yeah. damaged lockboxes? Damn. Yeah. Oh shit. Not the trees again. All the Why do I keep using the flying mountain really? I can't fly down here. <coughs> we right, okay. Is this Ravana's or is it Zervin's? It's Zervin's, okay. It is kind of hard to tell the difference at first glance on those. Hey, just ninja. Oh my god, this thing's a level 4. Wait. I don't know what to do, I'm stuck. Well, we just killed a level 5. We did, but that was that was as a wait, team. Wait. I'm alone. Wait, wait. I'm what the hell here. mount is our... What mount is that that uh, looks like a fucking Fey Dog Wolf thing? That oh, Alessandra Fubeta is on. It does not well, look like the PvP mounts. Fate time. Yes. Fate time. <laughs> We're here. What mount is that? It must be from PvP, I would imagine. <laughs> I do not tell what that shed. is. Oh, oh it's what? the Black Panther, I think. The, the fucking Dark Knight now. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm uh, not sure. Uh, Roll. Uh, my healers are here, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> More people are here too. That makes this better. What's that fucking bird here? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> it just, like, it came up to me when I started healing you, so you must have aggroed it. I don't have any aggro on it. Ugh. Well, I don't know. It was just like, it turned to me as soon as I started attacking the fate. Why? Turn... What's with you and these fucking birds, Serenia? It's not, it came to me because I healed people. I didn't aggro it. Uh huh. Sure. Likely story. It is a likely truth. A likely truth. <laughs> he was too busy DPSing. Hit everything. Sanua, san, san, sanua. Alright, looks like- what oh, the fuck is starting to AoE shit? <laughs> the billowing billow co. Alright, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it, yeah, let's kill- let's kill things. Oh, if an sure. emergency mission let's happens, go. it automatically teleports you to it, doesn't it? I don't know, I haven't been part of one yet. That's what it seemed like the patch note said. All I know is killing these things, even though we're not getting drops, matters, because we're getting evaluation points. Mm. Which on my screen this is, is full. This is some bullshit. Every time oh, I drop no, no. down here, I get aggroed by something and it kills me. <laughs> They're like, Ellison, smash. Uh, the oh. evaluation points don't work how you think, sir. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're, they're calculated. Uh, the number is calculated behind the scenes. Alright. And it doesn't show until we're done with the data. Someone's getting targeted. Yeah, uh, oh, God, tornado. Yeah, you split the damage. Yay! Ah, oh, you bitch. Yeah, fuck you, dildo baggins. That's what Sari meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now it's just kill things. Oh. Let's get that tree. There's a big tree. Die, tree! You don't belong Jesus Christ, in this world. these things aggro, they instantly do the fucking leaf storm thing. Fuck off, tree. Oh, You're not legal in my state. 
Because he's ageless? Because I can't smoke him. No oh, shit. Nope. It's not. What? Cannabis is in a tree. <laughs> weed. Type for percent your percentage of gay in chat apparently. Fifty percent. Type for percentage of cocaine I wish I had in my system. One hundred. One hundred percent of cocaine in your system. <laughs> You'd be dead. <laughs> I want to. Fuck you. Hell yeah. Let's go. Type the amount of dihydrogen monoxide in your system. Seventy-five <laughs> percent, right? Ninety percent. Oh fuck, that's gonna hurt. Ow. God damn. Uh. If I try to get out of range, but it's really hard. Shout, shout, shout! Just got interesting and like two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I saw Big Black like... Daddy can't fuck <laughs> my wife. Sure thing. <laughs> Thank you, based God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> Ice cream is good. Actually, I can't see the shout chat. I've got it filtered out, but um. This is not the fate that popped up. Forest for the trees. I'm just gonna keep randomly shouting that and see. <laughs> this ice cream is me a child like... and abandon me. Oh. oh my god, it's so terrible. Wait, this up. Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this line, this train of people. It's the almost yeah, of the garbage weird. train. This is Fucking so garbage much weird shit cohesion. Easy Katka. Hey, wait, I know her. Uh, Up to ramp, bitches. She's from the oh, Gilgamesh go. server. Up to ramp. Heavy. You gotta go up the ramp? These wait, Mr. Happy? Mr. Happy? Yeah, wait, see, no, I don't know. No, I didn't. Mr. Happy is in that clump with you. Yeah, I know. I saw him earlier, but I don't, it might, I don't know if it's THE Mr. Happy. Oh, God! I, mean, I don't think he plays under the title Mr. Happy. But he does. No, no, no. I mean, he has. I thought he had numbers. No, no. His, his character. We see the Lola fell. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Happy. How you doing? The fuck keeps spamming? What the hell? God, I'm gonna die. I'm still gonna die. Bye-bye. Oh, fucking trees! <laughs> oh, the ah! trees! What the oh, hell? The <laughs> I got this Azle sh shit fuck. How's it spelled? Oh, really? Interrupted. M I S T E R H A P P Y. Uh, oh my god! Do you see this group Polaris Raider? Yeah. I can't. I don't know. I'm alive again. It's him. It's him. He's in a he's in a cluster of trees. It's him. Okay. He's currently streaming. Uh, who cares? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny though. Oh god, Age of Storm. Ah! I'm gonna get damaged. Oh, yeah, I see him. Hmm. Well, it's okay, Kay. It's fine. Okay. I got your attention, you little bit. Never mind. Don't be able to still. Rise and fall. You'll probably watch me white raise him. No, the fake just popped up. Oh, D Hunter. Kill. Are you above uh, us? Uh, is it above? I think so, because it's. We're, uh. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's I a cheated. um, an M. I cheated. Oh, cool. <laughs> I cheated time, but Die, it's a, bitch. It's just one mob. We all had died di bomb on one. Lemon uh, drops. I, I see another one over there, but let's take this one down first. I actually managed to climb the tree, but yeah, you probably saw me raise him just now, Sam. I, I closed the stream down. Aww. Well, I had my moment of glory. I raised Mr. Happy. <laughs> anyway. I did a fall with him once. It was weird. Oh. There's scholars down there. I can't raise them. You, you raised the dude that didn't realize that the... the that both Magitek things come from Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, I know. That was really weird that no one mentioned VI when he was talking but, about, oh, we're getting a new Magitek mod. No. But, that's the, but, that's but the way it was to have game. vast knowledge of the franchise, but doesn't pinpoint that one, which is extremely obvious. 
Yeah. I recognized no more it right away and almost nerded out over it. It's like, that's the way it looked in the game! Well, that's the awesome. moment you showed it to me, yeah. like, that's just like, oh! Uh, <laughs> the in-game yeah, model. But, but the thing is, no one in his chat was even saying anything about it that I could see. He's like, wow. Okay, now it's time to just kill no, things. No one noticed it, you know? <laughs> Fuck you, bastard. Die. Kill things. Whereas this version right here is, uh... Oh, no, I feel like I'm leading an alliance with just my retarded shit. Oh, I'm gonna attack a bird. <laughs> oh, I'll see 40 then, some people attack it with me. Okay. People will just jump on it. Ow! <laughs> what the hell? Why am I heavy? I was gonna say something, but it was so rude I just decided not to. <laughs> ah! Because you'll try it. Pom, 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 pom. Anyway. Oh my god, no. There's that oh. part of it, it's like, pull that tree, pull that tree, hey, okay. I'm pulling it. that tree. I'll say oh. it. Ow. You said, you said, why am I heavy, and I was about to say, well, I think it's diet and uh -oh. lack of exercise. Oh, ow. Oh, shit! That killed me. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I lived. I lived. How did you live a dream or die? What the hell? I had, one, I had one HP left. Well, yeah, I guess that means that you weren't flagged as in battle yet. I was. <laughs> wow. I got slept right when I engaged the tree, and then I was just barely into its ability, and it knocked me off into the fucking bottom and killed me. Knocked off Sam, too. <laughs> I'm just gonna oh. stand there. This is fucking brilliant now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What the hell, dude? Hey guys, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, later. Later. see you, man. See ya. This is a oh. metaphor for life. <laughs> <laughs> My lullaby brothers will avenge me. This is what happens when I engage a tree. Apparently, people die. <laughs> people die when they're killed. People yes, die when the tree anything. smacks them. Yeah, the scholars got me. Oh my god, I just saw that person die right oh, next to me. Kill the sex <laughs> guys, I see that fate. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting up. Yeah. Jesus. Not the trees. Build up that evaluation. Yep. There's still a chance that things dying could drop things too, just remember that as well. And chests actually, chests actually drop a lot of shit. Yep. So. I know you're gambling with it, but it's a gamble yeah. worth taking. Oh, it definitely is. Heal me, 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 heal me! Oh <gasps> <laughs> <Job>! <laughs> so are your balls currently in your throat? No, I'm not into that, room. Really. I'm not like you. What? Uh, oh, you okay, as soon as you said that, this freaking mom used Pearl. Stone, I think you made it sick. <laughs> the wood remembers. That I remember move, when I died. That move is so weird. It's called the wood remembers, and all I can think of is Petra, Petra's farm remembers. Yeah. <laughs> Who remembers when diadem was relevant? Well, I mean, <laughs> it, farm it, it, you think it ever was? <laughs> like, oh. like a uh, no. Oh. What? How did what? I kill you? I was I was weakened and it did 300 HP extra or 300 damage extra on my HP. You were a what? Because it does 19,000 and uh, 600 and something. It does and so much. Stupid, yeah. My max health at at the time was 19,000. If I would have known it was gonna do that much damage, I would have made sure to have a stone skin on you. Why did you run away from the? That's why it's like that, that, there that, wasn't that... enough people to soak. That's what I would have imagined. Yeah, everyone ran out of it. And I don't think it's a soaking mechanic, I think it's it is. damage. It is. Not a tornado, tornado yes. You have to no, soak it. No, it. It, it wasn't tornado, though. It was Bistral Ray. No, no, not that. The, the other guy died to tornado. Oh, yeah, that guy died to tornado, yeah. That's what I was talking about. I don't know if the ray is a soak damage thing, though. That's what I died from. Bestial Day. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, no, that one you just that, have to get out of the way of. Yeah, that's what killed me. Oh. Yeah, if you get hit by that, it's your own fault. So. Yep, exactly. I, that's why I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm too late. What the? Fuck! 
Having these things... Okay, you know what? I'll be honest. Even though I don't necessarily like Fates, having it set up in Fates in the Diadem is actually a lot better. Exactly. See? No, the no. way they implemented it. Yeah, because the way it was before, it was just utter disorganized chaos. And you'd see people shouting, Oh, hey, there's a T-Rex over here. Come kill it. Oh, Brachius will respond here. Where it's like, uh, yeah, no. Uh, at least uh, these, we can see where they're at. You know? Yep. And amusingly enough, they count towards our fate achievements. Interestingly enough. They do. Along with the, uh, our own special um, diadem achievements. <clears throat> so now we've got more damaged lockboxes. How do we turn these ones into lockboxes? Uh, what you do is you go back to where you first spawned. There's an NPC there you can turn them in. And uh, what, it, what it does is it doesn't turn into lockboxes, but the the 40 lockboxes turn into each one as one attempt. Yeah, the 40 lockboxes count as one, one attempt, whereas the, the, the damage ones is normal lockboxes are one each, they're equivalent. Yeah, but it takes 40 one damage one. to equal one attempt, that is. Well, oh, as it is, that. I've got 10 lockboxes and 105 damage lockboxes. Someone is screaming emergency. I'm guessing. Well, they're, they're saying emergency. <laughs> emergency. Ah, <laughs> uh, subsequential fate. It also feels like mobs are a bit weaker than what they used to be. Because like they are. Well, we're well, also stronger like, as players. Well, that and I mean, it feels like the you know because uh, remember the, before it was it was designed so that you'd have a bunch of people fighting the same mob, but here it feels like. It's still doable with just like one party reliably well. <laughs> yeah. I just got 20 more damage lockboxes out of nowhere. Oh, that, poor, uh, that poor fucking scholar. Huh? You fucks. <laughs> you really should turn your shout shout on, dude. <laughs> yeah, you mean that, yes. If you type one and shout, it'll spawn the emergency mission. At one, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck the emergency mission even is. Neither do I. I haven't seen one yet. It's like a mini raid. Oh, oh god. I god. am so fucked. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ugh. The Back reason why is because no. so many trees I couldn't see. That's exactly. the benefit of being a null. This... Ah! A null <laughs> A null at this point. <laughs> Shit, ow! There's so many fucking trees. I'm dead. How did I not die? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Delay. I can't fucking see. I have my screen like fully zoomed out. I still can't fucking see. The other tree it's decided like, to fuck off. It's like, oh, I killed Rogue I'm gone. It's oh, like so being dead. stuck in the tarred forest. Nope. I'm good. I aggroed something else with it. Ah! Help! Help! <laughs> I'm Fuck! stuck now. I don't know why. I can't. Shit. There's so much shit going on, I honestly have no idea what if is If you need on. me to pull something off from you, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I okay. can't see anything but trees in my face. I know, there's trees oh everywhere. What is I going killed one. No! I killed one! But there's all these different mobs and shit, people are dead. They're all dying. Sir! Uh. It's that fucking Endemian that, that Lucius pulled. It's still fucking affecting him. Uh, <laughs> what the hell's going on? Uh, I think these mobs need to chill out on the fucking AOE moves. <laughs> They're all AOE, yeah. Uh, that, that, that's the, the, new complaint. Too much AOE and die, dude. They're just giving us a taste of our own medicine, I guess. I guess. Uh, oh, no! Wait, no, wait, no, I got no, prey. no, no, no! Fuck off! Why? Fuck off! Fuck off! Why do I have prey? What is going on? Oh, I had a tornado on me. Shit. <laughs> and I didn't die. Hey, we still got that fate. <laughs> what? How? We killed the trees. No, no, no. Why is there so many of these fucking things here? Oh, uh, <laughs> they linked when we were doing the fate, and people were running Why around because they couldn't see. No! <laughs> uh, I am fucking amused. hell. Oh, I'm not shit. the only one that died. I'm just, I'm happy with this. Oh, that was that was that was stupid. It was stupid as fuck. <laughs> I don't fuck. I'll let that dude do with it. You got that one. I got these I, two. I killed the fucking endemian. Might as well kill the endemian because. Uh... 
I hate Just, this. There's so many mobs, and they have so much health. Can't do so anything. Much damage. <laughs> this is this is horrible. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. no! What do I do? You stand in there. We all really? take damage. Really? How? <laughs> Tornado. No, no. So how? Well, how do we get another one on us? I don't know. The fun never has to end. <laughs> it's about to, because I think I'm going to die. I'll use the LB before that happens. Yeah. This Endemian's almost dead, though, so if we can get kill the Endemian, I think we'll be okay. But... Oh, oh, he's running away! Pull back! Don't, good, nobody good, good. touch that motherfucker. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm, good, done. I'm good, bored. Good, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Oh, they're gone! Leave them alone! <laughs> what the hell? What the absolute hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. I'm gonna break this goddamn keyboard till G. Whatever that means. <laughs> Sounds like they're having keyboard problems just like I am. Everything's breaking on me. Keyboard. Mike, what's next? Oh, by the way, if, if uh, you guys want a, a chuckle, there's a fate right now up that's called Cloudy with a Chance of Thal's Balls. Uh, we're going for... Uh... Who's for dinner? <laughs> oh, well, and 50%. Garuda's horse looks weird in here. The lighting is fucked up on Garuda's horse. I didn't even realize I was on Garuda's horse. I was like, what mount is this? <laughs> it does not <laughs> look like Garuda's horse at all. Fuck you pieces of shit. Huh? I'm right here. Who abandoned us? No! This group here is fighting this. They abandoned us after the trees were dead. Let this get fucked by... The giant swamp thing monsters. Yay! Sheep fuck, motherfucker. Sheep fuck. <laughs> fuck boxes. Did you say fuck boxes? I did not say fuck boxes. I heard fuck, fuck boxes. boxes. Uh, and Tom just said not... slug boxes, apparently. I, I, not, I did not say slug boxes. What the did fuck? Did you just say fuck foxes? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on anymore, dude. Fuck boxes! <laughs> Especially those Fennec Foxes. Fuck them in that's, the butt! That's alright, yeah. They are weird. So we got 11 minutes left in Phoenix Phoenix Foxes are the best, because they got, got those giant ears, so it's like handlebars, isn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> how, how, how did you die, Mr. Summoner? He wasn't swift enough. <clears throat> oh, my God. But was he feathery enough? <laughs> I don't think he was light enough either. So I think he can also turn into <laughs> lockboxes outside of the diadem as well. I'm not yeah. sure about that, but uh, yeah, do you, know, you can. That's the little thing I think. The, oh, okay, cool. The concession. Oh god. Oh. It's just everywhere. <laughs> to my raccoon wounds. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> what the flying? Ow. Hey, I lived. I think it's because I have stone skin on them. Tornado, someone's got the fucking prey on them. I don't know who it is. Oh. Neo okay. EX. <laughs> our, our bard. <laughs> you don't know who it is, boom. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, find out quick as soon as Safe to say, he had it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Another fate. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who is that? No. I'm on a Sanua. So Sanua. am I. <laughs> That kind of random. Same. I can't see through the fucking tree again. Ow! Oh, Wait. The trees again, man. Oh my god, no, the tree. Oh god, no. Oh god, I'm slept. Oh god, he's doing his storm and I'm on my mount. Get me out of here. Uh... <laughs> I just freaking used Benny on you. Uh... And me? Thank you. Yeah, I had to. I appreciate saving. Uh, I got this tree. Backhand blow, really? This tree yeah. just used backhand blow. And fucking so goddamn you! <laughs> it slept you. <laughs> How does a bomb sleep you? An acorn at that. Like, here, have an acorn. Ugh. No, don't work, my guy. Got a chemical in it that makes you tired. At least you know I can sleep on my hands. I mean. 
I saw my hand blow, and he's like, I can sleep on my hand. Sleep on your hand. What the fuck is wrong with you, sir? You know, that's a good question. A lot of things, but we don't want to judge. Although, I do, I got one of the more useless materials right now. Battle Dance Materia 5. Everyone's like, well, now what? Huh? Okay. Oh. Uh, three. Ah. Right. <laughs> it's a tree, and Neo EX has it. Never mind. Oh, uh, backhand blow, really? Backhand blow job. <laughs> Missed a fun hole. No, 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 no. <coughs> Ooh, let me that. Oh, yeah, Bounty Hunter. Sound about this is fun, though, so we got that going for us. Just yeah, eradicate the population. Really, only because it's day one. Invulnerable. Okay. Here's, I know. Wait. <gasps> the wood remembers. <laughs> Special delivery. <laughs> <laughs> There's two flaring bikes. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> we just wanted to scare you a little, <gasps> apparently. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. This shit's certainly fucking hectic enough. God damn. Yep. It's awesome. Ooh, there's another fate. This time, it's something new. It's, it's one where I get items and turn them in. Char to get. Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf. Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf. Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolf, Wolf. Wolfie, 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 only I didn't say fudge. I said the F dash 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 word. Fadash to dash? How dare you say fadash to dash? That's a friggin' Why would you say fart? <laughs> what the fuck's an insular? Thank you. Fuck. I was trying to say ancestors and I said insular because of you. <laughs> insular. <laughs> hey, well. Oh, jeez. You're a fart, slart. You're a Tarble Bartle Wargle Slargle. Dartle. Flargle. Fruple? Fruple. Princess. <laughs> Sloople Princess. <laughs> a Sloople Pooper Moople Doople. Objective accomplished. Parcel Walnimal Dilda. Oh. Walnut Dilda. Dilda. <laughs> Walnut Dio <laughs> Dollars. <laughs> Doll <laughs> Dollars. Why, I, 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 yeah. Oh, long gone. <laughs> My cat's looking at me like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Don't worry, parrot. He's just high. It's right. She winked at me. <laughs> well, yeah, talk, will you stop talking simlish? I can't understand you. Simlish. <laughs> <laughs> Bazoo. Bonjourno. Flugelpog. Uh, okay, there we go. Knock the trees again. Down, it's way down south. I got two damaged block boxes. Two. I've got a total of ten lock boxes and. Goddamn. Uh, 157? Uh, 58 maybe? But how um, many scented crayons did you garner though? I don't know. Scented crayons? <laughs> I got 160. Damn, I should have crayons. 
<laughs> yes. I have 160 scented crayons. <laughs> One is named Onion Lollipop. Smell. Awesome. Oh, gross. Get fuck off, you stupid bird. Bird! Bird, 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 bird. Bird is the word. I don't, I don't like you, you dumb fucking thing. <laughs> and then after this fate, I think I'm gonna go turn in my watch boxes. I mean, we should probably wait until we get ejected so we can eke out as much time as we can. Hey, we could. No, not the bay. Fuck. Oh god, ow! I thought I died because the fucking twenty-four thousand nine hundred sixty-eight damage. Wait, how did you take so much? Oh wait, I don't. No. It's probably because of your item level, you don't have as much actual defense as I do. That's true. My item level is 263. Uh, well, uh, um, um, what? I'm taking a hell of a lot of damage. This, this thing is a, well, it's a rank 5 for one. Well, we also got a retarded fucking bird on us. <laughs> yep, we do. I don't think we're gonna complete this before we even run out of time. Oh fuck, I got tornado. Someone help me soak this. Ow! <laughs> He's away, I died. I took fucking 20,000 with that many people around us, really? Oh, Either this way, it was a death. What? These things are getting more powerful than we can ever possibly imagine. Yeah. Well, that's fucking well. Yeah, because no one else is using the LB. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah! I'm awake! Again. Rise from your grave. I did. I finished my nap. <gasps> I hate you, bird. That dude's fucked. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tank lived. <laughs> yeah. Why are but we did, killing But the boomer. I don't know. One minute, wait, raining. Uh, oh, no! for fuck's sake. No! Living dead. You only got 50 seconds. Oh, man. Either way, something's gotta fucking die. Yeah. You realize too that Zach's been solo healing this the entire time. <laughs> I'm out of mana. Oh shit! No. Thirteen seconds remaining. Oh, uh, sorry, but you're dead, dude. Yep. Yeah. Dead. No! 96 enemies slain. No! Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no! Bullshit. Bullshit, motherfucker. Bullshit. That was fun. It was. <laughs> Although I'm a bit fatigued from it now, Christ. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> exhausted. That's my second one so far, the new dad, man. Yeah. Ditto. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, let's see here. Open 40 damage lockboxes, yes. Uh, brass Sky Pirate Spoils. Which is good. Brass Sky Pirate Spoils. Yeah, Brass Sky Spire Scoils. Scoils? I don't know. Open the lockbox. Mm -hmm. Intelligence Materia Jewel 4. Jewel Orchestrian Roll. Something Savage Might Materia 4. 
Quick tongue with Tyria 4. Brass shy like... spire spoil. Legendary clan mark uh, clan mark log. Heaven's clan marksman. Brass sky spire. Sky did did did. Brass sky pirate spoil. Fucking hell. Sunburst has sky spire striking. soil. Scloop a doop and gobble doop. Let's see. Better that. Better that. And the secondary thing sucks. I'm gonna turn that in. Yeah, that that necklace oh. sucks completely. Celestine. Cool. Savage material. Oh, legendary clan mark bog. Oh. Yeah, I got one of those too. Turning in this necklace because that was pointless. Dog. Dog. Battlecraft Demi Materia 2. Okay, spoil collector. Um. Other. What do we got here? Deep red crystal. What are these? Oh wait, what's the deep clusters for? I mean, I, I have for crafting, but like, I wonder what the. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna check. Um, because I have no idea what those are for. Okay, so you can still get. Those, okay. Uh, they are for superior deep green enchanted ink, or whatever ink. Which is for the grade 3 wheel, the pilgrimage permanence, and nutriment. I thought you could actually buy gear with these things. Oh, here it is. You can. It's mostly for glamour. Yeah. <laughs> well, you get the Skyfire gear, which is cool that way. Brass spoils. Materials and gear. You can get dryad sap now. You can get ten of them now for one brass spoil. So that price is going to be spiking down. Same for the purified coke. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jew mouth. Did you say you had a Jew mouth? Yes, I have a Jew mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is that for? Oh yeah. Wow, yeah. Uh, I can get oh, heaven to three eyes and four you know, fives and shit. Cool. I gotta, I gotta go check my retainers and shit. Get out from my fucking. Wait, did they remove the? Uh, did they remove the uh, the Pegasus mount? No, it's still there. Where's it at? Uh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I already have it, but I was just like. Wait, what? Well, the Pegasus cult's new. That was never there before. Yeah, that's never been there before. I'm tempted to get there because I got enough to get it. Same. Yeah. Because... Might as well, it's a one-time thing. Yeah, and it's easy to get all that back up to get material if you want material right. from it. I'll be right back. And then you have Palace of the Dead, which we can also help you get material and stuff. I already got the Palace of the Dead mount. I, I, I can still get the, the minions from my land. But yeah, that's a lot of shit. And then what I need to do is actually move Gathering, because there's some materials in there. I want to check to see if they have them first off. And then second of all, they, a, lot of, <clears throat> a lot of money. You can make a lot of money. Oh, my stomach. Tuna Myth Kebab. No, thank you. I'm going to switch to my... Uh, black mage for a moment. How much is the battle of material five going for? <laughs> Item comparison. I'm keeping that just for oh. case. Oh. Okay. I'm going to choke you, Max. I'm going to choke you. Little bitch. But cotton balls. Oh, now they went back down to a normal price. That's good. <laughs> I don't like. Okay, yeah, there is a thirty minute lockout of the DM. If you leave early, but uh, by the time you finish your objectives, you've already done that. And people can't change jobs and on their classes and stuff until the objectives are done, so woo.
Welcome back, Neil. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh. I'm guessing we did the harder one. Yeah, we did. That was the combat one. Yeah. Well, they both seem to be combat ones. Well, you can, that, and that one though, you can immediately change your gather. The other one, you got, you have to combat. doing some more of that. Let me find another thing I didn't check. Yeah, I don't think I got the Lots for that. Hmm? I'm pretty sure I didn't get any lots for that. No, yeah, I didn't either. What's the plan, Stan? Well, I got some inventory space. Oh god, so do I. I got five Maki Matter, a uh, Maki Matter, and two postures that I can use for uh, materia later. Yay! Don't know what type of materia I would get though, since I'm actually capped out on accuracy and things now. <clears throat> Anyway, the only way that I could get a weapon better than my current weapon uh, for either one of my healers, even if I did manage to get a 280 weapon from there, um, the only way that it would be better is if it had 142 accuracy or more on it. Or, or, ours will say pure luck. Exactly. And the thing is, I don't even think the healer weapons could have accuracy on them, which automatically make my, makes mine better, because the upgrade from those weapons would only be very minuscule. And the fact that I would lose a little bit of accuracy, not good. <clears throat> it wouldn't be worth it. Or would it? It wouldn't be. Especially since there's nothing in the game that would really require um, a 280 weapon. Considering people were clearing A12S with 260 gear. So, you know. Yeah. I need to sell this stuff. Here, be real quick. Back. Welcome back. Okay. Most of the yeah. shit that I got was unsellable, so... Oh wow, the unicorn, or the, the Pegasus uh. minion looks cool. Yeah, I'll probably buy that here in a bit. Oh yeah, I did get a freaking uh, 
scroll, or not a scroll, but an orchestrian roll. How much does it sell for? Oh, 3k. Uh. Sell seems 15k. Yep, and I really fucking need Celestine, that's my problem. Okay, let's see here. How's that to turn the ammo cell at? Because dead fours are not worth using. Probably gonna sell that. Yeah. I should probably sell the accuracy four as well, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna hang on to that one. Uh, strength material five I'm getting rid of. Actually, Vel, do you want to? you want the strength materia that I have? Because I'm probably not going to use it. Yeah. Sure. I will use it because I plan on upgrading some stuff soon. Okay. So. Here. Wait, that's not. Uh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Well, oh, yeah, I don't need that. Oops. I meant to put that up there. Sorry, I saw a red and bought strength. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I figured since, yeah, you know, I figured you can just pop that into one of your uh, vitality rings or something. Yeah, I, I was going to upgrade some accessories later, and I'll probably pop it in one of them after I do. All right, I am back. Welcome back. Although, uh, now I need to step AFK for a bit. Okay. Right, back. I still need to make, you know, find time to work on my PvP stuff, because as it is right now, I only need 40 more wins to get the glory amount. But I want to do more diadem as well, so uh, distortions, distortions. There's a lot of distortions to make. Speaking of, I'm gonna use this thing right here because I don't know what orchestrian role that is. I just used it, so I guess I go should go to the in room and find out. Okay, let's go in here. Eventually, I'll have all the orchestrian roles too, but like answers is going to be the one that's going to elude me forever. Indeed. I wonder how you get answers again. You got to get a uh, drop from T5, a drop from T9, and a drop from T13 and craft them all together. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the nice. music I thought it was going to be. Alright. Also, they mentioned that there's that for some reason they didn't release the achievements or the items that were released in this patch. I'm like, why? Why did they do that? Hmm. Why did they tell us that new items were added but not tell us what they were? Same with the achievements. Well, the 280s and shit. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know. I am gonna look on the arc, uh, on the mock, arkin board and the moction house. Huzzah! <laughs> I brought that one back, apparently. <laughs> Ugh. Rip. Fucking moction house, get the fuck out of here, brain. Huh? In Paris, just spazzing out like a good little girl. 
Ah. I swear, whenever I call my cat's name, people must think I have a pair of like freaking parrots, and I'm like, no, no, it's just my cat. Her name is Parrot. <laughs> R R O T S parents. <laughs> Ain't that right, parents? Yeah, that's your name. You know it. As soon as every time I say her name, she looks at me like, "What? What do you want?" <laughs> She's a good girl, though. <laughs> Her's a very good girl. Good, good girl. Well, goody, goody, good. I girl. can craft the answers thing, but yeah, just give me materials. And answers are still absurdly expensive. Uh, yeah, a faded copy of answers is 176. I'm calculating the full price. The wise, the rise of the uh, white raven might be uh, might be the the what is the most expensive. Oh yeah. 700k for that piece. Ow. Uh, get a copy of Thunder, which is the T5. Okay, yeah. So you're looking at... Actually, you're looking at about a mil. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can guarantee you I can make it. Yeah, but the thing is, like... Let me see. Answers. Yeah, Answers it's itself the answer. is 2 million. Yeah, and for half the price, I can make it for Well, yeah, but what other stuff do you need? That's the question. Uh, blank grade three orca orchestral roll and one uh, enchanted um, orm reaching. I can make both of those, I think. Hold on. Enchanted orm regis ink is dirt fucking cheap. Interesting. Yeah, I can make the blank grade three orchestral roll too if we need to. But the Rise of the White Raven is 900k, dude. Yeah. Well, no, it's 700k. No, it's 900k. The faded copy? Oh. Oops. My bad. <laughs> I was looking at the yeah. actual one. Yeah. Alright, so what was it that you needed? Okay. Um, I need the blank three, grade three, or custom roll. No, I mean the, like, oh, I know you need the faded copy of Answers itself, right? Yeah. Faded, faded copy of Answers. Faded copy of Rise of the White Raven. Okay. And faded copy of Thunder Earth, the T5 one. Alright. Yeah, I might, is, I might buy a couple of those and get you to craft each one of them. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, because I don't have to worry about fucking high quality. And my craftsmanship and control are definitely up there. There we go. So, yeah. Alright, it's alchemy. So, like, I gotta rearrange my alchemy shit. Oh, hold on. Give me that shit. I bought two of these and two of these. Alright. Because I imagine you get you only need Thunderer and Rise of the White Raven to make those individually. Uh, let me check. I just spent two million, so or a little over. You're you're right on that on the White Raven one and Thunder. Yeah, you're right on that one as well. All right, good. Nice. All right, I can make those. Uh, but it, I think you it know, at least one. I still have two million left over, so I'm not too worried about it. And I really do want answers. I've wanted it for fucking ever. And if and I'm paying half the price, them. then I might as well use the money I saved to get the other stuff. Exactly Money's right. right. <laughs> you know, I'm back. <laughs> Isn't it awesome you have a crafty friend that has up the, all that shit up there? It does right, help. Uh, yeah. Fucking help. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah. Here, I'm going to do you a solid, actually. What's going on? Consider this the price of admission, or whatever. Oh, okay. Price of commission, okay. I guess you could say. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, Alright, let me... i got to rearrange my alchemy, though. Um, and my gear, because I have my new gear up there. Because I figured... My... Oh, I, I... Dreamer can make the faded... Or the orchestrion roll of answers for half of what people are selling it for. So I bought him the materials, and since I saved a bunch of money, uh, I saved a million gil by uh, getting so the Gecko. Yeah, and since I saved a million gil by by buying the raw materials, I went ahead and bought a second copy of Thunderer and Rise of the Right White Raven, so I can get those as well. I can make them all, and then I gave him a hundred k just just because because I felt you know considered a commission fee, I guess, or a, a, a tip, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> 
Cool. I didn't have to do that, but I just I wanted to. And I figured 100k for that, you know, I think now, that's Now, if you assumed you didn't have to, we would have words, but no, you don't. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, if it was any other crafter, they would have demanded a commission. Exactly. Which is ridiculous, especially the amount they charge. Hell, even for complete strangers, I don't, I don't demand a commission. I just yeah, say, hey, you why would you? It's like it's not like you're spending any of your gil. They're bringing you the mats. They just want you to put exactly. it together for them. Yeah. I mean, well, the only thing is, is effort. I mean, paying for the effort, I can see. Well, but even okay, then, that, I, I, can, I can only see that being like twenty k. If that. that. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you're making. Like, if it's if it's like a four star craft, not like it is you have like, the high quality. Uh, orchestrian role, though. Yeah, you don't, you yeah. don't have to. Well, <laughs> even if you could, it's not even an option. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Unless it glitches, because someone did glitch it once before and get a high-quality die. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's just all luck. That doesn't mean they deserved it. Yeah, odds are, too, they probably kept that for just... They did. Uh, they they kept like... it had it in their... Uh, they kept it, and you would see it on the market board for like, nine 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 nine, and it was legit a high-quality die. <laughs> it was like high quality regal purple. I was like, what? What? Why? I like How? Because like it glitched the algorithm somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. It's like, wow. <laughs> of course, it got uh, removed from the market board sure. eventually. Like, I guess SE corrected the bug, which m that means they might have removed that die from the person's inventory too, or at least made it a normal quality. It's like, ah. Well, but they had a picture of it. They did have a picture of it for a long time of the high quality die. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. And But, uh... I don't know why I need it. But, but yeah, like, depending on what it is, I can understand why someone would want to make a commission, especially considering it takes their crystals. That is the thing that the yep. crafters are putting up, is their own crystals. But then again, crystals are dirt cheap. You can buy, like, 3,000 of whatever crystal you need for, like, 100k. If that... Yeah, or, or if you want to put in the work, just gather the shit. Yeah, but like, then I, I wouldn't. If you're mind. taking the time to gather the crystals, yeah, I'm gonna see them charge a commission because that's time invested then, and time is money. Yeah, I, I, I gather my own shit. Like I gather all my own shit, but that's because I have the means. Might as well. Yeah, I mean, I could gather my crystals too with my botanist, but the thing is, it's like so long. Like I'm not gonna sit it's there and gather. It's like one, <laughs> one, I know. one. It's fuck, like it's I need three thousand of these. One. If it, if it gave you, like, three or four or five <coughs> or ten per gather, that'd be great. And it I should used do, to do it a lot. I, I tell you what, for me, for me now, I have other games I want to play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. so it's, it's, and that's not being mean either. If I didn't have all these other games that I, on my plate that I wanted to play and I've had backlog for a while and new ones coming out, I'd be spending that time too. But oh yeah, I, now, I, don't, my, my I personally don't just have a slight to... that you say that because yeah. it's all a matter of time investment. If you don't want to put in a time investment, you're just not going to have it. And fair enough. Uh, but I then again, the also, time all the, all the time this, is, this is the benefit of having friends because you do have a friend that will do that. And then all you got to do is ask me. Well, if any of you ever want me to invest, like, the, was, hey, can you help me get this? Then I would dedicate some time to it. But yeah, oh, yeah. on and my free time, I'm dedicating to different games. Why do you think I'm outfitting myself entirely in Ironworks? I have a massive amount of time. I don't have many games <laughs> that I want to play or have the capacity to play. So I'm like, okay, might as well invest. And that way, it makes me um, an asset to a lot of people, not just you guys. And wow. that way, I can have all my other friends too. It makes me an ass. Well, it does make me an ass. <laughs> it was that before you start the gathering. See? I'm the one. Alright. Uh, oh, by the right. way, there's a top I think you should see, Tom. I'm not gonna... okay. It's control. really expensive right now, you know, understandably uh, so. I heard that it's supposed to come from the diadem, but I don't know for sure. But, anyway. Okay. There's a set like that for everybody. That's just the top. The rest of it doesn't look all that cool, if you ask me. It's, it's basically a Mad I Max want thing. that! I Where the do. fuck do you get that? I think... It, I've heard it's from the Diadem, but I don't know. I don't know if it's crafted or what. I fucking want it. it. That is actually crafted, and I can do that. <laughs> I don't know what the mats you would need are. Um, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me check to see... Like, I don't what, want it myself. Okay. It's not okay, what no, I'm never mind. <coughs> I cannot craft that yet. I'm in the process. Of being able to do that, you need ironwork gear for that, and I'm actually working towards that. Ah. The thing about it is that um, it takes a lot of money because and or gathering, uh, because you got to get the one um, item level 170 
for the crafts that you do for the ironworks, which would be three offhands. I have one of them done, and I'm working on getting both the other ones. And then once I can do that, then I can actually start crafting the ironworks myself. I got to oh. deck myself out in ironworks though to do that, <laughs> um, and that takes materials and money. I'm in the process of doing that. However, I'm putting that on hold because I'm helping Sam actually with his crystal sand because um, he has he doesn't have as much. Um, ways to get crystal sand. So I'm going to be crafting him the Celestine, the High Elegant, you know, Chimera and Oh my god, and, the headpiece and, is awesome. And the fucking, uh... I, I only, like, the, the, I only can piece, make that. the only piece that has my interest is the body, but it ain't what I would wear. I like the pants, too. The pants, man... Now look at this, look at this. This is cool as fuck. No, I know. I'm building some more shit to my... Because I, for some reason, I don't have enough control without food. Uh, there we go. And, okay, so I need one more. <laughs> what does the monk stuff look like? Let me see. It, like I said, it all looks the same. Every one of it no, looks it the same. No, nope. it doesn't. Nope. You're wrong. It, no, it does look the same. It's just different color variations. And some of them have nope. scarves and some of them don't. But other than that, Any, it's the same. Anytime no, someone wrong. Something look wrong. At, you compare sure. the maiming mass to the striking mass. The bottom part looks the same, but the top part looks completely different. It looks the same to me. But even no. still, it's similar enough that I don't the, care. The, the main meaning of the tanking one looks there we go. Like, like I said, it's it's sim similar enough that I don't care, really. Okay, let's do answers first. I need three of these and three of these. Okay, cool. Alright, so... I don't know. Get the ink. But yeah, I kind of think that it... I mean, the top is oh, nice. Oh, fuck you, A means is awesome, the fucking headpiece. What? And anyway, uh, uh, as I was saying, like, uh... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tacos. The, the top right. is nice and all, but meh. Oh, okay, the platinum ink, that's what I need. Fuck me. No longer. What does the hilly mask look like? Let's go! How about the, 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 the harness? You get only one? I just need one, goddammit. Oh, I like the, the harness for the healers. Um, I need a bowling tree. How much is it? How much is somebody selling it for? Go fuck yourself. Yeah. And that's exactly where it's like, I could do that for you, Tom. It's just a matter of, I gotta get up to that step. <laughs> I understand. But once, once, I'm, once I'm decked out, I will tell you when. I could afford this. They're selling it for two mil. But, okay, there we go. Uh, I ain't spending no two mil for a glamour. Answers. Let's go. Mm. 200, 2,500. Man, do I want that. I figured you might. Like I said, apparently it's Why'd opposed... show me that? Apparently it's opposed to drop from the diadem as well. By the way, question. Uh, when you start a craft before you do anything to it, can you quit out and save the materials? I don't think so. I'm going to check this out. Why? Did you screw something up? Uh, no, not so, not so much. I'm just want to make sure that I didn't. Uh, well, from what I understand, myself. from what I understand is, if, for example, you have not done a single step yet, yeah, you can cancel and keep the materials. But if you've done even a single step, you lose it. Okay. That's what I. That's what I think. I'm not sure. Oh, the full set looks awesome. If you quit during crafting, here. Right. Um. I won't say. Um, unless you haven't taken any steps yet. Okay, I, I haven't. Thank God. Right. Uh, I won't say. I know you Just do. checking. All right, so it's 62 star. What do I need to safely do that? Oh, I'm so tempted to drop two million. I won't say. Okay, good. Yeah. Woo! That scared the shit out of me. All right. I just want you to know that. I did fuck up, but it was just because I forgot who. Um. If I did, I'd be dropping three million because I want the mass too. Should I do it? I have twenty. I have twenty mil. Then fucking do it. That's a drop in the sink for you. Drop in the sink. A drop in the pond or whatever the fuck the phrase is. In the bucket. In the bucket. Yeah. The drop in the sink. 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 Oh yeah, uh, uh, drop breaking the, the law, breaking the law. <laughs> breaking the but, you know, law. it is really annoying. You know, it is really, really annoying to me that they uh, made it to where, in order to craft answers, you also needed the faded copy of the other two. That doesn't even make sense from a fr freaking from a uh, musical perspective. 
because it's like there's a faded copy of answer already by itself. Magic. Right, I know, I know magic, but I'm saying I'm looking at this from a realistic standpoint. Yeah, like in like in terms of restoring old music, you would need something to go by, you know, like a blueprint or something, you know. Exactly. It, You're wearing a bikini right now that fully protects your body like a suit of armor. Magic. You're not even gonna let me. M A G I C. But no, it is still really annoying that they did that because it, it should just be you need the faded copy of answers. Oh uh, wow, I was I was worried for nothing. Holy shit, this is ow. easy. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, there's someone right here with the body armor right here. It's a dragoon. It, it gave me 23 makers ah. mark rocks. 23. <laughs> And I get the feeling you're going to instantly glamour it, too, ain't you? Uh, I forgot what... Uh, you forgot why, what... Why won't you let me... What? Off! Uh, what? Um, fuck you, keyboard! You fucking sack of garbage! Yeah, you knew one will be there tomorrow. Why is uh, it... Right? It's been a bastard! Well, you know, I got the most expensive one out of the way. Cool. The only reason it's the most expensive is because it requires answers, Thunderer, oh, and Rise of the White right Raven. Yeah. And it's mainly the T9 part that's more ex the most expensive because T9's not done anymore. Yeah. T13, well, T13 and T5 can be done. Uh, even now, T9 is very mechanical heavy, so it's rare. That's true. Although, there is a, me a method that people have been using, I don't know if it still works, called the spin method, which is glitchy as fuck. I don't know how to do it. Basically, what it looks like, there's the, there's a video of it, and what happens is you have a white mage go in and aggro it, and then the tank grabs it, the hate, and then the tank just keeps running around Nail Von Darnus. Just That's all they do, run around it. And that Nail will keep trying to use Raven's Beak on the tank, but it can't, so it interrupts the AI, and then everybody can just pound away at it and beat it in, like, under 20 seconds. No mm. joke. Or, no, like they beat it in, like, 40 seconds. And, like... She don't do mechanics. And like even after you get so far to the fight, it'll it'll even change the battlefield as if she did uh, Mega Flare, and it's like huh. it's weird, man. And done. Uh, get your rolls. Yeah. See, Bulma briefs. <laughs> see here, look at this shit. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, Thunderer. Yay, Answers. Yay, Rise of the White Raven. Woot. This is why I love crafting. Being able to help others save money. <laughs> Indeed. Save a lot of fucking money. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't craft the thing that I was just after. Right? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I'm but, working on, on to where I could. I, I just dropped three million for two yeah, well. pieces. Just because you're impatient. No, I really, really want it. That's the, I have not... I don't... I wouldn't say I'm impatient. It's just, I've never seen something I wanted that much, so I haven't there. <laughs> no, you Fair haven't. enough. Fair enough. Like, because if I was impatient, there's tons of things I would have dropped money on. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I, I didn't have 20 million gil for no reason. <laughs> mm. well, no, you, were, you were impatient for that. <laughs> for that thing. But, but I saw it, and I had to get it. And I can get that money back pretty fucking easy. Oh, there you go. I think I already have footsteps. I get it back from doing mundane tasks, too. That's the fucking funny thing. That is funny, yeah. yeah. I just bought a bunch of orchestrian scrolls. Let's see, do I have uh, that one? Now to make a shit ton of... I have this one. Nope. Goldsmithing glamours. Uh, do I have this one? No, I don't, actually. Okay. Get out from under there, Max. I have that one. Wait, how did I buy two hollowed halls? What the fuck? Oh, I guess I already have salt put a brick or Wait, something under my... <laughs> Let me check. Do I have the hollowed halls? I'm sorry, I probably don't. Uh, I'm gonna have to put a oh, brick underneath the desk, that, the table that I have my computer on, so Max isn't getting underneath it. That if that table ever gives out, Max, you will die. 
<laughs> that computer will turn you into mush. Rip, rip, that. Just go rip. Boom! Just be blood everywhere. Oh God! Yeah. Why is that one so expensive? It's a, it's one called Notice of Death, and it's eight hundred k. The fuck. What about that? Oh. Oh, let me check. Uh, it's 400 wait. Day, Fog of the Phantom. Is, wait, the orchestral roll is called Notice of Death? Notice of Death and Fog of the Phantom. One's 400k, one's 800k. I don't get why. Oh, Notice of Death. I want to see... I think that's, that's, that's uh, the Master Buck I don't have. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I gotta go get that then. But, uh... Alright, let, let me go check to see what crafts that, because I am now interested. What one does that? Um, oh, sometime in the Oh, oh. No wonder Notice of Death is fucking expensive. Hmm. It's from Palace of the Dead and it requires 10 in pot shirts. Oh. Oh. And then what was the other one? Uh, something Fog. How much is it worth? 800k. Fog of Phantom. Here we are. No, the notice of death. How much are people selling it for? Eight hundred k. Oh, I um, I don't know. I think it's worth more than that because that, that the fog of phantom money. is five punchers. I see. Well, so who's up for palace of death? <laughs> Guess I'll hang on to my potchers then. Hey, maybe. Where, where did where did Sam disappear to? I don't know if he's back or not. I'm here. I'm just. I've just got myself muted, considering my sinuses are disgusting right now, and I don't want to ruin your I don't want to ruin your stream. He doesn't want to gross people out. I, I don't think I should spend any more money because I'm down to 1.5 mil now. Because I just spent about 400k on the other orchestra in total. You realize that I could have just crafted these things and you could have saved money. Meh. But they were cheap enough anyway. It didn't matter. <laughs> don't worry. If you could have crafted things, I would I would have got you the material. <laughs> I wanted that, uh, that bad. No, uh, yeah, for that, I understand. But <laughs> even, once I get Ironworks, though, I'm going to be purely uh, situated. Oh, I, I can craft my own fucking... I, feel I like craft all my shit. Now. All of shit, and I'm going to be happy as hell. I feel like, like such a dork now for dropping money on that that quick. <laughs> Especially <laughs> in, like, a day, it'll be 2k. No, Fuck off, be. sorry. I wanted it. I know, but like I said, it won't be. Like, I, I, I foresee it falling to about maybe 500k, maybe a mil. It really depends on, because the thing about crafting prices is how available is it, exactly. and the only people I can see crafting it um, without major expense is Omni Crafters with um, gathers. Yeah, I guess. Which that's what I am, so I could potentially I can get up there and do All that. Right. Sorry, you should come to me before I change any more of my look. This looks weird. Uh, okay. <laughs> This looks so weird. High in a nerd blow. Actually, I can get the purified coke now for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I look like? <laughs> it actually looks kind of badass. <laughs> what with the pink? Yes! That looks crazy. <laughs> I like it. Hold on. Let me try something. Let's see, temper if I cook, all that good shit, I can get it out of that shit. <laughs> oh, it died. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it's there. Can you yeah. do me a thing? Can you make me two Calibri pink dice? Well, give me a sec. <clears throat> I can make them if you can just give me the stuff. Wow. <laughs> I can make them too. <laughs> well, yeah. Calibri pink dye. Purple pigments. Is there any in the company chest or do you got all the purple pigment? Ooh, how's that? I, don't, I didn't get any. I didn't get any of the purple pigment out of the chest. Purple pigment, one hundred eighty gil. No, because I know Zach's got some on him, and he can craft it. 
And we might. No, we don't. That's the one thing we don't got in the fucking thing. <laughs> we got yellow, green, brown, gray, red, and blue, but no purple. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's got all the purple. I actually really like the healer top. But that's it. Just give me a minute, I'm looking at stuff. Uh. I look like I go ball in like those badass seventies and eighties action B movies. I love it. I'm so close to doing my ironworks gear too. But those mats are fucking expensive. They take up all your time. Hey, I'm cool with it. <laughs> Get mastery of the crafts and the gathers, make butt fuck tons of money. I can do that now. Anyway, I'm just not bothered. Um, yeah. I'm gonna link a few things to you, Neon, and I want oh, you to try well, and you... on and see if you like the way that it looks. Just, I'll make them in just a second. I'm just doing this, and then of course, okay. and the top and bottom are what, or the the mask and the the body are what you already have. But yeah. Oops. <laughs> Upon the ghost. <laughs> I can also make those sky pirate uh, gloves. Alright, let me try with that. It's not a lollafell. It's a gladiator. Ooh, I might need you. That. And with that. <laughs> ah! I don't know if I like how the pants look, but... Well, the pants were just something I was finding at random. Do you have Hollowed Hall, Salt Swept, or Fleeting Rays, Neon? What? Orchestrian Rolls. I don't know. I'd have to check. Why, are you giving me those? If you already have them, use them. Or if you don't already have them, use them. If you do, give them back and I'll sell them back. Okay. Why well, were they cheap? Yeah, they were cheap. Alright, well, hollowed halls I didn't have. Salt slip I didn't have. DD rays I did not have. Well, there <laughs> so, you go. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see how many orchestrians I have. Orchestrian rolls, I mean. Let's see. I'll only display the ones that I have. I've got. I've got 40 of them, apparently. Oh wait, no. I don't have 40 of them. I have more than that. I look like an action figure now. <clears throat> action figure! What we got in the... The sliding. How's it look under this light? Oh god. That looks sick, yeah. Wait, does this have a visor? No, it does not have a visor. Oh, by the way, there was another pair of pants that I was looking at, but they're stupidly expensive. Let me get you those. Or not get you, but let me show you. No, I don't want a fucking white mage. There we go. Was it this? Yeah, uh, I think this. It was this, but it's expensive. It's uh, 365k. Alternatively, there is. I think this looks really fucking cool, but uh, again, uh, um, that's 800k. Wait, 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 wait. That Griffin leather skirt is 800k. Yes. 
I, I can don't make really that. want the, the Griffin one with it, to be honest. It'll look good with those, uh, with the Sky Pirate Gauntlets and the, the Adamantite Sabatons. Why in the fuck is it so fucking expensive? I'm, I'm yeah, looking at the... The Heimskin the Bryas is 300k, so... And that's, that's harder to make. I like this, though. Because even why, the black on it goes with my shoulder pads. Why is the Griffin leather so fucking... Yeah. I gotta check well, Yeah, there's the, black the on those materials. pants, too. The ones I just linked. No, but I like the black on this because it goes with my shoulder pads. I hope that's not insane markup, It looks cool. I'm gonna check and the... I like the skill. Cross uh, gouging, that's what's happening. Yeah, it's probably... Oh, yeah, because it's okay. the only one up there. <laughs> Never mind, those pants don't look good when you dive in pink. And even then, they're... HQ or 750k, but then why would you HQ over Glamour? Exactly. I do really. Oh wow! Oh, that Griffin skin oh, leather. I... No, dude, the Griffin skin leather skirt looks really good. Because uh, with the, I'll like the, no, no, I'll show you. Like oh. if, if, if I were if I were you, which I'm not, this is this is the look that I would go for. Because I mean, look at this shit. I can get oh, all these materials. <laughs> there. Oh, well, okay. See, yeah, okay, I can see why the price would be a little expensive. Uh, can you do it with my axe, too? Well, I mean, I could. Not trade. Wrong button. Well, <laughs> da Okay. Pink Ranger. <laughs> Pink Steampunk Ranger. Or a pink apocalyptic I look like a, I don't know. I look like a G.I. Joe figure. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that actually does look good. I think it's cool. Uh, draw the weapon. God damn it. <laughs> it's important. How it looks in combat, I think. I think I can, I can make the griffin fucking leather. I can make all those materials. Yeah. The flame is important. That is an interesting flame. Thing is, I, I can't do a die preview and do the battle motion. So, you just have to look at it. Oh, I don't want that pose. Oh no, it could look cool. Uh, there. But I don't want to buy those extra bits and bobs yet. I'm fine with this for now, okay? I'm good. I like this look. I'm cool. Hold on, I'm not even... But yeah, no, I like that look right there better myself. But that's just more my speed. Although I do want to check something for my own sanity. Yeah, but but, it's, but the scale mill pants over a skirt will help you last longer in, in the Mad Max apocalypse, okay? <laughs> the scale mail looks like you're shedding. Hold on. Oh, I already have pads that I'd rather use. I do. I do. <laughs> Can you make me another pink? In just a second. I'm looking for a certain specific pair of my own pants. Parachute pants. Which may still be on the retainer that I'm canceling this month. Yep, right there they are. God damn it. I 
guess that don't look too bad together. Of course, I would obviously put on gloves and boots, but... Damn it, you're unable to trade it this time. <laughs> oh. You were looking for tape, trading? right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank I you. did that faster than him. <laughs> well, because I wasn't ready to craft it yet. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> there we go. It's really, really, really cheap. Alright, so what are we doing? Are we doing more diadem? Are, are we going to do some palaces of the dead? Are we going to fucking I punch goats? Punch goats. I'd rather do more of the diadem. Dia, 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 dia. This looks like I have some fucking crazy ass gas mask on. Just fucking little <laughs> bit things on the side of the mask. Be, be honest, you can't take a lollipop smell. They smell like weird poisonous fruit. <laughs> poisonous fruit with onion flavor. I have. <laughs> this smells so awkward because I. It looks like I got. Fucking road flares strapped to my chest. <laughs> I hereby dub you. I hereby dub the score com scorp comina. Scorp comina. Comina pian. In other words, scorpion and comina from like Mortal Kombat Grand. <laughs> Don't get on the wrong side of that. Person. Of course, just before I was getting ready to say it, I, I I didn't realize that I had the P and the K reversed, so my brain was like Sporkamina instead of Scorpion. It's Sporkian, apparently. Sporkian. Instead of a spear, it was a, sp a fucking sport. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> I, I, I'm rip off generic. <laughs> you are totally ready for the Thunderdome. Yeah, take a look at the one picture I linked. The other one. Oh. Huh? Which one? Because I see the two of Sari. Well, three or four no, hours. The last two. The purple That's... chastity belt. Has? Hmm. That's interesting. <clears throat> now, here's the real test. Just gotta stand over here for a bit and go. Whoa. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, practicing for Apocalypse Idol right now. <laughs> I just need to leave this here for a second. Uh, hmm. Here, here. You, you, you like can that. have this. <laughs> All right, let me try this then. I need to leave this here. Mm, no, I don't like that either. Okay. okay. What is that? Uh, why'd you link the royal? What? I was just putting it there. Oh. Well, the reason that I, I was, that was... The, the reason that I was doing that is because I have those glamoured over. So if I do try on, <laughs> doing show that it, like threw me off because like I thought it was something you linked. <laughs> <laughs> like, you and I can't use it, sir. Fuck. What's funny <laughs> is that Royal Seneschal's jacket from this event can be totally used to make a makeshift red mix jacket. Yeah, I can. But it's male only. Nah, it the doesn't look as nice. It's, like missing, said, it's missing all the badassery. That's it why I said the badass ass God damn it, Neon! That's why I said makeshift. I do like how the hat is on the side of my bulb. <laughs> I think the hat's cute. 
Here we go. I swear this this songbird skirt with my thing. <laughs> Everything else stays the same, but the skirt always changes. Hmm. Puffy skirt. Uh, no, your skirt is just Pretty blue. pennies. Don't you threaten me, sir. I'll threaten you all I fucking want, prick. <laughs> so. Pricky prick. The prickiest Are prick you ever so good? Super prick. Super prick. Yes, you super prick. Yeah. Super prick. Oh! Yeah. Oh, hey! Zidane's boots actually work pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, seriously. <laughs> We're dancing in the marketplace. Still don't think I would use them, though, but it looks nice. Kind of. Hello. If the Amatsu gear was diable, that'd be good. <coughs> Lightning's boots work, but I don't really want to... What about these shoes? No. Are, are you no. trying to find me for dominance of space over the fucking recliner? Is that what it is, Max? God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. He's going for maximum annoyance. It's not well. I'm going to choke my dog to death. So I'll be doing more diet. Dude. That's what I would like to do. Well, then shouldn't we go back? <laughs> but we could also do more Palace of the Dead. We just need Rognir back and ready to go to the floors 101, 101, 101, 101. Well, I think it's here. He's just not wanting to. Yeah, yeah he's muted. 101. It's here. Well, Palace of the Dead, we're all there. I'm I at just... 9195, so I'm close enough. I, I, I just think it's really funny. Or oh, just you and me, sir, we could we could power them through it, you know? Well, yeah, considering we've made it to floor 131 on our own. But I'm, I am worried that eventually, since Sam hasn't been doing it, I am worried that it's going to eventually say his gear is not high enough. <clears throat> well, we can restart our file back at 50. Uh, I would rather not. That's not, fair enough. Not unless we die somewhere. <laughs> kind of have to. I was say, yeah, at that point we have no choice. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's funny that both of the things we have planned require us to all four be in the same area. So I'm just sitting here hovering around <laughs> that freaking... <laughs> Alright. Alright, we need some method of figuring this out. Roll a D2. Uh, Rogue there, are you down for either one? Huh, Sam? Rogue there? No time. His vote is for the palace of the dead. The dead. And I'm fine with either one. I'm, I'm pretty fine sure. What about you? Yeah. I'm fine with neither. It's fine with neither. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> I'll go whatever. Let's go pass it then. Yes. We got one solid vote for <laughs> one direction. So. Yeah, but what about Justin Bieber? Well, he'll just have to... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what? What was so funny? Nothing. I'm a little confused. Good. You should be. We check the chat. Frickin' as soon as Zach said Justin Bieber, 30 seconds later, Sam says I hate that man. Fuck Justin. Do any of us know anything even remotely Justin Bieber ish other than the whole baby, 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 yeah. You're so shit. fine. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. I know. Eh? Well, do, do any of us even know that? I don't. I don't know anything about him. Unfortunately, uh, I, I, uh. Don't you I know a few things, things because my, one of my nieces looks Bieber. I'm so sorry. 
to All please. these corpses, they're everywhere. Martin McCracken. We're at quarter mill. That's where I'm heading to. What's your stuff or to? Money. But nah, it's because how because Quarry Mill's not that far away. I'm not gonna teleport when it's just gonna take me less than a minute to run out there. <laughs> we don't necessarily need ninety nine ninety nine. It's just it's ideal so that we have are at our strongest. But even then it doesn't even really matter until one fifty plus. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And none of us have a spare slot, at least Sari and I don't yeah, because we have our solo file on this one. Or yeah, duo yeah. file, I should say. Or duo file, even. The other file I use, just I use to level up my shit, so yeah, it's my solo file. The rest of it, I, I have that 101 saved. We should be fine. I just hope that you can get... Because the thing is, you can be getting upgrades as we go deeper. Yep. <clears throat> We must go deeper. Oh. Oh, understandable, dude. Do you got any medication you can take for that? Okay, we're all in quarry mill. Well, we don't need to be in quarry mill, you just need to be in the zone. Oh, wait, I'm 9198. Damn, I forgot my armor was that high. Alright. Into the Palace of the Dead. For a slave slot. I'm going in now. So, so, sorry, do you have a case of fishy legs? Oh, oops, my bad. I forgot I was on Astrologian for that. Wait, what? Asshole Logian! I needed to switch to Astrologian. Wait, no, no, you're, you're not the only one that has to switch their jobs. Oh. oh. I think he oh, was, that... Sam was on Scholar for this. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He was. I forgot yeah. about that. I think he just like, <laughs> take space, man. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> Here we go. We have we have two rows in this party. <laughs> yeah, we do actually. One's a row. One and the by other race, male. one by name. <laughs> <laughs> and one by train, and one by plane. Wait, what? <laughs> well, I, I, I guess I have to be by by plane. <laughs> a by oh, plane. Oh, oh, oh. Ha! A pan plane. Resolution. Oh yeah, we have all those pound numbers, man. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, da, 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 bum, ba, bum. Go, go, Apocalypse Rangers! Alright, so which way are we gonna go first? This way! Ha! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, this way? Okay. Right to right. the wall. Right, right, right. No, no, let him go left. I mean, right. Anyway. Look at my, my hands just get claws. <laughs> the claws. Just the Santa. Day. Michael be Santa. Ha! Witching. Uh, now I can go the other way. Yes! But yeah, as I'm sure you can tell, things are already stronger than what they were back at floor 100. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it does not. Let me put it to you like this it doesn't scale very well. It really doesn't. But it's intended to be a challenge. It really is. And, like, the thing about it is. Um, it will ramp up ridiculously fast. Like, me yeah. and, uh, to put it another way, me and Neon like cleared floor 100. We cleared floor 100 without even breaking a sweat. By floor one, uh, by floor 110, we were like, oh shit, we only have 10 minutes left. Oh. Because of how oh, hard the mobs were. We'll <laughs> Anyways. We'll be back. We'll be yeah. back. We will definitely be back, Shatter. He's dead. Alright, it's just cold down here. Oh yeah, this renders in the one. Another slow uh room. Oh man. 
Commander Steel. Steel. Commander Steel. Balls of Steel. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> That's that. That is an excellent pinball game, actually. It is. Okay, it's just just a golden there. I'll go grab it. Under fourteen. Like it. We still got a few more things to fight. Whatever. Because they'll be right in the. Fuck yeah, you, whatever right. you are attacking me. Uh, uh, the middle. Deep house. <clears throat> yeah. I guess this enemy was gonna be pretty hard. Boink. Oh. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And they got a strength of Fawnander. Pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm gay. <laughs> what the fuck? I have crippling depression. <laughs> I have osteoporosis. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? We're horrible people. Ooh, hey, hey, you know what? Yeah. You will automatically be revived. On and that lasts for the entire run until it gets used. So it's cool. Cool. Ah! Yep. Uh, uh, I think I wasn't over there. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> that rattled my skull. I didn't do it. Apparently, I've dropped 1,069 frames, which is a 0.4% drop rate. It's rarer than two, uh, the item 280s. Yeah, really. <laughs> Max, you're... I cannot get comfortable and, and at all. The thing is, I guarantee I know when I drop those frames, too. Hey! That's pretty good. But yeah, no, I guarantee I know when I lost those frames. It's when I was... Ow, I was watching Velvet no. up on a landmine. Um, it was when uh, I used... It was when I was doing the push stuff, because, you know, how, how to upload. And anytime I upload anything, it wants to use all of my connection, which fucks everything else. Because we know there's two ways this way. You might as well go Ooh, check it. Another silver coffer. Or, nice. or somebody can separate. That works too. <laughs> always, the onion. always blame the onion. Of course, there's a silver coffer over here. I think we should get it. Well, yeah, we will. Only... Yeah, we'll get it eventually. Uh, my armor now is maxed out. Okay. Say. Trying to avoid battle as much as possible. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. I don't know what that was. I think, <laughs> I think it was like a Mortal Kombat movie. Uh, no, I think I was doing the smite for them. I don't know. My legs are carrying me as fast as humanly really possible. Must get away from this priest. Bryo. Feel the power of pink. Feel the power of pink con. Shall pink. 92. <laughs> Shall pink 92. <laughs> it sounds like a username. But I'm, but I'm pretty in pink, okay? No, I'm a frog. <laughs> Good thing we got another healer. I'm a froggy. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go a court and hum. We also got a ziz. A ziz. A ziz. What the hell? How do I get got vulnerability? Oh, excuse me. God, my cards suck today. Yeah, to the face. Well, he's dead now. Narrow, narrow, bird and bear. Zon. From what I've heard, though, is floor is 180 predator. plus is nothing but one-shot mechanics. Really? That's what I've heard, yeah. Damn. I don't know if that's true or not. Although, if we, get, uh, if we get gold trim sacks from floor 150 above, that has a chance to get the $9 million. Dollar. No. Which I would use on the spot. Same. I Me too. It. <laughs> it's tempting to sell it, because that's a lot of money. If we get it two is. of them back to back, yeah, it's All right. just, just a gold nine. Uh, it's a gold nine over there. No, it's a fucking gold chest over there. And by the way, this fucker aggroed me. I did not attack it. It is bullshit. I did not aggro. It is bullshit. Nah. 
Yeah, the reason that I used that Palm Ender of Raising earlier is because, well, we already had three and one was in that chest. Where is that gold chest at? Oh, in the back. Oh, no, fuck that. And in return, it's is in a room full of three mobs, or four mobs. Tis not worth it, at least not without a ninja. Yeah, let's see if we can skirt around here. We'll probably get one, but I don't want all yeah, of them. Yeah, we got one. We got one. Oh, fuck that shatter. Shitter. Just remember, <laughs> the, all the mobs of palace is dead, you don't have to worry about... Uh, Positionals, positions. thank god. Yeah. Definitely helps you relax a bit more when it comes to that shit. Now doing positions actually can be a detriment in this because you might actually run over a trap in the process of doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, so uh, there's a horde in this floor. And this gold is an alteration. Alright. We do not want to really use the alterations because there's a huge chance we get mimics and I do not want to fire before the mimics. Yeah, not, not up here. <laughs> On lower floors, that's fine. You're just you're leveling your characters on Even though technically those would be higher floors, because we're going deeper and deeper, not higher and higher. Well, whatever. At, at the start, it's it, it's fine, because that helps you level faster. Very good. We're journeying to the center of the earth. I don't really know why I decided to go in here as Astrologian, though, when we started this file. I really don't. I want to go to the land of the lost, the I feel like I should have done the white mage just for the mind bonus, but meh. Disease, I'm gonna check the cover. Okay, it's just a fortune one. Go ahead and pop it. Yeah, pop it and grab it. Grab it. Because fortune is beneficial, it means that uh, they might drop more chests. Hey, it's a goblin! Is that good? Yeah, goblins, um, they give more experience in gill, and they also have a huge chance to drop a chest. Yeah, they have a chance to drop in chest. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Rip. Bad luck. Ah! Hot shirts. So now apparently, hot shirts drop my candy up here. And another Gabby adventure. Ah! Somebody's got his attention. Ah, me. There you go. Armor remains unchanged. Really? <laughs> Alright, fuck you then. Come this way. As long as Samaz gets rising. And it oh will... no, I got vulnerability up. No you don't. Thank you. <laughs> no you don't. What are you doing, you silly cat? Hmm? Yeah. Something somebody. It's gonna be in mine. Oh. Yay, Patchard! I'm so glad that chest did not also have a bomb in her. I'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, you'd be just blown up. And I I've still never seen way. any chest, but silver ones blow up. That wasn't a silver uh -huh. one. Uh, ooh, horde. Yay, horde! Alright, now let's go back home. Howls of distant creatures begins to fade, 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 <laughs> Damn it, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> the way you put it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm a goblin shark. Uh, one more puncher and I get the mount. Oh, yeah. Goblin shark. I'll tell you one thing, Man. though. Like, I want to get those orchestrian rolls, so... I might actually have to save up my postures to get those, especially get spares if they're freaking selling that much. Goddamn. Yeah. I don't even get why they sell that much. Just do ten Palace of the Dead runs or whatever. Some people just don't want to do the Palace of the Dead, so they'd rather spend the money. I guess so, yeah. 
I mean, otherwise, if there wasn't a market for it, it wouldn't be that much. That, That's that true. Price. I mean, I'm, it's got me tempted to farm it. It really does. Well, it's the same thing with the um, the amber orchestrian rolls. The vial, amber violkins, because you get six amber violkins, you get a, a orchestrian roll that's go 100k. Purity, purity. I oh, oh, I fuck. might have to. I might have to do that too. It's not like I'm going to be like, respecting my relic weapons ever again. So, of course, right now, um, freaking, I have one on the market board. It's been there for the past few days, so I think the, the price might have dropped. Well, no, I, I, I keep on checking the price all the time. Either that, or no one's buying them because potsherds are so easy to get. No, 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 it wasn't potsherds. It's the amber one. Or that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, eventually the supply is going to be, um... <laughs> uh, which one is this? Oh, it's a bronze coffer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak this. Yeah, well, we want those because those are what drops the... Yes, sir. Yeah, the potsherds. That's why I want to get Come on. Everyone's got one but me. <laughs> You're not special enough. I know. You don't deserve it. I know. It's a fluid error I just saw. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you don't get one. The shit like that. Yeah, that exactly. That is why you don't get it. Hey, <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> oh, that ain't... One word. Meow, meow, meow. <sighs> now my cards are starting to be special. Oh, really? <sighs> yes, Potcher. Well, you can cleanse it if you want. <laughs> it gives you freaking the card you want, or the cards you want, and it, it locks your ability. Yeah. Don't you love how there's a a fucking squirrel that's a couple of fucking what miles underground? What the fuck? Yeah, really. And squirrel. Oh, I, now I can get my, my palace of dead now. And a stag. How the fuck does this the antelope and shit get down here? <laughs> Got they were lost. born here. They were born in the darkness. It's, it's Bane Deer, that's what it is. Considering that how many probably these goblin are... adventurers bringing him down. Yeah. Another flight. Man. Ooh, oh, wow. How the fuck did you do that? Ha ha ha! You aggroed the squirrel. <laughs> well, there's also another room to check. Oh yeah, I, I wouldn't come. I, I was trying to avoid the squirrel, to be honest with. You. And I did. That, that's exactly where it's like. Once you avoided that corner scroll, that's why I was like, "What the? F How did you do that?" You know? I, Neon avoided it, and I avoided it, and then the aggro's the onion. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't so aggro it. Fortune, pop a fortune, pop a fortune, pop a fortune. Fortune that spawns upon you. That's a cool, that's a cool, that's a cool, that's a cool. You die. Wow. <laughs> you <laughs> die. Squirrel, dude. Oh, another strength. Wow, mine. <laughs> I'll take any chance I can get to become a manticore. <laughs> PMS, PMS, we're guided PMS. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More oh, you wanted to get manticored in the face. That's <laughs> oh, okay, I'm immune to knockback. We missed the chest back here, by the way. Might as well grab it. We did. Yeah. <sighs> One more manticore. Oh, it's a witching. Or the Yarsan. You mean the chicken? 
The chicken's <laughs> on. It's actually a Medjugorje, what the fuck? No, it's an M. Oh, M. Yeah. Only reason I- <laughs> I love how the other guys are just sitting there like, yeah, I'm an M. <laughs> Um, I only did that because uh, there was one right there in the chest. Might as freaking well. Plus, it let us kill it quicker, so whatever. Sprint disabled. Oh, what will I ever do without sprint? Let me sprint! Anyway. It's okay. This is a, a flight tour anyway. We need to go. We need sprint to go up against Horizon. We need. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just say that? Well, there's there's T-Mobile. <laughs> the joke was right there. I had to. <laughs> Team up mode change. <laughs> cool. Cool. One of our healers should use that. Or, or tank. <laughs> no. Right, sure. How bad that was. <laughs> Gordon's pack hellhound. <laughs> I don't get it. That was the powerful hook set. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a thing? I still don't get it. <laughs> Why is water thing? Powerful hook set. It's a fishing thing, sir. <laughs> oh no! 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 <laughs> that sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. Someone use a steel. Sorry, your Rogner. Let me use Rogner a steel. should, because where he's a lot squishier than us. Are you are you uh, saying I should be bait? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <coughs> yeah. Well, Dangle Lala fell off from off from a fishing pole for the fatter chocobo mount. Well, at least she uh, she said please. Throw me in the clouds. Oh! Ah, oh, goddammit. Aggro, yes. No, 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 here. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it's a hornet. Watch out for the final sting. Yeah, get the hornet first. I am popping, like, all my buffs and shit to kill that thing real quick. Let's fuck that noise. I think it's sting. And the hey, hornet poison. and the ladybug. Um, okay. Let's sneak around. Ooh. Ah! You know. <laughs> <laughs> Real greed only. It's only um, there's nothing else here but a hornet, so I got it. Uh, and it's a purity, so. Okay. Yeah, fuck that. No point. <laughs> I like all this you might interview stuff, yeah? okay? <laughs> so, apparently, Se uh, Sears' rear is that of an inner beast. He's that rear. <laughs> Man, <the> long <laughs> what? <time. laughs> Steel. My god. All these steels. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Even though you want to toss me off <laughs> out of the island and just have a hook in my ass. Ass hook land! Alright. This thing's a bit huge. 
take them down at the same time. Food, please use the other checks. They function. Oh, sweet Jesus. Is that gold? No, it's bronze. But the pot shirt is in there. <laughs> How much do you value pot shirts? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Damn. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm a fucking frog! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Seems <laughs> like you are what you eat, apparently. Hey, Serena got one. <laughs> this was a rather costly one. <laughs> uh oh. Shade shift item? I, I don't get it. Shit! Uh, we have a hippogriff chasing our elves. It's all good, man. Shriek. You just had to stop doing a fucking alien that you stupid hippogriff class. Pair of skies will uh, cack the pot keep. <laughs> I went this way first. That one should be... That, that one should be fun to figure out. That was not <laughs> really a sentence as much as it is a code. Yeah, fuck. I get it. <laughs> Although that, that could also be a euphemism for uh, prostitution. Well, technically, if you use it correctly, it's... Oh, suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The third skies. <laughs> S. Kind of fucks it all. <laughs> really be... Be. I already have one. <laughs> Lenosha lost straight. I'm rolling for it. I'm rolling the Chimera. Landwalker to Lancer Fallon. What are you trying to say? Kill all Lollafell. Sure. <laughs> uh, we'll be back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will definitely be back for that room. Oops. Chat, drop the Japanese language. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I meant to put. <laughs> so he wants to drop the definition. Yeah. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> uh, I think he's telling Sam not to do something. To drop the Japanese. I know. That's All right, not it's a gold. What... Fuck it. That's not what I was meaning to put. I thought I could translate drop, and it for some reason put Japanese language when I hit tab. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, which? <laughs> Three of it has been bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what we have is the Hornet, so. Boom. Oh, fucking play bug. Jitterbug. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got the Gaelic cat on top of that, too. Fucking bat cat, piss off. <laughs> Pan the cub. That was so dead. I had fun today. Did you see it? Dig under the. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling us to fuck in the palace of the dead? No. Oh. No. Oh. I'm enter of intuition. Cool. I say hold on to that. Okay. Uh, beetle coming this way. What was it? All right. No rhino attack, bitch. Wait, do I see a silver chest over there? <laughs> oh, get this. I feel the first blow, and then he says, I had fun today. <laughs> he assists the sacred soil how I thought he obeyed a lollipop. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Let's have fun. What is this fucking room? <laughs> oh my god, look at the hornets, man. There's so many hornets in here. Give me imps. <laughs> imps. All oh, the imps and frogs. My goodness, though. It's like right. Oh. See what it said. <laughs> Asshole. Yeah. 
It's also telling me to obey. <laughs> what? Obey, Lalafell! <laughs> Rage. It's a rage. Uh, let me get to the door. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead and just fucking. Alright, I'll open it. Pink. Oh, can somebody remove the knock back thing? Sorry, can you do that? Oh, this is uh, useless. Hang on, hang on. Ah, I can't fucking target my miasma thing. Not miasma. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I got it. Oh, no. <laughs> Sam got it. <laughs> so, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Middle sort of maelstrom inside. What? <laughs> You'll figure it out. Oh, I get it now. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and then we get a pomander of safety. How appropriate. And another rage. I'll save that. Just charge a copper soul in the place. Is that the rage over there? Yeah. Oh, There's another. Up this way. So that one's lust. <clears throat> rage and plus. Go ahead and get get ready to grab that rage. Alright. I'm Just standing right by it. Alright. Grab it. Got it. Whoa, whoa. Steel. We'll try to maximize our potential with this shit. Steel. <laughs> Haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? But you gotta use second wind first. But wouldn't that make it first wind? <laughs> <laughs> la 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 <laughs> Dark Force. <laughs> <laughs> Manticore jumping all around. We have one more floor. Then we have a boss. <laughs> Mantra <laughs> Jumbo Cat Pot. <laughs> Silver. Blind. Oh, fuck this. Aw, I need some armor with the change. No, leave, leave the blind up there. I, I, we got this. Time for destruction. <laughs> nice. Did you already use a uh, intuition? Because we might as well use it here. A what? Uh, pine matcher intuition. <laughs> yeah, there's a hoard up <laughs> here. Uh, well, I was wanting to save it till the next set of floors. You really don't want to use it on the last floor at risk of if it doesn't have it, it's completely wasted. Because oh, remember, those, those carry on to the two following floors, but it doesn't carry on. Oh, through. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I'm, I'm glad there is one, though. Oh, God. Yeah. I got lucky. Yeah. All right. Is this an arena for me? All right. <laughs> I, I put my money in the uh, mimic, 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 mimic. Mimic is dead. By the way, have you ever seen a mimic drop a mimic, drop a mimic, and then drop a mimic? Yes. No. I have. Uh, <laughs> you have? You get, Damn. You, yeah, you, you click a golden chest, it drops a mimic. You open it, it drops a mimic. You open it, it drops a mimic. It's oh like, God. <laughs> the longest chain of that I've ever seen was four. It's like a, uh, a chain of Russian nesting dolls. Like, what the Although, fuck? Although, when it happened, I'm really, really glad that we had someone in manticore mode, because it's like, flap, mimic, flap, mimic. Flap mimic, <laughs> and then finally, oh, here's okay. here's the ironic part or coincidental part, whatever. Or a after we finally killed the last mimic, it dropped another chest that contained a pomander of rage. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate troll. Yeah. Yay! Arm is at ninety three. Did you see my last one? No, I didn't. <laughs> Two o'clock swarm ship. Three o'clock blizzard. Four o'clock Lalafell death flare. 
Does someone already get the one chest? Oh uh, yeah, what, this one over here. Did they just say that there was one on this floor? Uh, the horde, yeah. Yeah, where the fuck is it? Hey, a pot shirt. Um, I don't know. I didn't see fuck? it. Did you see the <laughs> pillar of light? I didn't see the pillar of light. Because Plus, it... if we don't get that, then it would be a complete waste. I know. I want that. <laughs> yes, it's me. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. I would have been so fucking guilty, feeling right. guilty, if we didn't get no, that. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, I just want to, I figured I'd go ahead and warn about that, you know. I never want to use them on the last two floors, because you're at high risk of it just being a waste. Fair enough. And, you know, what's funny, I forgot that the Palmenders carry over with a pre with a pre-made as opposed to single. Yeah, so I can understand why you didn't, <laughs> what are you thinking about that? Take them down at the same time. I think doing two lava falls at once. <laughs> She's just admitting to like being double turned, being double penetrated by midgets. So. Oh, there you go. Uh, anything special on this dude? Uh. Hey, pop the glee dogs. Hey, Rogner, you want to do the list this stuff? I figure I should do Palm Ender Strength, of course. Alright, let's go. Let's do this, guy. Yeah, let's go. Apparently I hit X. Yeah, this is basically a souped-up version of the first boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. that, that, yep, that's what you'll notice. Um, when you're going through these floors 101+, plus, that is, all the bosses are basically the same. Just well, sometimes they might add a new mechanic or two, but they're just, yeah. Yeah, at least they the look, first three. And they do look different. At least the first three. I don't know if it gets, if it changes it things up. Of course, after we're done with this, I might go put a pizza in the oven or something, because I haven't eaten this morning other than a bowl of cereal after I woke up. That was oh, that's good. That's cool. Um, I gotta feed my kitties. That sounds like you. We can have a short break. No yeah. No more pals than Lynn. I might pop a pizza in the oven as well. <laughs> you guys. Oh, you're... Boom. Oh, and Aether Arm Flickers, 94. Hell yeah. Good job, guys. Hey, what? Hell yes. Oh, look at that! I had Palace of the Dead on my fucking thingy. Mm, my Chloe book. Two silver trim sacks. I give you all some, some lore and everything else. And poetics, yeah. Yeah, yes, exactly. Lower is what wrote me. I'm gonna go see what's in these silver trim sacks before I do anything. Same. And I'm gonna also get my mount. That's because I'm really curious what's in it. <laughs> Same. Here, have some more fireworks! Uh. Son of a bitch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mind material five. Fire five. Fuck off. <laughs> Fire five. But black mages would be happy with that. Quick tongue four. Five, actually. Over trim sack. <laughs> Ice material five. Yeah, alright, syrup down. AFK. Yep. General purpose pastel blue dye. Did you say pastel? Yes. Pastel. Pastel, pastel, same diff. <laughs> <laughs> alright, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put this on BRB as well. <laughs> Material 5. Alright, BRB. <gasps> Disembodied head mount. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, you
Welcome back.
<laughs> Damn, Sam, I'm sorry about that. Oh, that shit sucks. I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks. Oh. You should look at that video I linked earlier if you didn't already. Wait, what was that? You should look at that video I linked earlier if you haven't already. What video was it? It's all before the oh the breaking T9 shit. Mm-hmm. Look at that, yeah. This is a different video from the one I've seen, but it's still the same thing, same principle. Mm. Yes, I like the description. Spin it to win it. Mm. There's only four people in there. That's cool. I don't get how it works. Well, let's see how this goes. Ah. I think what the the tank is doing is he's uh, he was sprinting, he's just going around, 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 around. Um, I'm gonna see how this breaks the script. I make the Roshi doesn't do any of the mechanics at all. Yeah, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting bug. I don't know what triggers it or how they do it. Uh, it looks like they do it by just spinning her. Apparently her mechanics are based on position. And if you keep on just spinning her and keeping her active, apparently, it just scripts the script. Mm. Um, part of it, too, could be just the amount of damage you're doing, because the ground actually starts shifting when that would typically be a mechanic. Um, once you reach a certain health point. Mm. So that, along with the spin, could be potentially pushed. I don't know, man. This is weird. That's interesting. We had to try that. Okay. Provided it hasn't been patched already. Yeah. This is true. Okay, here's but the I, one that I saw. I could, I could definitely see uh, Essie missing this one.
and speed kill. That is weird. Observant, silver skip parties have nothing on us. <laughs> yeah, because they sprint. Uh, who's playing right now? Okay. And yeah. The thing sprints and then fucking just spin. Yeah, just keep on spinning. Put her right there and spin. That's it. What the fuck? It's just the fact that the tank spins it. Mm. You see, you see how she, uh, the tank is, is turning in the inner circle mm -hmm. of uh, Nell Dustarnas. Um, that, for some reason, could be part of it. Maybe. I think what's really happening though is it keeps trying to use Raven's beak, but it can't find the target. Possible. Because it keeps on moving fast, you know, it keeps on moving faster. And they're in an area where, uh, within their hitbox, that they can't target, you know, the uh, mob can't target them. Mm. Which is weird. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, oh man, let me get. And now this network was talking about fucking how people were missing Final Fantasy XI. Uh, and they they were pissed. Actually, uh, one major raider in the Navis network called Guffy Guff. Mm -hmm. He's pissed. He is outright pissed at the uh, di the diadem being 280 weapons. <laughs> um, he said, oh, they should hotfix the weapons to go 265, and I'm just, just giggling like an idiot over here. And uh, fucking, then, then they got the concept of, you know, uh, things were harder in 11, like the Relic Weapon took a year to complete. And, and I'm like, yeah, you know, that was kind of a niche game. And then Lucy says, well, 14 is not much better in subscriber count. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, that can't be true. Because 14 is widely more in, uh, inviting for players. 14, as far as I know from all the data I can pull, has already reached its peak, peak subscribers in the advent of A Realm Reborn. We're already in Heaven's We're Going with Stormblood. Oh, and apparently the, oh, the orchestrian role Jewel that I got earlier is actually a typo because it's it's actually the song called Engage because it's the diadem theme, but it's listed as Jewel for some reason. <laughs> In other words, they pulled the thing where, because remember when Twilight over Scanalan? Twilight over Thanalan was, yeah. uh, was, was uh, actually over Windy Meadows or whatever. It's called the yeah. Jewel orchestrian role? Mm-hmm. But it's actually I'm gonna grab, Engage. I'm going to buy it for two, 2K. Yeah, like I said, but it's actually Engage. Oh, okay. Which is That's the Dynamics theme, yeah. Uh, 
Rip. I don't know how they did that. I don't know how in the world they got the title mixed up. Because when they when they added Twilight over Thanalan, it was actually on Windy Meadows that the actual scroll gave you was. And you, you had to buy on Windy Meadows to get uh, Twilight over Thanalan. It was weird. Hmm. But yeah, like the video I linked, they're doing turn nine legit but unsynced. And um, they're having trouble with it because they're not spinning the boss. <laughs> For some reason, apparently that spin is what causes the bug. Um, it's worth a shot one day. You know, like we could just go in there and do it one day. Yeah, just because they works. They formed it. They formed it from formed it hard. Yeah, really. It, it would be fun for Tom because then he gets the spin, 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 spin the wind. Do, 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 do. But apparently, yeah, they went to C9 and they're like, oh, it's, it's easy, it's fine, we'll be okay. No, nothing was okay. Uh, hold on. I gotta scroll back up all the way to see this. Uh, click. Uh, huh. File manager dot sys. What in the fuck? How D L L? Yeah, you're right. Oh. What does that mean? Balls. What does that mean? Oh, son of a <laughs> bitch. You know, right, okay. Uh, apparently my... The antihistamines have kicked in a little bit. You know how I said when you... Uh, when you moved over your uh, install from your old PC to your new one? Yeah. Well. Well. Uh, the thing that can normally make it go wrong if you do that, i.e. if you don't reinstall properly, is something called the HAL, the Hardware Abstraction Layer. So, essentially, somehow, because you've had files from your old OS on this OS, uh, on both I'm hard back. drives, I'm back. you've got an error with your HAL as well. Which means that that point where I said, don't just move your, don't just move your hard drive over to the new one, reformat it before you put Windows on it. And you didn't. Well, yeah, because at first I thought, oh, well, he's changed hard drives then, since then. No, look at the time string. Yeah. Look right. at the date. Well, the thing is, the, the files below the, the red one, they aren't the things causing <clears throat> the crash. No, but they're included in the crash. They're included they, in the they, crash. The crash, yes. Because um, if they weren't ever included in the crash, when you when you have it, uh, see you have your dot dump highlighted. If they weren't included, the files would not show up. All that is part of it. Okay. But the main offender, the reason why it's highlighted in red, the main offender is the, the kernel itself. It's the actual file that caused the crash. Yeah. Yeah. 
Whereas the howl is part of it. I mean, they're all part of it. It pretty much goes down in order of most significant to least significant. Okay. Right. So the the howl being number two. Yeah. It's part of the problem. And then the local kernel debugger as well, and the uh, even the error reporting system's throwing up shit. Yep. The error reporting system <clears throat> is erroring. That's quite not, to, not, not to mention that, but bootvid.dll further down is a VGA boot driver. That is the that is the driver that loads before you get into Windows. Okay. Yep. Which that's, indicates that's, with that in, actually indicates a BIOS problem, doesn't it? Yep. That's a BIOS problem. So what does all this mean in layman's terms? Well, uh, it, it goes to show you, it, it's it's a multitude of problems. It, it does originate from the motherboard, but you carrying over your old um, operating system didn't help matters either. Well, I didn't carry over the old operating system. I installed it completely clean. No, you didn't. When you first built this PC, you didn't. No, I did, actually. I had you to didn't, because you told, you told me you, you didn't. You told us that you didn't. Well, I could have been mistaken. I don't know. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I, I don't remember. I just remember that I had to back... Kept, I, I kept know... all your old... Go on. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I remember backing up a bunch of shit onto the external hard drive and then re bringing them over later in case I did have to format, but... I remember you not formatting. I remember you just plugging it in and then saying, Oh, Dreamer said you didn't, you didn't have to do that. Well, yeah, because I, I needed to see if it worked. I mean, I was going to format it if I had to, but I wasn't going to if I didn't have to, and it worked, uh... so... You should have. The thing is, the thing is, it, the thing is, it didn't cause any problems at the time. So, it's uh, but he it was may still, have snowballed. But even still, I had to format it a few times beyond that. And well, yes, but because you've already got because you've had files on there on different hard drives. Yeah. But that well, don't the make itself. No, the how itself wouldn't be shockwaving all of this. Um, it it would only affect his hard drive. That, and that's that's the only thing it would really affect. Well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. and I, it doesn't really make a it's lot a, of... It's, it's a deeper problem. It is a deeper problem. The how throwing up errors is is partly because of the kernel going fucked. The kernel being the base of everything. So, it, it, it does make sense to how throwing up errors with, the, with attached to that. Yeah. But what makes what makes Sam scared about that, and, and it, it is a bit worrying, is the fact that it is the how, um, which part of the, you know, part of what you did could have contributed to this. Yeah. But, but your motherboard your motherboard fucking up, that's totally not you. Right, but the thing is, I like with the hard drive thing, like I've had to format a lot since then as well, and it doesn't make sense to me because if I format it and say don't keep my files install it completely fresh, it's like, "Oh, well, we, you know, we we realized that Windows was already here, so we're just going to move these files to windows.old." You know, but yeah. it still installs the OS completely clean, so I don't understand any of that. That that because move is fine. No, that file, move is perfectly fine. Because the files are still there as remnants. Right, but the Windows don't access those. It, it, it doesn't use those. It uses the new OS, so it doesn't make any sense to me. That moving to dot .old is fine. It's the fact that before you did that, you launched your computer, your computer with the old operating system intact. Yeah, right, so the but... Like you said. So the so the BIOS saw the old version of the HAL. Right, but I mean, I've had to, you know, I had to do a complete full reboot as well. And the other thing too is remember when I had to format my old hard drive the last time when it crashed and wouldn't boot into the desktop, and I formatted it. It was completely clean. It was like it was a brand new hard drive, and the error still persisted. And even then, this hard drive that I'm using right now never had Windows on it, period, until now. Yes, but it was still handling Windows files from a hard drive that did. That doesn't make sense. Okay, when you, when, you, when you use a second hard drive as a storage hard drive, it still has to interact with the first hard drive to actually look, at, to actually look up system files. Essentially, so it basically, they have, basically the two hard drives have to work together, sort of. And as such, you can get some sort of cross between the two, which is why it's really weird. So essentially, what's happened is because you because you didn't install it clean. This isn't the only reason why it's doing this, by the way. It's doing it would have done this anyway because the motherboard's going to shit. But the reason why that will throw up an error is because it's seeing it's seeing the old version of the hell. And it's going. Wait, what? But then it then it obviously has had some sort of corruption with the current version of the HAL, 
and it's gone, wait, what, wait, what, what's, what's this? Why have we got two? Yeah, so it tries to throw him back to the old version that it knows. Yeah. Okay, so what can I do? Nothing. Sweet fuck all, honestly. It's just a matter of what Sam's pointed out. Is it, it gives him and I more clarity on how much shit is fucked. Because depending on how much shit is actually throwing up errors and fucking with you, will depend on uh, a how much is salvageable from that machine, and b how much longer that machine can last. Yeah. Also, that's not ju that it's not just the HAL going wrong. There's an absolute shit ton of stuff though. Yeah. Well, you under... I, I see. I see file management <clears throat> there. And shit of that nature. It's like VGA fuck. driver, host drivers gone. Kernel mode drivers, ACPI drivers, kernel configuration manager. Yeah, and it wouldn't be, th it's not the drivers themselves throwing up these errors, it's the fact that the motherboard is having problems that these drivers can't load then. Oof. And if the if the HAL is having problems, then it's either one of two things. Bad op, it, it's pretty much, it's trying to recognize old HAL, or it's the fact that the motherboard is having problems accessing the HAL, and that's causing up the HAL error. And in all honesty, with the motherboard in bad shape as it is, it's a BIOS issue, and it bio it goes from like this BIOS to the file system. And yeah. the BIOS itself, the firmware coded in the hardware that is in your motherboard, is fucked. The most basic foundation of your computer okay. stuff is dying. All right, so assume that we do manage to get this new rig built, and I use this same hard drive. Bar you know, barring the fact that I have to reinstall Windows or not, disregarding that, and, you yeah. know, what would, you know, like... What do we do? Yeah, like... Uh, okay, what, what, okay. We, what, what you uh, do, what you will do, is you will have to back up important files to an external, to a second hard drive, to something, right? Now, it depends on whether you're going to use a new hard drive. Which I do or, intend to buy a new hard drive, a new 2 terabyte. Or the hard drive that you've got. Uh, you, it, depends, it depends on which choice you make. If you use a new hard drive, you can just plug the new hard drive in, put Windows on it, you're fine. Yeah, but I would still no want problem. to use this hard drive as a secondary hard drive. Which is still fine. You can still do that, yeah. It's, just, it, it, it's, it's You don't use it as the boot drive. If you want to use that hard drive as the boot drive, you have to get all the shit you want off it, and then boot into the BIOS and do something called secure arrays. And you need to securely erase every fucking thing off that hard drive. And I mean everything. <clears throat> which will which will which will make sure that it flushes every fucking little bit of a system file out of it. Yeah, because those if there's any remnants, then it can cause problems with your new installation. Yeah. Um Alright, but but, uh, but here's no, the thing. Let, let, let's just uh, let, let's assume that I can just plug this hard drive into the new motherboard and it's, you know, and it doesn't tell me, oh, wait, new BIOS, you need to format. Let's just say that it works out the gate. But it doesn't cause me any errors at all. Then that would have properly singled out that it was the motherboard and it's just giving ghost errors or something. I don't get it's still not. It's still not a good thing to do. Don't do it, dude. <laughs> um, because, for, for example, uh, I actually talked to Dreamer about this. When he said to you that you didn't need to reformat when you actually change PCs, he was be he was saying you shouldn't need to. He wasn't saying well, that yeah, you definitely. Yeah, but but to. here's the other thing though, like this is you know, I, I remember that I, I took the I could have like I remember taking the hard drive out of one PC and putting it into another, but then having not having to format, but then taking that same hard drive out and putting it in this one, and I did have to format. It That's why. This is why every time you install a new motherboard, they say wipe it clean. Do not just carry the hard drive over because it will fuck things. Okay, but now. And that's why. That's why I remember telling you at the time, don't do it. But I remember Dreamer saying, "Oh, you can get away with it," which is that, which is then you followed him because it's less work. And, and, then you, it and went you could. But the problem, it's pretty much like this. You could get away with it, and it would work. Don't get me wrong. Don't get any of us wrong. It will work. It's just that it's unsafe to do so. Okay, now, here's another question, then. 
what if, say for example, I get that new hard drive, plop, plop, you know, plop it into this thing, copy over all my important files from this drive to that drive, and then install Windows on that drive, and then... Oh, if you're going to do that, then just boot up, like, use the new hard drive, build it, build it all with that and all that shit, and then, with a secondary cord, plug your old hard drive in and see what data you can salvage that way. Do not yep. put it in the boot slot. Okay. Well, m my computer doesn't necessarily have boot slot and slave drive. It's all SATA, so it doesn't matter the order. Whatever the first one you plug in will be your boot. There you go. By default, yeah, but I can tell my computer to boot which off whichever. And if, if that well, yeah, boot, yeah. Uh, um, don't but boot the old you, drive. You do have a choice. That's what we're to you. you do have a you do have a choice to that. But this is what this is the order it goes by. Um, automatically, the computer. This is what the BIOS is set to. It will um, check through say it will to check zero through and then say it won't zero, say yeah. it say it and three, by checking through that, it's it's what you call it's a standard basic list that every BIOS comes with. As long as you don't put it in zero, you know, then you're good. Yeah. You wouldn't you would want to put your new hard drive into say a zero, which is the first slot because computers start computers start counting from zero. That's the weird thing. So you put the new hard drive into say a zero, you put Windows on that. You can then plug in your old hard drive in, a, in on SATA 1, which will be obviously the second slot, which means you'll have no no problems from that. Yeah, and then you can save any any non-system yeah. files onto the new hard drive, take the old hard drive, wipe it clean, and you're fine. Okay, now, here's another question. Let's say I get the new hard drive and I install Windows on that hard drive, but I want it to uninstall Windows from this hard drive. Yeah. Would I be you, able to... You, yeah, you, you'd be able to do that. Um, right, but would that... The most efficient way of doing that is, especially if you've got a large hard drive uh, for your boot drive, collect all of your files that you want to keep off that second hard drive, put it in a big folder, put that folder on your new clean hard drive with Windows on it, right? But it, keep it inside a folder. Okay. Then, go into the BIOS, and making sure that you're selecting your old hard drive, use secure arrays on it. That will wipe it completely fucking clean, and it'll make it'll make it act like it's a completely brand new hard drive, with yep. no little remnants or anything. Then you boot it back up again, and you'll have a completely clean hard drive. You take that folder that you made before and put it straight back over. But then I'd have to rearrange everything. No, you just put it inside of a folder. Well, now, you take you take, you take mm -hmm. that exact same structure and put it inside a folder. Well, realistically, the only thing the, the reason my uh, hard drive is so full really is because of Steam games. Seriously. Over a terabyte is just Steam. You can just well, download that stuff. Well, actually, you don't. You don't have to. Um, there is a Steam setting where you can actually back up your files to the cloud, Steam cloud, and then when you reinstall Steam, you could just link it up to your account, and all your games will be back right on there. Right, but it would still have to re-download everything, I would imagine. No, no. Not, not if everything's coming yeah. current. What? I think what you're really worried about is more your data that would be lost in the process, huh? For the most part. Like, a lot of my game data is actually stored elsewhere. Like, it's stored in my documents folder for some reason or another. For example, there's a there's a little fiddle that you can do, where as long as you've got your Steam folder from your old PC... Oh yeah, I know I can do that. Right, just keep that on keep that on your old hard drive, and then when you've installed when you've installed Steam on your new hard drive, yeah. just point just point all the games folders to that. Yeah, I've go, had to oh, do there's that. games in there. Yeah, I've had to do that before. Um... But and if you don't is, trust it, make it back up on the cloud. I mean, that's still a terabyte worth of data right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. The speed of which you you can back up your stuff depends on the the data cable that you have connected to. Like SATA is pretty fast. Yeah. But uh, but I, I really I don't know. Maybe I, this hard drive could be dying. I don't fucking know because it does sometimes seem to take it seems to access files slowly. But that could be the file system on my computer being struggling. Not so much the well, hard drive that, that, that could be the motherboard, period. Well, yeah, because like if, if you look at the... Uh, like if I use Crystal Disk Info or hell, even even uh, SpeedFan, if I use anything to check my uh, hard drive's smart data, it shows up as perfectly fine. Good. No problem. And that's that's what, it, that's what we're thinking, that it's the motherboard just shockwaving it downward. Um, and it, it comes down to that, that old hard drive... As long as you out do the steps that Sam outlined, 
I don't even know how to It'll do a security finish. race. Well, that's where, uh, once you get your new machine, who's going to build it? Tom, right? No, I will. Nope. Oh, he'll... <laughs> well, we'll, you'll have your laptop. You'll be on Skype. I'll be there. Well, the thing yeah. is, I built this one. And I don't remember being in Skype with you guys. I remember watching YouTube videos, honestly. Well, okay, way. this time, this time you'll have me. Okay? <laughs> this time I will sit with you. I don't care if I have to sit up until 5 o'clock in the morning. I will help you. Yeah, but who knows when that'll be. I mean, I'm only sitting at 132 out of the 750 that, that's uh, reported. Or that well, no, is. Yeah. When we get at least you're making progress. True. I mean, I don't know how long it'll take, though. But we're certainly working towards it. Oh, yeah. You are working towards it, and you've been putting in some damn good work. I'm proud of you for that. I still need That to... is some awesome shit. Yeah, but, I mean, I've been neglecting YouTube, so I need to get back with that, too. I need to actually work on editing the rest of the Breath of Fire 3 stuff and try to record some new uh, Final Fantasy 6. And on top of that, I still have the old Wild Arms stuff that I pre-recorded that I need to start editing and getting that up. Because I've got the last... I won't speak for these guys, but I would advise purely streaming for now because you don't want to test your, your computer right now with rendering. rendering, yeah. Rendering is a more strenuous process. I, I, get, I guess so, but yeah, I gotta do something. If anything, you ever thought about alternating between where you stream it? Uh, no. Because I don't have yeah. OBS set up for YouTube, and I don't want to do a YouTube thing. Because then I'd have to get all oh. new plugins for, like, the YouTube chat and well, all that other stuff. It was just a suggestion. It wasn't a bad one, but alternatively... I can uh, just do like I did before, where I take highlights of my stream and post them to my main channel. Or something. But I don't necessarily want to do that either, because that might bombard everybody. And that still involves rendering. No, it doesn't. I can upload the, the highlights directly, like I did with the GTA V stuff. Thankfully, yeah, he's right. You don't have to render for that. Uh, they ain't going to be in the highest fun. quality, mind you, but they're at least there. It is content, yeah. I, I, I just, I don't know, man. I really don't. The last two videos I uploaded, I didn't even monetize because they didn't feel right to monetize. Oh, yeah. That's eh, smart not to do that for at least GTA. <laughs> That radio well, gets you in trouble. Well, the thing is, like, with those GTA clips, like, they did get flagged for copyright, you know, due to auto-flagging, but thanks to YouTube's audio removal beta, I was able to remove them just fine, and they're monetized, so it's good. It's fine. But, uh, going back to what Tom sent me, actually, uh, at, like, 1, 2 p.m. or a.m. when we were talking politics. Hmm. Anyway, that. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of the current president at all, and I think the wall thing is stupid. But I'm going to say it verbally out loud. This makes me hope that the wall gets built. What? Purely for the walls. I want the wall to be built just so I can have some laughs. What in the hell is this? The Stupid assholes is what it is. More college kids pledge to remove Jenner. Really? How is that gonna help any? What? How? 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 How is that a protest? Now, now do you see why I want the wall to be built? If they're being sincere. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. please. I can't. I can't person... agree with that either. No, no. Like, the only um... person they're hurting is themselves. They're not hurting the future of mankind. They're only hurting themselves, and if they're that stupid, I, I wouldn't want them reproducing anyway. I think they're I think they're doing a good thing for mankind if they do that. Yeah, they're fucking cleaning the gene pool. I don't want their fucking idiocy in my freaking kids. No, I, I get taking a stand. I get Yeah, that's that. fine. I don't blame they, them. They're taking they a stand for what they believe in, but, but uh, you can go too far, you know. And you um, can have protests that make no sense. And, if Trump kills comes down the wall, to, I will cut off my first finger. Question, the first uh, question is, will they actually do it? If they're all yeah. Fuck no do they have the balls to remove the Do they balls? have the balls to do it? And no. second of all, <laughs> if they do have the balls to do it, that will have a lot more of an impact. Like, like okay. I'm gonna... going to, the impact it's going to have is people I'm, laughing at them. I'm going to blatantly say something that, that is racist, but it's going to be for a point. So, context, for one. That would be a little bit like saying, 
oh, we're putting in a new Peking's. And then someone goes, I don't want them damn Chinese in my place. I'm If they allow them damn Chinese in my place, I'm going to go slap the closest black man. Um, that doesn't correlate, dickhead. <laughs> doesn't fucking correlate. Hello. You said every bit of that way nicer than I would have. What I what I would have said would have put like, your shit in jeopardy. <laughs> I mean, it makes about as much sense as fucking going out in, in your town and rioting because your NBA team lost. It's like, dude, it's just a game. What are you talking about? A lot of people oh. destroy shit and start riots because their team wins. That too, yeah. It's like, um. Okay. Yeah, our team won. Let's destroy the city. Yeah, that's fucking bright. <laughs> that'll help. Yeah. That'll help your fucking team. But uh, you, uh, you guys want to go back in the palace? On the <laughs> oh, New York just got wiped out by a tornado. Thanks, Obama. Oh, yeah, that, that that shit makes me laugh. Why, wow, Obama? Did you do that? And yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm ready for everybody else's. I don't care. <laughs> like, what, what's that? What's that phrase? Causality doesn't equal correlation, or whatever. Probably not the right phrase to use here. Correlation doesn't like. equal causation. Okay, yeah, well, whatever. But that, I don't know if that applies here, but that's what my brain is thinking. It's not even correlation at this point. It's just stupid. Yeah, how the fuck does cutting off your own genitals correlate to Trump you to read the a whole, damn read wall? the whole article. When it you makes, read the whole article, it it's even dumber. It makes they would do that because they, they believe that strongly against the wall not being built. The problem yeah, of it, it is, is that... No, it doesn't, though. If you read the... the the article like, and see the, the reasoning hell, why man. it's stupid as fuck. I think I forgot actually. Anyway, I'm Probably. ready when you guys are. I'm ready. <laughs> oh fucking no. Rogner's gonna cough his genitals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The reasoning is kind of funny. That right, Rogner. <laughs> that's right. I just I just saw the, that, the third paragraph and I'm like. Oh, yeah, that's right. They they believe something entirely different than what the wall All right. Never mind. Let me pull that back up and then look. Now, now I'm curious. The third paragraph, you say, huh? Yeah, uh, it starts with Washington. Washington sophomore, Trent, whatever, said he was inspired by the movement at the University of California and, th and that he thinks Trump's construction of the wall is just an extension of his... Okay. And an extension... Expression of patriarchal, okay, culture. Really, by building the wall, we are the Mexican people, and I am no longer willing to be a perpetrator of... Dude, there is no culture of that... Oh my god! Let... Okay, no, 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 I'm even more convinced. Let them build the damn wall so these folks will go through with it, because that'll cleanse the gene pool of idiocy. Or at least help can we just Fuck. Can we just well, build a fence and sit and stand no, and I... tell them that's a wall? I disagree because that's that's cutting off your nose to spite your own face, kind of like they're doing. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but the wall's pointless cut anyway. That's the reason why I want to do. What the fuck, man? But no, it, it, yeah, I, I really don't want the wall built. But there's part of me like, please build it. You, no, I'm with I you just, on that one, Neon. That's kind of where I'm at. Don't want it, but there's that part of me like, please. Are we ready? <laughs> and these are college students, fucking college students. That that's college the, degree sure does mean a fuck ton nowadays. That's the it? insulting part. These are the kids that are going to a realm of higher education, and people fresh out of grade school are smarter than you. Well, the this thing about not college cut off their the junk because they can't. The thing about the, college is that college does not prove your intelligence. It, 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 it means you've done the work to get the degree. It does not mean that you are actually intelligent in the first place. It's, it's you could train a monkey to do the work if you really think about it. It's ridiculous. Depends on the, it, well, it depends on the work they're, they're going for. Like, if they're going for fine arts degrees, oh my god. No, that's, that shit's funny. Well, if it's just any form of, like, repeating and reciting and writing down the same shit over Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the thing to keep, you know, the biggest thing to take away it's from this... It's most simple the, the biggest thing to take away from this, though, is these SJWs and college students... Kind of funny that college students and SJW kind of correlate now, but whatever. Um... It's kind of sad, in a way, that they've devalued the word rape so hard that it is literally a meaningless word now. Yeah. And the they want the to blame gamers for doing that. They've done it by claiming that. so many things are it. Well, yeah. the thing is, the they want to blame gamers for that. Like, oh, dude, you just got raped. Even though, yeah, it's a shit talk thing, but that doesn't. When you use something to jest, it doesn't have the same impact as when you use it yeah. literally. That's when. Yeah. That's when the repeating of something is destructive. There's a silver chest. Is it when it's a joke? It's when yeah. you're using it seriously. 
You're, you're suffering from a, a bit of a problem here, though. And oh, it's not nothing yeah. to do with the SJWs. It's... You're saying, okay, well, for example, build the wall just to spite the SJWs. That, well, that's just... Yeah. You don't I know, actually but, mean it. I know, but if you if you say that, other people will believe it, and they'll be like, yeah, let's use that as a political motivation. No, they don't, because there's... But even if they do, that's not our responsibility. Because want to see retards cut people, their junk off. People yeah. do. They really don't want to see them do it. Anybody that believes that, guess what? It's Please not our responsibility. Yeah, exactly. No, so I want them to cut their junk off too, because they need to be in that pool of non. No, I agree. I fully agree. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's like Sam's right. Some people will follow what you guys say, but yeah, I that's agree. Not if they're dumb enough, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I didn't even well, finish. Well, no, I, I agree. Goes, if they're dumb enough to follow you, you know, that mentality, to follow, got, so. that, that mentality against SJW is where you're just going to vote against them just to spite them. Got him elected. That's the problem. Yeah, but that's not our responsibility. That's not, you know, I'm not the one that put him up to that, and I, I didn't even really vote, so, Good you know. Point. You know, it's like, yeah, they, they, SJWs absolutely fucking suck. They really fucking do. Because they're more So don't, don't support either of them. Damn it. Well, yeah, it, it, it again, comes down to... You know, you never know if Hillary, if Hillary would have actually been worse. That's the other thing. No. No, not at this, not at this point. We don't no, know that. Still, we don't know that. You're, you're running really? into that weird hypothetical shit. You just can't go there. Exactly. Once you go there, then we have to him haul around all of his. Yep. Because the thing is about being a politician, it's whoever can lie the best. So really, who might be the best for the country doesn't necessarily mean who is. And for example, with Hillary, there's a good chance because of all the saber rattling that she was doing. That wait a know, minute. Wait a minute. No, hang on. Stop. Um, you just no. made the exact. No, because you just said. You can't speculate. You're doing the exact same thing. No, I'm saying that's not what I'm and saying. And actually, Trump, Trump is now Trump is saber rattling just as much, just towards uh. the rest of the EU rather than Russia. That's the problem. Well, the rest of the EU can't aim nukes at us. So there's the difference. Russia isn't the only country that has them. Was the ones that has a huge amount that were never accounted for. We know well, got them active. they might have a huge amount, but... It and they really can be hostile very quickly. Here's the thing. Most of you countries it doesn't take that a huge amount, though. It doesn't take a huge amount of nukes, though, to create really cataclysmic damage, unfortunately. Yeah, Russia has the chance of actually firing them. Most EU countries don't. What makes, what makes Russia even more of a chance to use them, though? Oh, uh, because they've been in that position before. We have to bring up the whole war. <laughs> okay, so you'll just actually violate your own sovereignty just at the risk of actually getting nuked by them. Okay. That's that's kind of a, that is that it really is going off your own nose despite your own face. Do we, do we really want a nuclear war? Well, that's it. That's because saying saying that is a little bit. It's exactly is exactly the French argument in World War Two. We're just gonna let the Germans in so they don't bomb Paris. But, but we're not letting anyone in. There's the difference. You already have. We're pushing them out. Your entire electoral fucking vote was rigged, but rigged by them. That's the uh, they actually gonna actually come out by that. It's rigged on both sides, though. So that's why I literally don't care. To me, I'm just watching the fire. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's point. what I'm saying. You got to be consistent with both sides. I am consistent. I think they're both garbage. They're both garbage, but it comes down to really the one thing I'm, I disagree with, um, or at least when it comes to the sable rattling or whatever the fuck, <sighs> is it smarter to have more allies or just one? Depends. It really does depend on the allies. Because because if you have oh, yeah, twenty I shitty allies or one really strong ally, you know. The thing the thing about it is, is that Russia is not really strong. It's a lot of posturing. It is a lot of posturing. They they do that for the threat to get what they want. They do it by intimidation, but their economy sucks. No, it does. I agree. And, I mean, if they, and if they it, had it the, comes they down had to if they went to a war, their economy would instantly collapse because no one would support them. Because if they had the power to, they would have already gone in and fucking annexed Ukraine at this point because they fucking tried. But they could. And that was fucking Ukraine. I mean, it comes down to Russia believes they're powerful, and and some people believe that Russia is a, is a world superpower. They haven't been a world superpower since Soviet Union. 
They're you trying to. You've got to think about levels of population versus the actual size of the country. Russia is massive. Their population density is tiny. Please. Now, they do have the threat of nukes. They do have the threat of a large arsenal. That is true. Yeah, th that's the real worry. Is now, the, the, thing of, the sad part of it, though, so It doesn't is... take many people to launch that Oh, no. No, I agree. But the thing about it is that you already have... You have a lot of countries, even in the Middle East right now, that have nukes just as much, and even worse temperament than Putin. Oh, no! Well, One of them, they're... a couple of them, we armed, personally. We armed, personally. Exactly. And it comes down to... When it comes to the EU, at least you, if the cause is right, they'd help us. But the thing about it is, is that when we invaded Iraq, we alienated, we started alienating them when we invaded Iraq. Which was a dumb move. We should have united, not divided. When you're, when you're, you're dividing more for a small gain, like what Trump's doing with, with Russia, he's making Russia more of an ally, yeah. But he's alienating and dividing everybody else. Everybody else. Yeah. And that is actually really bad. It doesn't matter if they're well, shooting. Well, you've seen the state of most bad. countries in the world. They're kind of alienating themselves anyway. Like part of it, yeah, tons of European of countries are turning to trash. That is true, but but Trump's giving them a scapegoat. You know, if, if again it comes down to and again, so is you're Russia. sacrificing. You're sacrificing so much for to gain so little. Trump is not that good of a businessman. Where he's done that many times, where he's lost a lot and gained a little. Oh, God damn it! He's but lost 950 million in a year, and hadn't had had to pay federal taxes for who knows how long. Yeah, but he knows how to game the system. You gotta give him that. Oh, he knows how to game the system, but that doesn't make him a, a good president either. <laughs> yeah, um, it, 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 comes, it comes down to the fact that you know, well, you guys might have thought, no matter how you guys thought of Hillary, fair enough. I personally didn't want. But it's what we had. This election just was. Horrible. This election was garbage. This election was was shit. We had two bad choices. But it comes down to Trump. Trump's plays from the last two months have dictated the fact that this election was a mistake. This is he's one of the more in the past two months. Obama did more, and he had a, he had a Congress that was fully against him. That speaks volumes. And yeah, yet, Obama's not, not one of our better presidents either. If, well, you have if, if it's a, it's a, when you have a large part of your own fucking party going against you, you've got a problem. A huge fucking problem. That point. But you're right, Tom. You're right. We, it's it's now that shit's done. It's more wait and see. It's just very worrying for not not just U.S. citizens, but the rest of the world. We just handle it like we always do. A lot of we just fight back through our... We gotta do it together. We gotta work together to fight back. Oh, yeah. But we can't also fight what could be good at it as well. We just gotta oh, yeah. Time this is true. It's just that right now, I've not seen many good ideas from the Trump camp. I'm not even saying conservative. I'm saying Trump camp. Because there are a lot of good conservatives out there. And they fight. They're fighting against it. But from the Trump camp, I have yet to see a good idea from the, the executive what? order to immediately stop, and I mean immediately halt all visas, especially from the seven countries that he outlined, was a bad move. I and wish he worked more towards the few ideas that I thought were good ideas that he had going in. One of them being the term limits thing. Yeah, put term yeah. limits on fucking Congress and the Senate. If oh, he yeah. could do that, no matter like, no matter how destructive he's been recently, I would say that his him being president is worth it. But the only way that ever that, that that could actually go through and be completely fair to both sides is if term limits were affected were um, enacted immediately for everybody, and I mean for everybody on, on no. the same side. Um, the problem with it is that that's always been a idea that's been floundered between the liberals and the conservatives. It's just that the either side is waiting for the first side to say, "Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm good." They, we'll it's what they first. call a political football. It, it's a matter oh, no. of you go. Through. No, no, you go first. And that's that sucks. If he does it, I would say it's worth it. It's a poli it's a political football that you bandy about to get elected. It's one of the things that yeah. you say but you never do. He's never going to. And the things that he's that tried to do have well, been here's the thing, though, He did run on it. <laughs> so technically, if he really wanted to play the politics game, he put his feet to the fire. But not everybody's too fucking afraid to put his feet to the fire. Is it? 
Well, and see, that's that exactly what they're awakening on. That's what actually Congress, even though he's in office now, there's the checks and balances to where even um, hardline conservatives are saying, this guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot, yeah. Both sides of the political spectrum are going, well, here's this the guy's thing. a moron. If it's bad enough, we can get him impeached. If it's, if oh, yeah. Can... You're right. But he actually has to do something across those bounds for us, and he hasn't done that yet. Well, he has. It's mainly the the, ex the excess of executive orders that have gotten overturned. These executive orders have actually violated the Constitution itself. Well, yeah, you have to show me evidence of that, because I have not seen that. That was actually due to the fact that the judge overturned it and turned it with ease. And then he just yeah. then he just tried to get rid of the judge. Well, here's the thing, though. The simple fact that that happened means the executive order can go through, so you can't yeah, really count it. Well, yeah, it, it did, if the executive it did. order does not go through, you cannot count it. No, you. but it, but it doesn't it doesn't negate the fact that you tried. You know, you somebody came. Tried. That's happened in the past. Somebody okay. came out. Somebody in his own camp came out against it, and he immediately fired them. And, and you're right. You know, He's even though it came out in the past, that is one of his rights. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. It's just that. It, it's a ju you're judging his temperament there. His no, present actions. His present actions are a good indicator of what he'll do in the future. And right now, it's a matter of if he doesn't get his way, he'll immediately fire somebody, you know, and try and, and give someone that will actually give him, you know, just leeway to do whatever the fuck he wants. That's that's his mentality. Uh, uh, sir, are you still there? Hello. Yeah. Sir, any bacon's, bacon's yes. nice. Uh, I, I just want to say, let, let's just redirect this, because there's anybody watching, like, yeah, all four of I'll, us. I'll say I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for share very similar politics, because I, I just thought that article was funny. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I don't want to alienate anybody, you know? Yeah, because no. politics, the minute you talk about that, you've alienated, like, at least 50%. Yeah, yeah. we can talk yeah. about it calmly, because we all are caught kind yeah, of on the we're cool. That's a lot of mobs. There we go. Yeah. Fucking learning trap. But uh, no, no, no. That, yeah, between us, we're good because we might disagree and we might vehemently disagree. But at the end of the day, a lot of it is perspective too, and it comes down to no perspective is better than the other. It's just different. Yeah. And that's why it's like I'm, I, I apologize for my role in that because I didn't foresee that it was going to go that far. I actually just wanted to link yeah. that article because Tom linked it to me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is fun. All I'm going to say is there's nothing we can do for the next four years. You know, he's voted in through oh, the no, electric the election, the electric college. There are things we can do. No no no. no, 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 I'm saying reasonably, you know. He is the elected president of the United States. We're going to have to deal with it for the next four years. We just, you know, people need to realize what's what's gone on, and in 2020, do something about it. Yeah, well, here's and obviously, the thing. On, on any on any individual bills that he comes up that comes up with that we don't agree with, he needs to vote against them. Right. He needs here's to vote the thing. That. He, 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 he here's the thing to keep in mind: if he does something so horrendous that we can't actually legally get him out in terms of like the 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 system or whatever, the people do have the right to rise up and form a militia and overthrow the government if it's corrupt. We we have every oh, right yeah. to do that. It has but, some really and, and you're right. Point, and and you're right. But we don't want to do that because then we'll launch another civil war. We don't want that. We also need to stress the fact that we all need to unite against this corrupt government. When you have a pocket of our citizens that <laughs> doesn't believe that Trump is bad, you will then have a civil war where you have families fighting against families. And we don't want that happening. Well, Order I mean, sometimes... That bad. Oh, sorry, you guys. I mean, as much as it sucks to say, you know, that could very well end up being a necessary evil. You never know. Unfor yeah, but we we will try well, everything. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. that. Yeah, we'll try everything we can to stop that. Because yeah, once that's... it becomes Americans killing Americans, that's when the nation's truly fucked. Oh God, yeah, yeah. It's, it'd be a nation divided again. But... And, and we don't still, want that. You know, we, even... we had that once in our history, and I don't want that happening. Well, even still, we've got the whole shit with California trying to break away. Yeah, I don't see I mean, that going anywhere. I don't, I don't see it going anywhere, anywhere either, um, because the 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 union's going to try everything they can to hold them. Well, as far um, as I know, it's you know they can't leave the U.S. I don't think they no, are. They can. They, can. they, they can. could, but here's the thing, though: they would only get uh, a 25 percent of the state of even that. Oh yeah. And you, we're not giving part. them the parts that they think they're going to get. If they think they're getting Hollywood, they're not. That's just the unfortunate truth. 
But the other thing too is, I mean, you know, they may be a donor. They're not Silicon Valley either. They they may be a donor state, but that doesn't confirm that they'll be prosperous outside of the U.S. You know, they're prosperous really... because of the U.S., not because of their own shit. That's the thing they need to remember. Because yeah, the he... U.S. set up their shit for them. Right, but even assuming that you know they did get all of California, even assuming that they did, even if they got all of California, that doesn't necessarily mean they would be successful. Because first of all, they're landlocked, and the only thing next to them is water, so they that, can't really. That means go. they're not landlocked, though, dude. Uh, well, that, what I mean is like. <laughs> landlocked means you're surrounded. You, your countries are no, countries I, I know surrounded that, that's not what I meant. I, I meant <laughs> like we could easily barricade them easily, both on land and sea. Is kind of what I was trying to get to. Problem is that would actually make you look like dicks to the rest of the world. Perhaps, but what, but what I'm saying yeah. though is, you know, California, like if they really did, let's assume that they got all the state. That doesn't necessarily mean anything because then now they're going to have to start paying like um, import taxes to get their stuff into the United States at that point, even though they're right there. They'd have well, to pay a lot true. more fees. They'd have to pay well, not not import export fees. And yeah, parties. but but then all you would have to do then to counteract that is the fact that they don't have to donate anymore to uh, keep the welfare states afloat. They can yeah, then they we could take back use that money. Also, uh, yeah, anything that produces energy for them, we take back. It's ours. Exactly, and on top of that, they have no military support. Yep. And on top of all that, too, and they're in a state that's got a fuck ton of droughts all the time. Oh God, yeah. But, and, and and the other thing too is we could boycott them like th there's ways that we could you know pressure them not that we would but i'm just saying that it's it's there's no guarantee that they'd be prosperous on their own so they would need to really value and weigh it out and see if it's worth the risk which it may be it may not be now this all this all depends too on if they if they suffered the full strength of the Amer of, of america you know of us then yeah that's that's one thing and then it would be a real hell on earth for them but Right now, with the country splintered as it is, I don't think we'd be able to do. We'd be able to uh, bring down the full force. I think Plus, that the California right is now not the is, is California is not the only state involved in that anymore. There's also Washington, Oregon, and Nevada, which is a good chunk of the nation. Uh, it's on the, top of it's us, the entire started. Western Seaboard. So it is. It is possible that they can. They can thrive. They can survive. But Economic, I wouldn't want that either. Economically, they can because, again, they are pretty high up. Even if you actually class them as a country, they're pretty high up economically themselves. You're not, you're not adding in a lot of factors, though. The reason why they can economically is, is because of the U.S., not because of themselves, because they have the freedom to do that. Why do you think Japan has so much fucking money? Well, that's the thing. It's actually an incentive. The, the both sides actually have an incentive to do it. The Americans have the, have an incentive to get rid of the Californians, and the Californians have an incentive to leave the Americans. That's I the guess thing. we can make a fuck ton of money off from a fucking mercenary. Because at that point, though. at that point, the entire West, the, the Western Seaboard is very left leaning, whereas the rest of the country is quite right leaning. So politically, it actually benefits the rest of America if California and the I don't know uh, benefit is the right term. I, I don't think that's where right. one of the things you know that that's that's kind of what I was getting at earlier. What looks good on paper may not be good in practice. Yeah, but then, then again, you, the example of that. And uh, but then again, we won't know one way or the other until until it actually happens. Although I do, I can speculate one thing: if they if all those states do leave, and a lot of them are donor states, there's a few donor states left in the union that would get butt fucked, and then one of them oh, is yeah. mine. One of them is mine. So <laughs> my state would be a little bit more pressured. <laughs> it would kind of fuck up the rest of the states too. Because it would remove well, quite yeah. a bit of it would, it, it would fuck them up too. <laughs> with how much uh, it would fuck the American economy, you think we would be playing nice with them at that point? No, we'd have no grounds to. At that point, we could just annex them and take it right back. Oh, th this is true. Because we then, would have the military might to do so. But then oh, you yeah. would become a conquering nation, and then America would be seen as even more wrong. More wrong. Wow. Nah, we fall in bed with China at that point. We're good. You know, it, it comes down to public perception is a thing. At that point, you slide further and further towards the extreme edge of the scale. Well, I agree. That's the reason why you got to be really careful. Because them doing that really would fuck the rest of the country. And that puts a bad taste in people's mouth. 
Oh, it does. Really fucking bad taste. But then, well, here's the thing. Even if the country... won't take a bad taste for everybody. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Even if, like, the country did... Like, even if America didn't do anything politically or forcefully or whatever, you don't think that there wouldn't be people going to California and starting riots? Like, you don't think that people w wouldn't take it upon themselves <laughs> to <laughs> go over there and start bombing the place? You, you don't well, think that's they wouldn't California do that? to close their borders to Americans. Exactly. But then, that's then, a bad when, idea when, too. but then they would become terrorists. Exactly. Well, I know, I know, but, but but that's what I'm saying. I mean, anything can happen. That, that, you know, you, that's why in order for to make a decision like that, you have to look at all potential angles. <laughs> oh, you, you do, but that that only furthers the. You're, fur, you're pretty much saying you're furthering the cause of those states leaving and not staying because America is becoming less like America every day. And if Americans well, are going to act like that when they leave. Then it's not even America anymore. It's just it's just the future Nazi Nazi Germany. Yeah, it's the same thing with uh, the UK. Uh, obviously, I'm I'm not I'm not in the US, and I'm so glad I'm not in the US right now. Um, but no, in the UK, Scotland voted to stay in the uh, UK because they thought, hey, we're staying in the EU. We're cool. Now though, yeah. Uh, the entirety of Scotland voted in uh, it, it, for the, in the Brexit vote to remain in the EU. Well, no, separate from the UK and join the EU. That's, the that's exactly what they're doing. So they are having. They're actually. There, there is actually talk of them getting a second independence vote because of the extenuating circumstances that them leaving the EU is such a major change. They deserve a second a second uh, vote on it. So. And if you think about it, if you think about it in a militarily, in a military fashion, and in all those same sort of things, Scotland would be in the exact same position that California would be in if California left. It, 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 but yet, Cal yet Scotland is very likely to at this point, if there is a vote. In which case, they would have to depend on the EU might to help them out. But you know what? At least they would have an ally. Whereas the, Where is the is, difference there is California kind of doesn't, unless they unless they voted to join the EU, that'd be interesting. It oh makes me wonder happen. what everything's gonna look like in even fucking five years, let alone twenty. And you're right, same. It wouldn't happen, but it's like, where would they get the allies? Hmm. No. But I don't. I, I think. I think in honestly, Mexico. If Cali Mexico. I'm just saying, if California did vote to leave, and that's their choice, uh, they voted in a in a democratic referendum to leave. I don't see I don't see a military reaction to that. Oh yeah, like I don't see a military reaction either. But that doesn't necessarily mean a militia wouldn't do it. Because sometimes no, people will right. do crazy exactly. things, and I think America would have to step in to quell their own freaking citizens. Yeah, they would. But that's that. That, you know, that, that then is the American duty. If to we do could so. afford to at that point. That's the thing. <laughs> but if it's if it was voted for in a democratic referendum, they have every right to. And yeah, you're going to have some people that get very pissed off and they will, will react violently to it. But then you also have then Californian um, sympathizers as well. I would be one of those. I would be like, you know what? They had every right to. They had every right to. <clears throat> and it's like, yeah, it's a really right. dumb decision. Well, yeah, it comes down to it being a dumb decision or not would depend on pretty much the future. The victors write, the, victors write history. You can't, you can't not do something because you're scared that something else might happen. Exactly. Well, you, know, you can say the same thing about Brexit, you know. Well, yes, but that's that is. For all you know, in the long term, that could be great for your country. It really is. At least you get to make your own decisions be, instead of being. Forced we don't to actually. Be we still a actually political have superpower. No, 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 no. We still have to follow EU rules. That doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, then what the fuck's the point of being it? All right, then you guys don't, obviously don't know how to separate from shit at all. You need basically, to have talk with your country. Basically, what's happened is. The only thing that the only thing that Brexit actually did was yes. Now we don't have a seat in the EU Parliament, but we still have to follow the rules. So we now just don't get to vote on shit. We just have to follow. Again, what was the point? Sounds, what was the point? Because that means you guys are stupid. Because okay. we have to pay. Because we have to pay this membership fee to stay in the EU, right? And the government, the, the governmental uh, organization that wanted us to leave has basically said, oh, well, we'll put all that money into the National Health Service and we'll put it into stopping foreigners from getting into the country. Do you, do you know what they did? The minute they actually, the minute uh, that Leave actually won the election, they said, you know all that stuff we said? No, that was a lie. 
They didn't oh. even hide it. They came out and flat out said, no, that we will be lied about that. I got a question. Other what? than the threat of military retaliation, why does your country have to follow EU rules? Uh, Other than that threat. Trade embargoes. We would be basically embargoed by the entirety of the EU if we didn't. Um, it's 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 what's it's what's so, being called. It's because it's the same rules that uh, Sweden and Norway have to follow. For example, because uh -oh. they live in what? Yeah, wow. bad rules. <laughs> yeah, because you, you live in the what's called the European Economic Area. So they follow they follow European rules in exchange for favorable trade deals with the rest of the EU, right? So, in other words, they're using the fear game. to hold you there. No, 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 yeah. no it's not fair. It's no, not they're, fair. they're using it's... exactly what you were talking about that we no, would have used. So... It perks. It's so, not... so the EU is the they monster that you're playing the US. Can you not talk over me when I'm trying to do something? No, because that's something. fear. It's not. That's exactly what it is. It's fear because covers the lie. Tactics, well, it's not lying, actually. Um, it's not fear because of the fact that if you're not in the EU, then they are not designated to get perks. It comes down to it's like they say, well, if you're not in the EU, then you're not going to get completely. you're not going to get all that. Well, the but they also get extra benefits from being in the EU. They actually get they actually get mutual support from each other in a, in a in a very different way. It's you're okay. actually you're actually you're actually benefited a lot from being in the EU. It's and another another thing of that is freedom of movement. Now, this is a big thing that um, some people in Britain actually specifically want to get rid of, freedom of movement. Uh, what freedom of movement is, is, for example, if I went to France right now, you know, because we're still in the EU, I could just get my passport looked at and it'd be like, okay, yeah, you're, you're an EU citizen, go straight through, sir. I don't have to get a visa, I don't have to get anything like that to get into the country. You might not like my answer to this one, my answer is everybody needs to grow the fuck up. And just get a passport. The end. It no, doesn't take that long. Just no, no, get no, no, no. it. You still need a passport. <laughs> That's why I say get a passport. Grow up. Well, no, well, no, I think you meant visa. You would need a visa. Well, get a visa. Grow up. <laughs> yeah, but that makes it. That makes take, it. Take some it. responsibility. That That's makes what it, I'm trying to say. That that slows things down, adds red tape, and on top of that, yeah. actually makes things more expensive. That For example, uh, that's the reality of things. <laughs> well, that that it, that actually proves that it's an economic deficit for Britain to have actually left. And That's another thing, another thing too, Neon, is is uh, that would be a little bit like saying we would need a visa to go to Ohio or Indiana. We do, yeah. Well, we do need a visa to go to fucking Canada or Mexico. Well, well yeah, yeah, because they're not part of the U.S., so in this case... Yeah, it's... but we don't got some fucking American coalition going on here. No, no, we don't. Country, so. But our, our no, coalition. I, I, I was using that to debunk what you said about everyone should just get a visa and, and grow up and show some responsibility. If I want to go to another country, it, I gotta get one. Well, yeah, that's Frank's another country, but EU is similar to the U.S. in that regard. No, there are other countries though. I know, but unless they the want EU to become the United States. States of Europe. Right, which, right. But what hey, I'm saying, guess what? Leon, like us, then. No, no. They are already kind of like us. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Exactly. You can count uh, the European countries as states because they're about as big as our states in some cases. So they do have California a European leaving problem. us is the equivalent of them leaving the what EU. I'm trying to say. No, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Why would we want that? Yeah, you're right that's about like that. That's stupid. And, and see, that's exactly where. Well, I agree. I agree I'm with you. I'm devil's thing. advocate on this one because no, you're, you're the right. whole California thing is the same thing but as you're the whole... Right. Yeah. See, that's, that's where you're right. You're right that it's stupid. But it comes down to, just like with UK leaving the EU, California does have the right to leave. And it might yeah, be a stupid right idea. It might be a stupid idea. And you're right because of one, one uh, philosophical mindset. <laughs> United we stand. Divided we fight. <laughs> anything anything we do to splinter, that's a bad move. But and we also thing, have the right to cut off the trade, though. Oh, yeah, exactly. And see, that's exactly where, when it comes to EU, it, it would be the same thing. And it wouldn't be fear on either side. It's just the fact that you lose that perk because you're leaving that group. The problem of that is, is that <coughs> Britain, all right, at least if they, they leave the EU, they're still in that economic <coughs> area. And when California leaves us, and California or the other states leave us, too, that splits America right down in half. America's my much argument I'm no. trying to make is not what you think it is. Though. My yeah. argument, because it seems like, Sam, you're trying to make completely two different arguments for the same circumstance. It seems like you're pro-California leaving, but you weren't pro your own country leaving the EU. And something about that seems very two-sided. Because, 
Because the UK on its own would not survive. The UK on its own is not really economically viable. Realize the reason why California is economically viable is because it's part of the United States, right? And because it houses Hollywood. That's why I'm trying to tell you. We're the ones protecting it. We're the ones giving it a lot of its shit. It's... <laughs> Just because it's a donor state doesn't mean shit. There's other ones, too. So. It doesn't... Well, mention, and again, it's, it's their choice. Yeah, it's their choice, but here's the that, other thing. Yeah. And now, granted, it's your country's choice to leave the EU. Now, oh, yeah. The, the, Mike, you know, I don't think he but, ever yeah, disagreed with that. It's just the fact of... Was it a good idea? No. No. I mean, it it wasn't a good idea. But they still were free to do it. And that's where when... If if Americans, for example, try to enhex it, all right, it'd be like the equivalent of the EU invading the UK, which both both aspects would be... I want to put the other aspect, though. All right, this pain... why, Why? Why do you have to follow by the rules? The whole point that you left was to not follow by the rules. So here's the thing. Take the courage of your convictions and say fuck you, and have your trade routes cut off. You know? we, would literally, we would literally have nothing then, because we import a lot of shit. Now the interesting because... thing is looking at the EU as a ruling body rather than a collective of countries. What happened to look at the EU as a ruling, ruling uh, hegemony rather than a collective agreement? What happened? There? And the thing about it is America is slipping down that same slope. It's becoming more of a certain ruling nation, or a ruling hegemony of the federal ruling over the states, rather than the states being represented collectively. And, and actually, that's my issue. That's actually, actually the reason why I don't like the EU. And actually, one of the big things that um, actually powered the whole Brexit... Hold on to that one, guys, by the way. Sure. The whole, the whole, uh, whole One of the big things that powered the whole Brexit movement was the fact that the UK... The UK tried to basically <clears throat> abolish their Bill of Rights and replace it with a completely new one, rewritten so it would suit their, you know, purposes better. The EU went, uh-uh. You know, that, a lot of that contravenes our human rights stuff, and that's, that's stuff that you've signed and agreed on already. No. But, but now they've please. said, okay, well, fuck you, we'll leave, and then we'll do it anyway. Mm. And that's kind of... Fuck yeah. Another and, issue yeah. I always had is why did y'all never accept their currency? You want to be part of it, accept their currency. And now you would agree to it, but not back then, nobody would. So, Well, I was too young about them. So. <laughs> yeah, but I would, was you, way too would far. you have agreed to it at that time, considering yes. the currency is stronger than I would have. the Europe? I would have at the time, yeah. Alright. Then there. A lot of people in your country, though, would not have. Oh, yeah. And it's a matter of, I think, the, it's actually what Sam and I discussed, it's collective narcissism. And the fact of the matter would be is that now all the countries in today's era are starting to say, well, what about me? It's us, number one. Fuck everybody else. And that's not the way to go. Because you want to have everyone collective under one banner, which is the human race banner. You don't want countries. You want just one race and everybody working together. Because if you don't, racist. if you don't, yeah, I am a racist in that regard, yes. Yay. You I only want one out. race. <laughs> no. I want one race. I want only the human race. <laughs> the human race above all. Fuck Martians. Um, make Earth great What about the no, um, kind? What about them? But, uh, <laughs> but no. Anyway. It, it it's hard if I sound like I was hostile. I was just making oh, sure no, no, no. Exactly where everybody was coming from on this. Because, because one, no, you, don't, you want to make sure there's no hypocritical aspect. <laughs> One, one funny thing was was that uh, somebody voted to leave the EU and said, oh, yeah, and actually openly said on things like Twitter and stuff, oh, it's great, we don't have to deal with these effing foreigners, we don't have to, you know, it's great, we can have, we can have our country be our country again, you know, with, for, full of British people, for, you know, British values of British people, and I'm thinking, that's a little, that's a little antagonistic. But then the next week, he's like, why is my holiday to Spain so expensive now? Uh. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> no, yeah, there's a lot of nationalism in your country. I've noticed. But there's now there's a lot of nationalism. There is an American now as well. All over the world, yeah, it's all over the world. It's not just one no. country. No, I mean it's felt, it's felt like that for a long time with the UK, though. Especially but it's actually, it's actually it a small, felt. it's actually a small group of people with big voices. Well, yeah, it's a minority. Um, yeah. And that's actually what it happened. It seemed like America. that everywhere, though, if you look at it. When when it came to uh, Trump, he got elected. Based oh, off geez. minority, he didn't get elected, which is weird. We're the only democratic process. Trump got elected by um, 44 percent. 
He got elected by a minority, a vocal minority. That's not a... Oh, that's... Pretty big amount though. That's not like a small minority. No, 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 no. And that's that, almost that, that half should be addressed. So really let's be fair. That should be addressed. Don't get me wrong. But that's the beauty of America: is the minorities' um, opinions were always addressed. They at least had a voice. They well, would that's shut out one of the electoral college and shit. And I, yeah. And looking on it, I get it, and I don't mind it so much in hindsight. Oh, so you can see how it is. Oh, thank God you well, stopped that. I was, I was now, still in that but, AOE, and I didn't see it. Sorry, sir. I mean, I saw it, but I, I, I thought I over the tech is strong enough that maybe we could go off the popular vote. But before, like back in the day, oh yeah, it, it, oh yeah, no you're way. right. You're, you're it, exactly right. It would be the three biggest fucking states that would control the entire. Oh yeah, and it, it, it comes down to now. I, I think it's more so uh, the electoral system served its purpose. I think it's obsolete now because That's now you have, you have the political system. Recent, yeah. Yeah, you, you have um, political system now is catered to that. And it's like a chess match rather than being a voice of the people. That's how plus, it should be. Plus, there is another benefit for Britain staying in the EU that, they, that people actually forgot. Um, uh, it's linked, and that is it's linked to America. We were a Britain, <coughs> we, we were an English-speaking link into the European Union that were the people that people would listen to. Yeah. Now America is going to have to go through on its own and try and negotiate without without Britain's help. So essentially, Britain is now completely useless to America. Yeah. So, so why, so why would America ever help Britain? Though? And that it kind of is sad to think of it like that because of how, now, even though both countries can make fun of each other, we've been pretty strong allies for a long fucking time. Oh yeah. I mean, it comes down to we're split. The entire world is splintering, but there's and that there's one country that stands to gain from that. There's one. Germany. It's Russia. No, Russia. Oh, well, yeah, Germany. Fuck you. No, uh, <laughs> it's Russia. Oh, well, actually... Okay. <laughs> believe it or not, a lot of Islamic countries stand to gain from a lot of this shit. And that scares they the do. fuck out of me. They do. But it, it comes down to, like you said, Russia's got the capability and they got the will to empire. You had Russia who openly invaded Ukraine. They failed, but they openly did it. You have fucking Middle East right now that we inflamed. You know, okay, that's understandable more so because we inflamed them with the pointless invading of Iraq. Yeah, because what people didn't realize is, in the UK at least, uh, the fact that we paid so much for membership to the EU, yeah, they covered a lot of our shit. Infrastructure wise, in the EU. And we have sort of rising link, sort of links to the continent. Do we have rising? We don't have it up, but we haven't. You want to pop that, sir? Right, there we go. Oh, sick. Of rising. <laughs> rising. I know it's raising, but still, whatever. Well, actually, it can be pronounced either way. You can just the way it's spelled. I thought the palm man was rising. No, it's raising. Oh, my bad. I, I misread it, sorry. It's raising. That's also in. I think that's why I started pronouncing it as rising, because Tom did. Oh, wait a minute. No, rising doesn't have the A. Yeah. 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 I was also locked in conversation there, so my brain was in another place. You influenced <laughs> me, you asshole. <laughs> but it's it, not. I think we well, can both we can all agree, it's not healthy for any country to <clears throat> split it off on its own and be an island to itself. No, I agree. And it, I think that we should all work together, EU, NA, whatever the fuck, to go against the greater evils, which, in my mind. It's Uldaf. Our Middle East. It, it's Uldaf. Fuck off, dude. No, it's fucking uh, Middle oh, East. It's the Middle oh, East. It's like this. And Don't it's, believe in, in honesty, last. it's Russia and North Korea. That co collective of nations is very harmful. <coughs> and we need to do everything we can to prevent them from causing another war. Honestly, I'm surprised that North Korea has stayed a sovereign nation as long as it has. Especially with how shitty it seems to be from what I've heard. Well, it's a sovereign nation purely because no one wants to deal with it. It is that fucking poor and shitty that nobody even wants to own them. Yeah. And while they, while their actual we weapon arsenal is dubious, uh, unfortunately the leaders of that country are just crazy enough that if they do have the button, they will press it. Yep. Which, thank God, their missile capability is complete shit. But it's not going to be for long if they keep on at it. That's why they're a growing threat. They're slowly becoming a growing threat, but they're still growing. Aren't 
Aren't we allied right with South Korea? Yes. Yeah. And right. North Korea threatens South Korea all the fucking time. <coughs> Fuck your leaf storm, bitch. Oh my god, a limit break in Palace of the Dead? I forgot you could do that. <laughs> I'm not even joking, I wish I was. But... Well, no, and honestly, honest, honestly, my main argument for... Because the thing is, in the EU, Britain and the EU, in, in, the, in the EU Parliament, we were agreeing with stuff. We were getting on. You know, we were... In terms of votes, it wasn't very tenuous. I'll be right back. My arg okay. The argument for... Uh, America splintering, as it were, is the fact that it can't it already. It's already so big it can't agree on it. It can't agree on anything. So if they did literally split up, they the two countries that would form would actually both get sh more shit done in their own respective directions. So in fact, it's actually a more progressive outlook to do that. Uh... I don't know if I see the same future you do, then. It also counts on the fact that uh, I, I Americans see don't finally rise up. Style countries right beside one another. That's what I see. Instead of a collective trying to solve and all that was side. all that was fostered with the current political climate of allowing each party, both parties, to uh, verbally attack each other and instigate each other. Yeah, that that. That kind of screwed you over a little bit. I won't. I won't lie. Um, it comes down to now, instead of looking at each other as one people, it's either one side or the other. And I unfortunately, the it's the it's definitely the wrong way to do it. I agree. It comes down to the fact now that we need, as American people, need to rise up, overthrow that system, not the people in power, but the system, and come down to where it's just it's it, to me. I thought. I think a pure popular vote. And majority does, you know, majority should win out. Not this bullshit first past the post, not this bullshit electoral college, but a pure voice of the people to where, because we have popular vote, people more more would be like, hey, my vote, one, per, one person, one vote. My vote actually matters now compared to those who are in states that are well, automatically. There's a, there's a problem there. Right. Though. You got to make sure every state is keeping up to date with the tech too in order for that to truly be a thing. Cause, because if not, it that can be... You can fuck with the right. election really fucking easily. You're right, and that's exactly where it comes down to. We already give, you know, we already have donor states giving to the welfare states. Now it comes down to those states, you guys gotta elect the proper uh, representatives for it. Kentucky is actually has a good representative. They actually, ha you guys actually have a, a good representative. It's a matter of now everybody banding together to help one another rather than certain states but voting for narcissistic tendencies of just saying, I do me and fuck everybody else. We establish more socialistic policies that will actually end up banding together and helping others rise up from the poor. You end up having everybody benefit. I can tell you the biggest reason why this is a conservative state it's two major factors. One of them is the lack of jobs here, so it's really hard for people to really go on their feet. And two of them is, unfortunately, we were a democratic state there for a while. We were on the, it was a blue state for a while. And then that side completely fucked over the coal industry, which was a major source of income and jobs for people in the state. And in the process of doing that, I, I agree we should be moving away from coal, but just straight up, Fuck the coal industry at NASA like that. that was really dumb. Right. And that's, actually, how you that's how you lose a base. You want to know how that happened? The two-party system. Because guess what? The liberals had enough power to, re to remove it, and which is why right now the current health system, they want to repeal and replace it at the same time. That's the intelligent thing they should have done. The problem is in the midst of replacing for Kentucky and for other states that use coal, conservatives blocked it because they couldn't agree on what to replace it with. They, they did all eventually agree to repeal it, but they didn't agree on the replacing part and stall right there. Yeah. I'm back. That is a bad well, thing to do. They should, they should have, and I'm talking both sides of this, 
should have agreed to first, before they even implemented anything, a repeal and replace at the same time. No, I do want to throw out the, the factor. One of the reasons why I would not want to see, not only do I think it's a bad idea to separate from, for the states to separate from the U.S., but also it's more of a selfish reason as well, because if you do that, I'm already in a red enough state as it is. There's already enough right, like, it's extremely right-wing. Right. If we lose that part of our country using a massive source of the liberal side, and then it's just going to become even more fucking right-wing, and I personally have no fucking way out of this rat hole. So right. I need some part of my country to have some sensibility that it lines up with mine. So and mine is also it's you, part of a selfish reason. In that. And to benefit uh, you and people like you, we do need more socialist policies to help give people like you more opportunity to get out of the shithole. If you we didn't give a single people, fucking bag that time, did we? Mm-mm. No, we didn't. Oh, um, we just we just cleared through it. <laughs> um, but this is where it's it's really fucked. Because you have all these corporations that say, well, there's jobs out there. So even if there's jobs out there, they are low quality, minimum wage jobs, which are sub- which the government subsidizes so the companies can keep their, their low wage jobs and have justification for it. Because if you work a full time shift in, 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 good, in a couple of states, like with mine, you work a full time 40 hour day on uh, minimum wage, 825, that's still not enough to be independent. That's still not enough to pay not only for rent, but for food on top of that. So what? guess what they got to do? Even with a full-time job, they got to be on food stamps. That, that's one of the Also, I want to like, revert back. Like, Sam, I know you you, you probably don't believe it. I just want to make sense for instance. I was not trying to be hostile towards Sam whatsoever. I know. <laughs> I was just trying to cl- make a clarification it. because to me, no, they the... California exiting is very similar to the Brexit thing in a lot of ways, and it doesn't align up in my head. Like, if one was a bad idea, surely this other one must be a bad idea. <laughs> well, at this point, at this point, I'm actually also for Scotland leaving Britain. Yeah, but then you you lose even more in that though, don't you? Would then, you really want them to leave, or? Well, I would want Scotland to leave. I would want Scotland to leave to rejoin the EU, which the EU have actually said, yeah, yeah, fine, we'll do that, and. I would try and move to Scotland at that point. Ah, oh, so you'd be good. See ya. Yeah. And at least at least that point, then, um, Scotland's not, not saying flat out they're done and they're isolating themselves from the rest of the world. They're, in fact, joining the rest of the world, and UK is alone in isolating itself. Yeah, but see, this is the, the, the part that sucks. There's no way for me to be able to relocate to whatever the new country California would become. No. I, I do not have the means or, or way to do that. So not that's why I yet. do not want to be stuck in conservative hell. Not yet. Although, the interesting thing, though, Tom, is you don't have to essentially go to California. Not At least in, in this term. All you guys actually have to do is go one state up and go into mine. But the yeah, problem with that is... You can't even afford to do that. You can't afford to do that, right? Wouldn't but that be it comes two states up? To, no, it's one. You, you guys are bordering with me, too. It's, it's one, yeah. I we just to, have to go to the other side of Kentucky. I guess I've yeah, got the Illinois have to go, one of the seven uh, border states. You'd have to go west, um, west and north. It's peaceful there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I guess I completely forgot that Illinois was one of the border states of Kentucky. And they're also a donor state. But what what kind of bums me out about both Illinois and, and California is I I, I kind of like this rural region. It's pretty and it's isolated. Mm. I don't have to deal with people. There isn't also, really that many places in those two states. There. Like isn't but there is some and one of them is actually where uh, one of my friends is um in pontiac illinois it's more the more south you get from chicago the more rural it is uh i'm talking about like the mountain chains and stuff i, I love oh the yeah, 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 yeah. Appalachian mountains. Mountains. yeah yeah in terms of the mountains you're right rural areas are here <laughs> we definitely got rural areas that's what i like about living in the uk like there are a lot of there, there's a lot of fucking rural areas that are like and it's weird because it's like very very rural where you can't see it's like it's just trees grass nothing a couple of houses uh but then you go 10 minutes away and it's a fucking city it's really weird but the, you know what's interesting about this group though guys we've had a full political discussion it might have gotten heated but the problem is, well, not that's the problem, but the, the end result is we all then start saying, you know what, we all understand each other. That's the interesting thing. Oh, wait, we, we need to be more like the rest of the internet. You, you all are a bunch of fucking regressive cucks. 
<laughs> no. There you go. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll bring this full Sir, circle. Now somebody's got to call one of us a Nazi. Did you say a Nazi? You know? I said Nazi. 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 <laughs> I heard Nazi. Well, we know who the Jew is now. <laughs> like, here's the, and like here's the, here's the thing, right? Schmecker. Like, wow. even in terms of what even in terms of what England does, I think that even the other side does some good stuff. You know, because the conservatives, who I cannot stand, have just announced something that I agree with. And I'm, I'm like, cool, okay. And that is the fact that they are going to be raising the minimum wage. That's good. Wow, that, that is actually kind of anti-conservative of them. I wouldn't minimum necessarily, wage is going necessarily say that. And the, the reason why is if you look at the, the real agenda of conservatives, I wouldn't say it's anti-conservative. What the uh, hell is that? No, that I would, I would be a bit. I'm um, I'm confused on why you wouldn't say that, but more so it's the fact I just don't know the the full thing with me. Your full opinion on it. it. It works in a conservative fashion because it promotes what's called social mobility. Hmm. Um, oh. Because you're making a little bit more money, you can afford to spend a little bit more. Yeah. And okay. You back into the economy. You can because you're spending a little bit more. That means you know you've got more incentive to work harder, and then, that, then because you're working harder, you get promoted. You make more money, and then you're spending more money, and yeah. then you're making more money, and you're spending more money. Because, so actually, oh, I get it. Wage I, I, I get it. Thing, but it works. It's I a moderate conservative thing. No, what it is, because you're so used to how things are here in America. Sam's talking about fiscal conservatives, not. Yeah. Moral conservatives. Well, and the way the way I, I would view that is I would I would call them modern conservatives because those are the more reasonable. Which is what aspects. I'm saying. Our conservatives are really fucking moderate compared to yours. Yeah, you know, and that's why I'm saying, oh, it's moderate conservatism. You know, th th that's the term I would use. But it here's, is the, fiscal here's the hilarious fiscal. fucking thing, oh, though, right? Yes. Here's the hilarious thing, right? We do not have separation of church and state. We don't have that. In fact, we have it written into our. It's not a constitution, but you get the idea. You have it written into our thing that, you know, uh, Parliament gets its power from the from the sovereign, the Queen, and then the Queen gets her power from God. So, it's really must, weird. Must suck to be an atheist over there. No, it doesn't. No, because it doesn't. they also are not allowed by law to post to make any legislation which is motivated by a religious belief. But that is separation of church and state, then. It's not because this because it's the same thing. It's just worded different. Yeah. Yeah. Because over here we have in God we trust on our money, but that we still have separation of church and state. That that's because of well, the Cold War, really. It's the yeah. definition of what church, de separation of church and state is. Um, yeah. Because we're not allowed to pass any law favoring one religion over the other. Yeah. Because the the thing is, it doesn't. It wouldn't work over here because we have such a melting pot of religions. So We've got we a lot of fucking religions over here. Yeah, and so, so we... That, and that's why the separated church and state exists. So that we can't that's pass why, a law that's that... That's why it had to exist in the first place. The yeah. reason why is because there are so many different dominant you know, denominations... Denominations, yeah. No, denominations of Christians at the start that were trying to vie for power. So it was a way of shutting them up straight out the gate. It existed as it's... a clause to stop them at the start, but it carried over it. Because, for example, our Prime Minister, Theresa May, uh, Conservative Prime Minister, didn't get in. She was selected by the Conservative Party to replace our previous Prime Minister, who resigned. So we didn't elect her. She said, and this is the one thing that scared a lot of people, you know, uh, I will use my faith in God and God will guide us through Brexit. At that point, the entire country just went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Collectively. We just like, oh, dear Jesus Christ. Because we don't have that same atheistic stigma that, that America does. Because I think two out of the three leaders of the three main parties are atheist. Well, I mean, saying, you know, oh, you know, God will guide me or whatever, that's one thing. Hell, I've seen Obama say, you know, you know, thank God or God this and God that. I've seen I've seen presidents do that and just spout out about how, you know, God led well, him here and this, that, and the other. Because even George Bush well, did. But say we, we also have thing. a they can't we pass any law of favor greater. religion over the other. You know. We also have a greater religious uh, portion of the country. A greater portion of our country is more religious. Like, and yeah. it's more of a public relations thing. He's got to work that in somehow. 
Yeah, Leave over here. Thing too is is America is a secular nation. It's not a Christian nation like people want to think. It was founded as a secular nation, and it is but still a secular. nation. You got to remember that using the term God doesn't just play favor with the Christians as well, because there's plenty of other religions that yeah. have a God. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Because the, God's the, just a generalized term. The hilarious thing is, is like over here, evangelicals. We look at American evangelicals and we cannot stop laughing. Even even the most religious people are like, what the? Oh no, there's plenty of people here. What the? Like, heck? Uh, I, I know old regular Baptists laugh at the fucking evangelicals. Yeah, it's, it's like even our most extreme like religious people are like, okay, that's a bit fucking weird. Because uh, it's weird because um, a lot of religion over here, especially Christian religion, isn't really focused around belief anymore it's focused around a sense of community you know you go to church or to a religious meeting to socialize to meet meet with your community to integrate that kind of thing rather than a belief in a prayer sort of or a sort of loyalty to a god well that that's where it's it's amusing because a lot of people try to make a lot of people make the argument have a lot of good points that most American Christians, that's really all they're doing is a whale. Like, because the, the, the loudest ones are the ones that come across as brash assholes, but the majority are kind of the same as that. Yeah. They just don't really want to call it that. Because the thing is, as well, uh, a lot of people in the UK who are actually down as Christian aren't Christian. They just don't change it because they can't be bothered. They just, they just, and they, if, they, if they just get a thing, they just go, oh, Christian, tick, whatever. Like, I was born, that's what I was born as, so tick, whatever, it's the closest thing I can think of. For example, my, for some reason, it, for my medical stuff, I'm down as a Church of England guy. <laughs> and I, need to, I needed to change that, because I'm like, no, correct, <laughs> correct that thing, okay, send that back in. Um, because, as a kid, you know, my mother's not a religious person either, but she's like, well, he's he was born into sort of Church of England stuff, so there you go. Yeah, so you're just down there by default. Actually, you know, a country that is way more religious than people realize, and it's hard to realize unless you've been there and you really see it, because they're more isolated than most, is Australia. Uh, yeah, Australia's is way more religious than you think. Uh, beer, beer, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Okay. Matter of fact, they're... Homophobia is a huge thing in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of homophobes there. But the population is also kind of small, too. When you compare it to other nations, to be fair. It's because everybody lives on the edges, because it's impossible to live in the center. <laughs> yeah, because I just think, you know, as much as I see things going wrong in the UK, I look at the U.S. and go, you know what? We're doing okay. Yeah. We're doing all right. Things can undulate and go out of control quickly, and you know that. Like, yeah. <laughs> everything can spin on its head. That's why I'm glad, you know, in U.K. elections, for example, you're not allowed to have sponsors. You're not allowed to have people pay for your campaigns. You're not allowed to do anything like that, and you can only spend a small amount. That's something that people here have been trying to push for a long time, and if we can get, if we can get the money out of the politics like that, that would be nothing but gain for the United States. And the, the weird thing <laughs> is, when you get the voting thing, it doesn't say. Say if, say if we use the American example. Say when I say if I was going to vote in the presidential election, but it was actually structured like the UK. When I got the voting sheet, it wouldn't say uh, Barack Obama and then underneath Donald Trump, Jill Stein, all the others. It wouldn't say that. What it would say is just my local representative and nothing else. Local representative and the party that they're part of, because you in the UK you do not vote for the president or the prime minister. You vote for the party, and the party then decide who they want to have represented as, pre- as prime minister. Yeah. Now, wait a are about rep- what's the point Wars of voting about- if you only have one option? No, you, you have more than one option. No, 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 no. They go off. It's different. We're voting for um, individual representatives. They're voting for. Uh, for a, a party system itself, like the, no, no, the, I get that, the, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, what, the way he just now said it made my brain correlate it weirdly because he said 
when we, like our ballot it doesn't almost, show this person, this person, to this person, just our local representative and the party you're with. It's so no, yeah. it, it does. It do, what I'm saying is it doesn't show, for example, um, it wouldn't show, for example, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, Jill Stein. Instead, it would show Mitch McConnell. Uh, oh, yeah, the local senators basically it would show it would show the senators instead and the party they're listed for and you vote for the senator essentially because you're voting for the senator to represent you in congress or in our case you're voting for the member of parliament to represent you in, in the in parliament and then the the party who has the most members of parliament or in the american case the in the congress the party who has the most senators wins the election and the person they elect to be leader becomes president, or in our case, prime minister. I, I, I guess so, yeah. It, that sounds like an interesting system, but I don't think it'll work here, and I don't really think I would want it myself. It's just, it stops that whole cult of personality thing. Because yeah. you're, not, you're not voting for the big guy that's making all the noise. You kind of have to vote on what your it, local representative is going to stand for. Yeah, and that that actually would core that would help a lot more because at that point you have no control. Like the whole doesn't matter who, what whoever's running for the big office because their personality or, or whatever they're trying to swing with doesn't matter for shit. It's whatever your local ones coming together in a bigger group decide who should be the representative of everyone, and that that does seem like a good idea. <coughs> But I'm not sure if it would work here. I, I would like to see it work here. But I also think it would probably need to be restructured as well because there's faults in every yeah. ele election system, you know? Because I still think we should have been able to vote and then say, for example, uh, instead of just ticking who we want, you put, okay, if I was to choose, I'd say this would be number one, this would be number two, this would be number three. And do that system instead. And that, that, that sounds way, like a good idea. And that way what happens is they count up all the votes, and the person who has the least number of votes gets taken out of the running. So anybody that anybody that voted number one for that person, they their their <laughs> vote then gets shifted to number two. And it keeps doing that until until one person has a supermajority, at which point it's like, okay, they win. And, and that will work really good in this digital age where you can have machines counted up faster through that. But you gotta worry about rural areas and making sure that they have access to the machines as well for vote, voting. Then machines, and, and machines in are this country, that be. because they can get manipulated. That's true. Huh. And if you're gonna do it like off from ballot or any other method, that would take a long time to calculate that. It does in the UK. It takes ages, but we we, we basically outlawed e-voting because it's so easy. It's so easy to screw up. Mm. So you you have to vote by paper. You have to, and it has to be counted by hand. Are people hand. still able to like vote earlier there? Like, say, if you're an elderly person, have uh, you can apply for a postal vote. Okay, I, I was just curious if that was a thing. But... I personally vote by post. Right. So I get my I get my ballot early. I mark it. I send it off in the mail. Yeah, because because there's sometimes people just they can't be there on election day. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah, they, they they have the postal vote for that. You just have to ask for it. Um. And then what happens is, when it when the votes are being counted at the local level, which is how it's counted, uh, they have this huge, they have this huge like they normally take out like a, a church hall or a school hall or something, and then they they have tables laid out where they have all the votes, and all of the local representatives from all the different parties show up as it's being counted, and they check every single vote that gets counted, and everybody has to agree, okay, that's a fair vote for that person, that's a fair vote for that person, so there's no corruption. Because everybody from all the different parties all have to agree. They're like, okay, yeah, okay. So okay. the only way it could really be corruption is through some fucked up form of collusion. And that would be really, really fucking hard to do. Although the funny thing is, is for example, if you spoil your ballot in any way, if you put two crosses in it, all of the uh, every single person from each like each representative from each party has to look at that vote and agree that it was spoiled. So you could write whatever you want on there. You could spoil the ballot and then write in your old dicks, and then they'd all have to read it. <laughs> you know what? If that's how this system works, I would have voted that day. Yeah. Take out the garbage. Take out the yeah. Yep. And pick up all these cups. Oh, of course. 
She said throw out the cats and replace them with the garbage, yep. <laughs> yes, 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 she did. Yes. <laughs> make, make garbage cats and line them all over the house. And... This cat is made out of cups. Hmm. Ooh, my boy, that's all cool. And the thing that, the, just the thing that made Brexit so tenuous is the fact that when the vote was counted, it was 52% for leaving and 48% for remaining. And they've calculated that with the people, the amount of people that were lied to and the amount of people who actually regret it, it would have made a difference. I do think for such a major decision like that, it should be a super majority. That's just personal opinion. Yeah. In fact, that's what a lot of people said. <laughs> a lot of people said Because that's a major decision. It should have been at least a 10 point difference. But no, it was a one point or two point difference. What baffled me though is like when you see on the news, how many people are Googling what is the EU? Yep, after they voted to leave as well, which is fucking stupid. It's like, wow. Let's leave this thing wow. that I don't know what is. That's kind of like, like put up on the ballot. All right, D do you wish to la launch nukes directly on top of your own state? Yes or no? Everybody click yes, and like, t like after the vote, like, what's a nuke? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! One of the scare tactics that the Leave voters used is they said, oh, well, they're going to create a United States of Europe where, you know, it, the UK would just become a state in Europe. And I went, and I was thinking, you know what? The fact that we actually all agree on shit, I'd be okay with that. I'd be perfectly fine with living in the United States of Europe. I'd be okay. What's, why is this a bad thing? You know, you'd have that, you'd actually have then every, all of those different countries banding together and working together. It'd be really fucking cool. But people didn't like that. <laughs> people got really fucking scared. So like, what are we doing? Well, uh, I think we're waiting on Sam to come back. I'm not I'm, sure. What? I'm here. No. Hey, you're in a different area. Sure. We're in Cory Mill now. Oh shit. Yeah. Whoops. That's what I meant. Bye. Grab it for Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Figured you might. It was like, why are you still a little fucker? <laughs> I was just wandering around. We're, we're all having a good discussion, though, so we get, get, kind of got caught up in it. I, I, I wandered off to just mess around with Batterin and fucking Triple Triad. I, I think it's Batterin. I don't know who I'm. Yeah, B Buskerin, sorry. Not Batterin. Batter, yeah, Batterin's the one who owns the Drowning Winch. Yeah, I know. I, I, I get those two mixed up on occasion because their names are so similar. But now I'm facing uh, Batteron. Uh, 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 Buskeron. There we go. I got two Rayo, Rena, and Arun Senna cards, even though I already had them. I was just doing it to pass the time. Let's see if we can like start start some other fiery discussion. Let's let's get into it. Uh, let's get into like all right. Xbox One sucks. No, let, let, let's get into like MOBAs and like the meta. Combustion. Are are, are are supports important or do they ruin the game? I am going to excuse myself from this conversation. Thank you. <laughs> Conflagration. Are, are, are supports important or do they ruin the game? Are they anti fun as we put it? Hey, fuck this discussion. Guess what? We're going in. No, I guess not. <laughs> oh. Um. Rip. You still, you still can't go in because I, I need yeah. to change my class over. Exactly. Magma. Come fuck. on, Dreamer. You don't want to have the discussion about how um, su supports may or may not destroy the, the meta and the fun of the game. <laughs> they are actually uh, adding another healing support this year. My stance is supports are useless. Let's go. I, I like how everyone's <laughs> just ignoring my fiery discussion. What was your fire discussion? Combustion. What about it? Conflagration. Huh? Okay, here's, here's a fiery Barbecue. discussion. Here's a fiery discussion. What's your view on electric cars? Fire itself. Look, we need to keep the com we need to keep the combustion engine going for the rest of eternity. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know my jokes are bad, but come on, at least acknowledge. I don't even know what you were saying. You said I reserve my right to refuse to acknowledge. I'm having a fiery discussion. See combustion, conflagration. Oh, you're being retarded. 
Oh, you're not getting mail. <laughs> Explains a lot. Oh. oh and I've almost maxed out my arm, too. I'll just need one plus one more. You can't unfrog me. Clean up your desk after that. You can't unfrog me. Did you oh, fucking cast that. Suna on me, sir? No. No, I casted leeches when you were paralyzed. Oh, <laughs> I will say it's somebody just, casted something on me. It's just my fairy got rid of it before I realized. <laughs> oh, like, is somebody trying to take frog off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging the music. God damn it! Hey, Deep Palace Callahan. Oh wait, there's nobody here. Shit. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's I what happens I thought... in. <laughs> I, I didn't think you guys aggroed this shit. I didn't I even notice, because he was an onion. Oh, just like, oh, here's this random moving onion. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. No, I didn't even notice that he slipped away, because I didn't even really... I like how this Dullahan's basically the size of him. That, that's a midget Dullahan, and it's cute. So, am I cute? Lola hand is so adorable. It was so tiny. Unlike, unlike Lollafell, they're the opposite of such. What, tiny? No, cute. No, the thing is, Lollafell's a, <laughs> you, you, a small, me. so you think. Lollafell's a small, so you think they'd be cute, but they're disproportionate. It's, they, they look at them and they're like, that's weird. Well, some of them find them cute. But then again, if you look at the, the old school definition of what cute means, it's ugly but interesting, so. Well, by that standard, then sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're based off like a Japanese spirit doll thingy. Mm. There's nothing in that room. No, they, they are kind of cute, though. I'll be fair. The females more than anything. The males are just kind of like, creepy. No, even the male ones can be. And now give Dreamer credit. At least he's, his character doesn't have those ugly ass fucking mutton chops that I see on every fucking other <laughs> LL4. Mutton chops are but, disgusting. Although I tell you one thing, man, there is nothing in this game that has made me feel happier than watching Teleji Adeleji just get his comeuppance. He just got sliced in half. That was amazing. It's like, dude, you dare mock the Sultana next to Raubon? What the fuck is wrong with you? You were asking for it through and fucking through, well, man. It was not just the mocking. He can handle the mocking. It was the fact that the Sultana looked like she had died. And, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Brown Bond was obviously not in the right frame of mind, either. He was completely distraught, man. He was like... Exactly. And then Teleji's like, oh, she deserved it. Being like, what is this snide little cunt? And Brown Bond's like, yeah. fuck you, bam, scissors! Well, yeah, <laughs> it, it kind of implies the fact that he was in love with her. And that's exactly where it's like, when that happened, he just lost himself. He, he was done living. He didn't want to live. He just wanted to kill thing. those who harmed her. Seeing all that made Raubon easily my favorite of the Grand Company leaders. Holy shit. Raubon yeah. is bad ass, dude, and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, again, it, it's heavily implied he's powered by love, and that's what I love about him. Yep. Because yeah, of the fact know. that he, he loved the Sultana that much that he, you know, when he figured out or thought that she was dead, he went out. Absolutely the crazy bold. part is, is how powerful he was even when he lost one arm. Yeah, we we had it was a good sparring match and I, when we took the field for Heaven's Word. I mean, after Fucking... all that, you thought you th you'd think you would be armless. <laughs> to be fair, to, to be fair, uh, nice. To be fair, though, um, I think Raul Bond was holding back a little bit there because it was implied uh, that it was a sparring match, which means our character would have been holding back as well. Oh yeah, we, we we they both were, but if you want to compare the two. There's one thing that makes us different compared to Robon, and it's the fact that we have the Blessing of the Light. If yeah. we didn't have that, I think it'd be a lot more of a closer match. Well, to be fair, Raubon did pick up the pace when, you know, towards the end. Yeah, but so, so did we. But the, it comes down to the fact that it was such an exhilarating fight that it just kept on going, 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 up, 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 up. Another to thing with Raubon is that it's Apex. We aren't even close to ours. But... Yeah. Mm. Hell, uh, I mean, actually, it's, it, it's possible that we're not even human if you really want to get down to it. Like, it's very, yeah. very possible that we're crystal entities. Like, we're not actually what we look like. We're not actually Mikote or Ellison or Cure. Well, I was going to say, because to, to be honest, I'm not human anyway. I'm, I'm an Ellison. Well, I, I, <laughs> meant, I meant human in, in terms of like a blanket statement, not racially. Humanoid, you mean? Same difference. Yeah. It's got the word human snow in it. Um, there's one thing that, that, that makes me think that. Um, that we're uh, a lot more powerful than we let on, and it was the fact that the Holy See, after we defeated him, Didn't was very shocked that we did, and the fact well, that uh, his, his look was like, 
Uh, what horrible. are you? Yeah, he saw us as this... And he couldn't see what we were. All he could see was this black shadow. Yeah. You know? And he was just outright horrified. And In other like, words, that, what the fuck? To, to me, that implies that we're not really beings. It, it, it implies to me that we're living crystals because of where we're also the chosen of the gods or chosen of the twelve. That we're not really beings. But beings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not humanoid. We are some sort of entity. It's just the fact of we were uh, potentially created to be, you know, to be um Hydra's agents. Nothing more. Actually I think we are. You know. I think we're I think we are actually humanoid and we are essentially I think we're more like if you imagine Eris from Seven like the Cetra? yeah mm. that kind it's of deal possible we could be like the alpha of our of our uh, race or whatever all right now we just gotta kill fucking mobs but more than anything I, I... though uh... Wait, did, did it say that, that it sensed a uh, horde in the store? Yeah. You don't have an intuition. Oh, yeah, we don't. Pop, dude. It's, it's oh. pop, dude. I didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, there's, there's there's one on the floor. It, okay. It's that we, we sense it calling us. It, it's here. I didn't notice that we had an intuition. Come on, grab it, Jess. I get it. Oh, never but, uh, but it is, it, it is entirely possible that we are like a crystal entity made in the image of one of the five races. Um... But at the same time, we definitely do have the blessings of the crystals. There so. it is. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah, we do. Uh, it was actually the blessing Someone of Hydra. Someone popped That, uh... What? No, don't stop me. Ow. A witchy! Got it. Cool. Hey, you. Why did we need a witching? Uh, because I'm getting pounded in the face. I thought you liked the face fucking. <laughs> Honestly, if I was to be completely honest, you're not Tom Phelps. I think, um, I think we're actually we actually are Ellis and Makote, whatever, and we are just honest, salt of the earth, genuine, rags to riches type adventurers that actually became something more as we progressed. Possibly, but the uh, other thing that gets a bit weird with that, though is, uh, first of all, what the Holy See saw us as. He didn't see that. All he saw was, like, a, a, a shadow of some, you know, some description. And the fact that, if you recall, um, there was that one cut scene that was talking about Sid way back even before the 1.0. Remember, it was showing, like, his, his early, early, early past, like, how he got his goggles, which he already had in 1.0. And it was our character giving it to them, even though, technically, we wouldn't have been born yet, because he was talking about how that was, like, many years in the past. So it's entirely possible that we could be, like, potentially one of the twelve in and of ourselves. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we, we could be, uh, like I said, the alpha of the race. Like, the firstborn of the race, but we're just reincarnated over and over and over again or something. Now, that doesn't explain the other Warriors of Light in the game itself, like the other players. But the story typically ignores them anyway. Yeah, It focuses it, around it your does. character as the Warrior of Light. Oh, we're blonde. That's why. Yep. But then that doesn't explain the Warriors of Darkness at that point. Well, it kind of does, because they're the they're opposite of another, us. Well, yeah, and they're from another world as well. well but I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just speculating. Really, I don't know. I mean, it's, it, it's entirely possible that we're just the reincarnation of the Warrior of Light. We're like a special being. You know what I well, mean? Well, actually, I think it's a matter of it's not just us alone. I think it's actually the Warriors of Light are a party group. Well, yeah, it's, like it's the, the warriors, of, warriors of light, sure. Because if you remember, the warriors of darkness were also warriors of light. Uh, as Sam said, we could just be skilled motherfuckers that have earned our way. Yeah. Well, that's yep. not what we were in eleven. In eleven, we weren't anything special. This is what I'm saying. I I really don't think we're anything special. I think mm -hmm. I think that is our that, the fact that we aren't anything special. That we did come from nothing is our greatest strength. And uh, Heidelin as as an entity saw that and then imbued us with some sort of power. Yeah. yeah. Chose us in the process, but, <coughs> you know. But that in so turn we would are... make us special. Well, well that will make us special after the fact, but not before. Yeah. Not not us yep. born into it, but us earning the right. Yeah, yep. and, are... and that that actually possibly happened when we um in the ultimate fight because we didn't have Highlands blessing up until a yeah we did fight. No, we had well, the we, echo. We, we, the we had the echo. 
Yeah, yeah we had, we've had, had the echo, echo from day one, man. No, no, no. The echo and the blessing were, two, uh, to me, two different things. Yeah, but well, the thing is, we did have Highlight's blessing even before that. Well, in 1.0, if you remember how the story unfolded, though, we tapped into the Echo. We didn't really yeah. have it. We initially tapped into it, and that's how we gained the Echo. Yeah, we, we tapped into it um, pretty early in the main scenario. You're right. That's what that's what caused um, oh, whatever. Oh, shit's in hell. Whatever that, that's why Orion Zer tested us with that battle, remember? Well, yeah, and that was also what led, you know, like, Kane Sena or Meriwib or whoever to direct you to the Scions. Because the very first time you got access to the Echo was actually... Pretty much right at the start of the game, like you, like if you started in Gridania, you do that whole thing where um, you're running from the treant, you know, at the big opening cinema there, and then your character passes out after the whole ordeal. No, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, you get into Gridania, and you're, you're getting yourself acquainted, and then something happens, I forget which, and County Sen is like, okay, well, we need to purge you of the wood sin, so you're doing the thing with the whole mask, and you're doing the whole stage thing. And then while you're on the stage, you see this weird thing in the past. Like, your character gets that weird headache thing, and we're transported back to a scene in the past. And, um... Just lost over there. And, and then from oh, there, we okay. passed out. You know, I don't remember what it was for Ulda or Limsa, but I remember Gridania was something like that. And that was really fucking early oh. in the story. And that was before, like, anyone really knew what was going on. We, they just thought we passed out. It wasn't really revealed that we had the Echo until later on. Um, because I remember there was like a quest at Ulda that you ended up doing where you did actually use the power of the Echo to help solve a murder. And that's oh. when, you know, that's when they're like, oh, wait, you have the Echo. Go seek the Scions or something like that. I do want to throw out something else story-wise. Uh, it could be the fact that we came to Eorzea that gave us access to the Echo as well. Because you got to remember, in 1.0 and in A Realm Reborn, it plays we our characters off as us coming into Eorzea. We're not yep. we're not native to the land. Yep. Yep. This is true. Alright. Yeah, there's no chest bullshit on this floor it seems. No, who used that? So that was my fault, sorry. No <laughs> Should we already have one active Oh it's okay. I I That's misclicked fine. actually. It's okay. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> not like we're not gonna get another one. Yeah we'll get plenty. I would have laughed so hard if that golden chest had one. Fucking no, it's... <laughs> I think the fact that we aren't anything special is what makes uh... us special. Perhaps. Yeah, and, Perhaps. and that could be that could be it. You know, it could be that we were chosen through our deeds and not so much because of what we were created of. Yeah. Well, my, like in my own personal lore, which doesn't necessarily pertain to the game's lore. But in my own personal lore, this you know this version of Seri that I'm playing right here is the very self same one from Vanadil, because the way that I have it set up in terms of like role playing or whatever you want to get into, basically her story is the fact that you know after her deeds in Vanadil, which also leaves it open ended in case oh, I ever went back to Vanadil for like playing eleven or whatever, um, it, it leads it to where you know after everything was done in Vanadil, she gets this sort of like uh, what's the word missive I guess like a letter. Um, I got a question. What? Just to in, it's interrupt. It's also the the way that the the full ending to eleven is. You don't even have to play it off that anymore. You are a god now in well, Benadil. <laughs> you, you, you are do, a god. You do become a god or <laughs> goddess of light. Yes, that's true. However, after the big battle, you lose that ability when you were reborn. It that gets doesn't mean anything. You're just that's like Jesus at that point. You're a god. Yeah, kind of, except if that were the case, you wouldn't have needed Phoenix to revive you. And the Even fact of the matter is... Die. Well, I know that, but the thing is, like, it was only a temporary gift from Altana anyway. She even made that clear. Because the entire point is, like, we ended up having to fight our Dark Self, which also became the Goddess of Darkness. And from there, um... You know, it, it was basically to affirm that gift from Altana or something like that, and to cleanse yourself of the darkness... So you had to become the, a true goddess of light, or god of light, if your character was male. But the thing is, you do lose that ability because it was only a temporary gift to begin with. It was so that you could go up against the cloud of darkness. Um, but all that being said, though, is after her events in, in, in Vanadil, like I said, she gets this really weird calling, uh, like a letter from a mysterious person to go to Zarkabard. But when she went there, 
there was not a soul there. Not a single thing there. Nothing. Nobody. No adventurer, no skeletons, no dragons, no anything. It's just this really eerie emptiness. And next thing you know, the fire was on sky. You know, the sky was on fire. Like you, you see in 1.0, you know, where you hear the, the hear, think, feel thing or whatever. And then next thing you know, she was in a cart bound for Ulda. So there you go. Only other thing is, like any and all of her powers were sealed. It's, you know, so she lost access to the Kriegstones and her former white magic, and she had to relearn and tap into the lands either. But like I said, that's only personal lore. So you know. You know what's really gonna piss me off? Yo. And this will this will piss me off. If, okay, with the fact that we're going to Ivalice, they're going to link in 12 in some way. Um, but here's the thing, what's going to bother me is when people start creating characters post-Stormblood, you're going to get people saying, I'm a descendant of Bash, or I'm a descendant of Penelo. Oh, God. Well, that doesn't necessarily People mean... People already do shit like that now. Yeah, so. they're, they're already going to do that. Oh, I, I, I'm a descendant from Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Just Take saying. Back to way more than you should have. <laughs> Horus down here, by the way. Yeah, but like. Ooh, so we're trusting that too. People will do that anyway. Like I am, I am Sephiroth's second brother that no one ever heard of, or I I'm Sephiroth, <laughs> Sephiroth's fucking sister. No, I I'm Cloud's brother. We need to make a parody game. There's a parody game in what you're saying, and we need fucking to make it. Fucking Mary Sue's. I love yeah. Mary Sue's. And Gary Stews on the, like... Light lightning? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, uh, it's not... it's just... Wait, what? Why did light speed trigger? I didn't click that at all, just anywhere. Here. You can do yeah. it all you want, but she's, she's technically not. She's really not. Oh, I'm, I'm maxed out now, guys. 99.99. I'm not. Yeah, that's why we gotta get silver chest free. <laughs> I'm a mile off. Oh, uh, let's head back up this way and get these. Get that silver chest at the very least. Oh, damn, damn bastards. What is it, Max? You have to wait. No, I, I personally cannot stand Lightning as a character. So... No, that's fair enough, but, to, to but she's not fair, a Mary Sue. To be fair, <laughs> I can understand why a lot of people don't like her. It's she because... becomes it later on. No, she doesn't. No, she Actually, really when doesn't. I say any characters like that, the character Noel in part two. He is every bit of a Gary Stu, yes. He comes out of nowhere and he's meant to be a main character. It's like, uh, no. And in fact, he's the main focus of 13-2. That is in every way a Gary Stu. Lightning, yep. on the other hand, I can understand why people don't like her because they see her as bland and boring and a stereotypical soldier, da 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 no. That's anything but. It, it's a little bit like people don't like Snow because he's gotta be the hero and he's an idiot and all. The thing is, they don't understand that it's actually a nuanced facade. It goes deeper than that. It's not, well, they no, don't wear their so emotions on, the, on their sleeves. Snow is that way is a bravado. It's a false bravado to keep himself from going insane. We actually see that confirmed in 13.3, where Snow actually did fall into the pit of despair because Lightning wasn't there to guide him. You, you want to know something kind of amusing? In Lightning Returns, you're not actually playing as Lightning. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lightning is actually represented by Sarah in that. What you're no. playing is a, a remnant of Lightning that got turned into a defender and then got forced to be a goddess. That's not actually Lightning. The real Lightning is Sarah. In that game. Uh, no. Yes. Mer you remember the story, Zach. I do that's, remember the story. The Sarah that, in that that's game. That's the fragment. No, I, I know, Sarah. but you're still, you're still playing as Lightning. You're playing as the part of Lightning that isn't actually heard, though. That's the reason why Yeah, I know. No you're, you're playing the version of Lightning that was the Valkyrie. I know. No, you're actually playing the, the goddess that died. That's Etra. Who you're, actually, yeah. you're playing Etro? I don't think so. Yes, you're the remnants of Etro this way. Yeah, because that's the reason why. That's the reason why you're the you're the god of death in that game. Yeah, but you're still lightning though. You that's have remnants entire... of lightning in, but you're the real lightning is actually Sarah. Um, no. Yes. No. The story that version, itself says that version it. of Sarah was a fragment of lightning. Yes, that's true. Because that was that's, that. That's the fragment of her where her true memory is. Yeah, it's her. Right, but you're you're still lightning though. If you are her body, you are not her. You, 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 okay, that version of Lightning is an avatar of Etro. It's not Lightning. Yeah, it's, it's using Lightning's body. It's like saying, okay, it, this is this is getting really meta, but it's like saying, okay, you're playing the you're playing an MMO, right? So say you don't roleplay, Rogue near 
is actually an avatar of me. So, well. really, <laughs> I'm the Warrior of Light. Not Rognir, I'm the Warrior of Light. It's just that I have Rognir acting as my avatar through me. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Please don't sleep. Can I rage? Somebody rage. Somebody Damn. rage. I uh, get it. Nah. Where's the Where's the rage? Nah, on nah, we got it. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Didn't do it. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even find it. <laughs> uh, save it. Save it. Save it. Well, I'm saving it. No, I, that, that's all confusing. I, but no. I I don't I don't fight. I don't sub I don't ascribe to the traditional arguments of why people don't like lightning. I just don't like it. Which is fair Nothing enough. Nothing does for it. Yeah. I really can't stand her. But it... like honestly, if I had to choose between the Farron sisters, I prefer Sarah. But that doesn't mean I don't like lightning. Lightning because I can relate to her more as an actual character. Whereas I can relate I was, to Sarah more. Oh, well, relate to lightning. Yeah. You know, people criticize snow. I like snow. I think people You're one are really of the few unfair that do. to Snow. But yeah, a lot of people yeah. really are unfair to Snow. They, they see him as this idiot who thinks he's, like, the king of the world, like, he's the strongest person ever. They see him as the guy that's, like, the leader. Like, the guy, you know what I mean, the guy that's a poser. Well, not a poser. It's a jock. Like, it's like a jock. Yeah, they, sort they, of. They, but they see him as the guy that thinks he's better than he is. But the thing is, Snow's got the skill to back it up, but he doesn't have the mental fortitude. That's the thing. He uses the false bravado to help build himself up. That's evident if people would pay attention to the story. After replaying through 13 recently, I... I'm not the biggest fan of Hope, but I I, I can forgive, and I still... And I, and I kind of like Hope a bit more now after... Oh, wait, wait, I'm this I, I actually... And after playing it again, I still like Zaz, but I think Zaz is the most yeah, overrated this, character. Got too many of these anyway. Hope, I think, is the flat-out shittest character. I, oh I god, I hate Hope completely in the first Lightning uh, in uh, the first game. <laughs> After playing Lightning Returns, I 100% forgive it. Oh no, no, I agree with you there! I agree with you there! I love Lightning Returns, but, but Hope in that game is the most annoying fucking thing in the universe. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought Navi was bad. Navi, I, I would I would take hey, Navi in a heartbeat. Hey, 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 Tom, let me tell you just how annoying that version of Hope is. Do I need to remind you how annoying that version of Hope is? Oh yeah, I need to remind you how annoying that version of Hope is. No, please, I have to remind you how annoying that version of Hope is. No, no, I have to remind you how annoying that version of Hope is. Did you hear that I told you that Light uh, Hope was annoying as hell in Lightning Returns? I need to remind you how... Like, so on and so forth. You know oh, that 12 God. is my least favorite Final Fantasy. <laughs> but Hope, Hope is by far my least favorite character in any Final Fantasy game, period. Oh. I cannot stand him. The, the, the frequency of which of Hope reminds you in Lightning Returns made me made me like go what what, what was that so thinking? Bad it was there, offensive. Um, now in the first game though, I understood uh, Hope's character development. I understood actually, the character. I did. The problem actually, is the voice comes, actor undersold it. I think. And that's not yeah, he, to say he he's a bad it. voice actor. He just kind of oversold it. Uh, I think it took too long to get to the point that it was trying to make. Yeah, oh, that yeah. Too. And, see, and see, that's where it's like I can understand it. But it comes down to that's a pacing issue, really, not the story. Yeah, issue. well, that and the voice actor wasn't doing it any justice. He, he just made Hope sound extremely whiny, but not really well, believable. The thing, the thing is, if you've seen Everybody Hates Chris, he plays Chris Rock's best friend in that. I ca so I can't actually look at him as anything except an, an Italian-American kid. Yeah. It's pretty but... fucking funny. Um, the thing that the, the thing that really gets me though, and I don't really understand why, but a lot of the time, when, when, when you see people's like biggest complaints about like Final Fantasy twelve or Final Fantasy thirteen, you know, it, it, I, I look at that and I'm like, damn, how contrarian am I compared to the rest of the uh, of the world or whatever? Because like. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people say, Oh my fucking god, I can't stand Pinello. She's so annoying. Oh my fucking god, I hate Vanille. She's the worst character ever. And I'm like, they're my favorite characters! What the fuck? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I will tell you, my least favorite character in 13 is Hope, but Vanille isn't far behind. Uh, like, why? Um, why is that? Why do I like the characters that everyone else seems to hate? Because even in one of my favorite characters... Because you like QT shit, apparently. But in, in 12, my least favorite character isn't Pinello, it's Varm. So, uh, there you go. Well, Varm's uh, in a weird sort of Vaughn place. has actually grown on me quite a lot. And yeah, uh, like, he's in a weird sort I, of place. I he's, think he's in a good spot. He's not really main character, per se, but at the same time, he's the perfect main character. 
and, and like what I mean is like you know you're seeing the story through his eyes which is good because the story is confusing and it's good that it's confusing not to the average person mind you they're going to hate it because they couldn't follow along but if you really get down and examine it it's it's really good the way that it is it's confusing because you're seeing it through Vaughn's eyes if That's you want right. a story of political intrigue you have to have confusion in the mix for it to come together later you what, can't just let it be thrown out on the plate one thing I'm going to say, I'm going to, ch I'm going to change tack here a little bit. It's on the late. <laughs> but, Zach, would you say that Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI is your favorite game of all time? I probably would, yeah. Okay. So, what I want you to do now is criticize Final Fantasy VI. Well, you know, the thing is, there there is problems with it. There really is. And there always has been. Like, namely, the glitches. And the fact that I don't necessarily like the freaking, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't like the GBA port of it. You know, but the thing is, like, asking me to find negatives with it is difficult because I'm not a reviewer. I wouldn't know what to look for. I just know that I really like the game. Through Try your best. It, 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 from a personal standpoint. Try your best. Not from not from te a technical standpoint. From a personal standpoint, what pisses you off about Final Fantasy VI the most? Well, and don't, and don't put a port of the game. He's talking about the game itself. I was kidding to that. Would, would, would you please before I lose it? Because the only Fuck thing. You really comes to mind is fuck you too but when you actually have to go to the burning house in Thasmasa, the Masa, whatever in fact I didn't like that entire scene dealing with the Maza where you have to like go through there and you're, you're you know uh, it's what is it it's where you uh, shit I can't think of the words I'm looking for but I'm dropping frames like crazy right now they're off and on so I'm lagging a bit I noticed I'm lagging a bit in game too but not much um anyway it's the part where, you know, you get Shadow with you and you're looking for the uh, the Esper Cave. That part right there, I feel, drags on a little too long. Especially with the freaking Burning House. The Burning House is just annoying. But other than that, I can't really think of too many uh, places. This is the thing. I'm, not, I'm actually trying to get you to literally criticize your favorite game. It's, well, yeah. That's why it's so difficult. Well, it's not just that. Like, you know, it's also because I'm not really a reviewer, so I can't really, you know... Like I said, there's parts I don't like. There's, you know, every game's gonna oh, have parts shit. you do. No, but this is what I'm saying. I mean, oh Fuck. shit. <laughs> no, but it's like, you know, I've heard you pull pull games apart really easily. I want to see you pull pull six apart. What, you know, what you hate and shit about it. Well, like I said, there's parts That's... that I don't like. Like, uh, but I, you know, I love the Magitech Research Facility. That place is really cool. You know, the Devil's Lab. I like that place a lot. But I, I'm not asking you to point out positives, just negative. No, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is that's a part that I really like. But another part that I don't like is when you're having to go through uh, Gestal's Empire uh, in Vector and talking to all the guards to try to convince them not to fight. That's an annoying part. Uh, I would probably say the ca the sealed cavern is pretty <coughs> annoying, too. I also really, really hate the Phoenix, or not Phoenix Cave, but... Uh, uh, no, it is the Phoenix Cave, actually, where you find Locke in the World of Ruin. I don't like going through there because of having to split your party off and stuff. Because myself, like, my favorite game of all time is Metal Gear Solid 2. I love it to death. Uh, I think it is pretty much quintessentially Metal Gear. It's I love it. But I will say there are things in it that bug the fuck out of me. Oh, yeah, I'm lagging. I'm, like, kind of bad. Could be your internet because I just heard you. Weird. And even if they make sense, even if they make sense in the story, I still don't fucking like them. I don't like the fact that we got such a short time spent with the whole philanthropy tanker angle. That bugged me. Uh, I don't like the fact that they tacked on this whole love story angle for Raiden. Yes, it was kind of necessary to develop the character, but Rosemary is so fucking annoying. I cannot stand her. And the fact that she calls you at the worst fucking times. Sometimes it's really, amusing. It's really ir I know, I find it really fucking irritating. It is annoying how she nags freaking Raiden a lot. Um, I, like, yeah, but, sure, girlfriend's nagging, whatever, but Jesus Christ, lay off some a bit, you know? Yeah, and it, he, he does, he does, I understand feeling sorry for yourself, but Raiden as a character does sort of delve into the point of self-pity, and that is, that's weak to me, that... And it, that's that's saying I like Raiden. I like Raiden a lot more than a lot of other, other people do. But I think his characterization, he gets really whiny. He does. And it's like it's like oh come on. And the the other the, the other thing that bugs me 
is the fact that yes, you're supposed to be showing that Raiden's going through similar things to Solid Snake, but the blatant references get a bit tiresome. It's like, oh well, you know, Olga's going to dress up in, a, in the ninja outfit and call, call herself Deep Throat, and then suddenly change her mind and call herself Mr. X. It's like, oh come on, really? We're going well, she through did this do that again. a little bit, but not really. It's like we're going through this again, really. We're going through another torture chamber se sequence, really? Okay, game. Okay. And it got a bit tedious after a while. And it, you know, I could even say the same for my favorite RPG, with uh, which is Legend of Dragoon. The random encounter rate in that game is bullshit. In certain areas, <laughs> yes, and others not so it's much. Fucking bullshit. No, I'd, I'd say it, would, it was all the way through. It's it's so bullshit. It's annoying, and the overworld the overworld system the map is obtuse as fuck. It can the fact be. that it's on rails. The fact, the fact that it's on rails as well. Hey, but at least it wasn't like you point to an area okay. and you click it and you automatically go there. Oh, sick. I oh. accidentally found one. Although that might have been better. <laughs> no, I tell you yeah, one thing. No, there there is one major oh complaint I do God. have with, with Legend of Dragoon, though. I, I didn't really care that the map system was the way that it was in terms of movement. That that felt cool. That felt. It felt all right, you know, because I've played, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics. I've played other games that had map systems like that. Mario RPG comes to mind, you know. So it's not even the map system that bothered me. No, what bothered me was certain areas that you had to go through. Like you, you you've got the map, and then like, the, okay, you know that the one forest right next to the starting town. Um, I think I, I can't remember yes. what the name of the starting town is. I think it's like Celis or something. Celis, um, yeah. Yeah, but you know the one that that one forest that's right there, and like the very yes, first time you go there, you go to that us. forest. You, we know. you go to that forest, and you have to go what through that heck? forest. They you have to, because no two ways around it. But, yeah. once you've cleared that forest, you can skip it. You can walk right on through it. You don't have to go back in. But then you have an area like the the, the, um, the Badlands, uh, near Castle Fletz, where you have to go through it every fucking time. And it's so annoying, because the it barons. makes... Yeah. The Barons, that's it, yes. Damn it. So fucking annoying. Especially, it's like, why why do some areas let me pass right through after I've cleared it the first time, and other areas Ow. don't? Like, what's the point of that? Like, why do I have to go through the barrens every motherfucking time? Why can't I just skip it? It would make travel so much easier. The first time, I get, because I haven't been there yet. But with the amount of times that you have to travel between Fletch and Dolly, it's like, god damn it! Yeah, it, it really <laughs> is bullshit. <What> <laughs> That's like my major. That's what I'm trying to game. say. There's another. I, I flipped the most right. that spawn fucking you know I mean? mobs. That's that's really yep. my only major gripe with Dragoon is the Barons. That's the only thing I can really think about the map system that I hated. The other thing I didn't like about um, Legend of Dragoon is the sudden difficulty spike in one area. Oh, you're talking about Lenus. Yeah. Because it's like, this is going okay, this is going okay, this is going. Oh my fucking god, really? Mm -hmm. Really? You're gonna have how many turns? What? She gets it's, like it's, the fact, it's, it's the fact that you couldn't do anything about it. She once had eight turns in a row before I had one. I've never had that happen. The most she's ever gotten was three to me. But those three turns were magic boomerang, half your damage. Magic boomerang, half your damage. Magic boomerang, wipe me from full health to dead. I'm like, you fucking bitch! So like, what? What the fucking fuck? And that, that is my favorite RPG. And even I will say, that fight is bullshit. Yeah, it really. That fight is the height of bullshit. But well, the rest of it, I really fucking love. It's a great mm. fucking game. Uh, but as I said, I, I can even pull Metal Gear Solid 2 apart. It's my favorite game. I mean, Dreamer, if you had to pick one, what would be your favorite game? Uh, Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. And um, the like thing about... That. Well, of course you did. I've, I've mentioned numerous fucking times. Yeah, but you've never said it was your favorite game. I just knew yes, you I liked did. it a lot. No, you yes, said it was did. your favorite I you said to me it was your favorite RPG, but never your favorite game. Yeah, I, well, I, I thought I've, I've, I've mentioned number one. My number one favorite game ever was that. Um, because that, that Tom is behind us. one of my favorite Stop. game. Oh, my um, God. But the one th the, there's a couple things I don't like about that game either. Uh, one is the dated combat system. I like the chibi sprites. I do find that, I find that strangely endearing. But the combat system is dated. Um, I don't like how easy it is, because once you figure out the system, oh my god, is it insanely fucking easy. Yeah, but it requires um, figuring out the system, so I wouldn't really call it easy at that point. Well, no, because any, with any game, you have to figure out the system. But once you figure out the system, it pretty much comes down to, early on, the game becomes really simple. 
Well, um, well, what I mean is, um, I'm not trying to derail you here, but what I mean is the system is com is complicated. It's not a simple system. But yeah, sure, it becomes easier once you learn it. But if you don't learn it, you're going to be fucked. Because it ain't like Final Fantasy that does have a simple battle system that can be complex if you know how to use it. But it's like Final Fantasy, yeah, easy for the most part. It's easy well, system, the thing easy of, battle. The thing why but, I say it's easy is that it, 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 it automatically leads you to one thing to the next. Like, the, you know, obviously, when they give you a buff, this is a buff. Use this before the fight. Then all it is, oh, this stacks. Well, yeah, but yeah. I mean... And then, and then, then all it is, <laughs> use your most powerful attack. Repeat. That is it. Um, yeah, but at, at the same time, though, <laughs> you, you do still have to sort of grind. You can't just, you know... Because the thing is, like, oh, I, when I played yeah, Lunar when I was a kid, when I, when I you know, I, I treated it basically like a Final Fantasy where... I could just do whatever I wanted in combat for the most part. But you learn pretty quick around the, uh, fuck, I can't remember where it is, but you go to this, like, cave, and there's, it's like a waterfall cave area. Because you're going back there to get some sort of what sensor the... thing. I don't remember where that is. Was it the Blue Dragon Cave? It might have been. I don't remember. Because Blue Dragon Cave was when uh, Alex opened it with the Ocarina. Um, and you go through a lake, pretty much, a lake dungeon. Um, Something like that, yeah. And and I I just remember you go into this like waterfall cave. It's like really really dank, and there's like water uh, like water falls everywhere or something. Yep. And um, I, I it was no no it wasn't the, it wasn't there. It was before that. It, you know where you open up the the, the tower that oh popped up God. from the water. This it wasn't ridiculous. there. It was actually it was after you reached that one big city like the hub city um, that you end up back in the end the end of the game uh, Meridia or something Meridia. like that. Meridia, Mer yeah. Yeah, uh, it's somewhere near there. Um, you go to this, like, small cave, and there's, like, a, you're going back there for, like, a key or something. I don't remember. Or a book. Yep. But anyway, that uh, it's that particular cave there, because the random battles are extremely high, and the mobs there, it, it spikes up. It goes from, like, you're fighting easy shit there, you know, if you haven't been grinding, but then you go into that cave, yeah. and suddenly it's boss-level monsters everywhere. Well, depending depending on your levels, unless you know um, how to not, play not, not even your levels, not even your levels, but there's one there's one move that is spammable that will give you instant victory, and it does give you all the rewards. Um, it's it, it's a, it's an instant grind move, and along with the fact that with that instant grind move, if you touch a goddess statue that you use to save, instant refill of everything. True. So the thing the thing about it is that all you got to do is use the uh, the black dragon annihilation, and that automatically sucks them all into the void. Um, if you don't have that, you can use the red dragon to meteorite bombard them. Or if you don't have any of that and you're leveled up enough, flash cut. Yeah, and, and flash cut was what I would end up using. But what I'm saying is, when I first played like, it, I got my ass kicked there so many times. That's why I ended up using well, the game you, chart. But that's exactly where. But that's when where, I played it again, exactly where, though, when it comes to RPGs, it is actually known as one of the more easier RPGs because it is very basic and it's blatant on what you do next. If you're facing hardcore monsters it's saying grind if you're if you are um if you are having problems with uh clearing an area or uh you want a, an easy method to grind all you gotta do is spam one spell over and over and over you wouldn't like right. the original game zach man because the original game did not yeah the original the game star story completely held your hand a lot more what i'm <laughs> saying but what i'm saying though is i played final fantasy 6 when i was young and i didn't really have any trouble with that Everything felt simple and easy for the most part. But then Lunar Star, Silver Star, yeah, that game, for whatever reason, it was easy at first, but then it ramped up so hard in difficulty that I felt like I was stuck there. But what's funny is when I replayed it, you know, when I was older, and I, I kind of paid attention to what I was doing, then it was so much easier. Because it, I, I think when I was playing it as a Is kid... It no, it's, it's no different than the other thing. Okay. Should but I lost no, again? I, I think what the I think the biggest problem was was when I was a kid where I had the game on rental and where the combat system was so much slower than say like Final Fantasy VI. I think mm -hmm. I ended up getting impatient and I ran from a lot of battles, so I was grossly yeah, and, yeah. And if you run from a lot of battles rather than the stock RPG syndrome of fight every battle, you will not be powerful enough. Right, um, but the thing is, with, with Final Fantasy, as a matter did. of fact, if you if you do run from some battles, it's fine because you're you're going to be more than strong enough for most bosses if you know what you're doing. And he, well, here's the game. thing with Silver Star Story Complete, though, too. You also admitted to me that your first playthrough to get through most of the game was through Game Shark. No. That I'll was tell you which No, that was after the fact. Like, after I got to that where the really high difficulty spike was, I'm like, okay, fuck this. 
and that's that's where things went awry. That's when you, yeah, but that's that was when about you halfway. It. That was about halfway through the game, though, like halfway sixty percent. Here's here's the interesting thing. I think the one thing that you missed was the fact that buff stack, and it was it was a, a repeatable buff where you just that that was the one buff you did, and all you did was repeat it a few times and then go full full board. That was pretty much it. And then all it is is just heal when necessary. Yeah. That that combat system was very basic. Um, it, was it was also slow. Too. It was slow. Um, and, and that's not only with the combat system, but when it came to um, certain aspects, like there's not enough side content. It was uh, it was a game on rails, flat out. Well, the I only mean, side content that was really there was to get the brown rights. Well, the only other thing, too, to keep in mind here is um, it, it was one of those things where with Final Fantasy, you click who you want to use the attack, and then you click on who you want to attack, and they'll just jump and do it. Whereas with Lunar, yeah. you actually had the concept of positioning, they which was, was which was completely yeah. foreign to me. Mm -hmm. so yeah, a lot of walk. the time, a lot of the time, um, it was me just using really bad positioning. Therefore, I was getting susceptible to massive AOEs, and I was just getting wiped out. But when I played through it again when I was older and understood the concept of positioning, I would spread my my characters out a little bit more so there wasn't enough to get overlapped with AOEs. And mm -hmm. yeah, I played a lot smarter. Well, the thing about that, about Lunar, is that the funny part is um, those position, the, the positioning your group was actually entirely unnecessary. You don't have to. It's nice to do, but it's well, actually very it's, it, it's useless because I don't. I never did that. I never did that. All I did was I buffed until I needed to. I, buffed, I did three times. This is what my rule was for RPGs. If I had a single target buff spell, which I which are obvious to use, use it three times. And use the most powerful attack, and that was it. Um, when it comes to uh, Alex, it was Vigor, three times, and then uh, Sword Dance, and that was it. Um, the only times I ever used his Explosive Strike, which was an AOE, was for random mobs, and that was before I had the Dragon Powers. When you have the Dragon Powers, you're invincible. You can clear fucking anything with that, as long as you knew how to use them. Um, and it comes down to it's like it, knowing how to use them is just knowing what they all did. It's not a magic, magic um, um, a thing of you had to do anything complicated to, to get anything done. It was just click, 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 done. And knowing the effects of what it did. So it, it was that easy uh, of an RPG. But that's where, to me, while those flaws were there and prevalent, and there's a lot of those flaws in that game, it was the story, it was the soundtrack, and it was the, well, how the events made you feel. The True. one big event that made me feel like I love this fucking game was when Alex, uh, when everyone was trapped, Luna was uh, a songstress at that point, ensnared by Galleon. It was on the eve of the Black Dragon fight, and Alex had no fucking hope. Nobody knew what to do. And Alex broke out of that through not only break out of the prison through sheer force of will, but become Dragon Master and defeat the Black Dragon all at the same fucking time. Yeah. Did, didn't that he become... Didn't he become like a fake dragon master at one point? Not 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 so much fake, but like he didn't do it properly, so therefore he ended up losing the power, which is why he was ensnared. But then he somehow gained no. it through sheer determination or something. Nope, he he wasn't a full dragon master yet because he kept on on, on gaining bit by bit powers of the dragon master, but he cool. wasn't a, he wasn't a full fledged dragon master. Oh, right, damn, that's what I'm dude. saying. That that's why I was trying to remember because. I, I remember he gets the power of the Dragon Master, but then loses it for whatever reason, either due to his heart wavering or something, but then he gains it through sheer force of will, even though he didn't complete the proper... Uh, he didn't complete the trial properly. No, 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 um, no. He, I'll he, 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 was, okay. <laughs> he was never a Dragon Master. Um, he only he just never he lost was, him. I'm guessing. No, no, he, he didn't even think that, that he was. No, the, the one big thing that was... Um, that, that ordained him as the Dragon Master is the fact that you get the armor... Before you fight the, blue, the the black dragon, and that when he when everyone's like, oh, you have all the pieces now, you're an official dragon master, and even Alex is like, yeah, but it, it feels wrong. I, I don't think that I, I truly am. That's that. probably that what was throwing me off. I, I need to do something more, and it was when you go to the black dragon because it wasn't just the piece that made him the dragon master. The black dragon had to ordain him as the final one to you know to say okay and unlock that power because Fork already unlocked. The piece that he gave him. The blue dragon and red dragon respectively did that. But the black dragon's problem was the fact that he was mind controlled. So he really? couldn't do that. And the reason why uh, the armor finally recognized him was the fact, and this is where the black dragon as a spirit said, I can't ordain you. 
You know, he, he, his spirit was projected. His body was under control, but his spirit was free. So the black dragon told him, uh, listen, I would ordain you, but, you know, I can't. Um, unfortunately, uh, I've been enslaved by Galleon. However, uh, and then everyone's like, oh, no, fuck, we're sunk. But then Black Dragon's like, but there is another way. If your heart is truly pure enough, if you show me that you have the strength to to uh, do what you need to do, the the armor itself will recognize you. The power I am imbued in the armor will help you complete the transformation. And it did. Although, admittedly, Silver Star Story Complete still has one of my favorite lines of ga in gaming, period. And I don't know why I like it so much. I think it's because of the way it's said rather than what it said. And that's, no, not Galleon, my dear Quark. Magic Emperor Galleon. Like, now, really? that was actually that was actually a part of, of, uh, of a good thing for Lunar. Its voice acting was top notch. Like, whoever, for the whoever time, it was. Like, yeah, for well, the yeah, time, for the it time. was. For, for the Nowadays, time it was. it's like, what? <laughs> Well, yeah, of course, because now they they have a you know a, a much better grasp of that. Plus, they have better technology with that. Yeah. Um, but the the actors did a, did a big of job. The oh, actors, yeah, especially was, Alex and Luna. Um, like the main exactly. characters were perfect. The they support were spot characters up. not so much, but they're support yeah. characters. Yeah, and see, I can understand that, but and see, that's where uh, when it comes to those pluses, it was it's more than just gameplay. That it, it, it's one of the first games that showed me. It was more than just gameplay that really made a solid game. You do have to have the emotional connection to the game. Um, and while it, it is a basic RPG by any other standard, uh, and it's relatively you know simple of a game, it its emotional impact mm -hmm. it cannot be understated. It is one of the best written stories I think I've ever I've ever played. Um, and that's because of uh, not only does it, you know, and that's where part of the bias is there, because I am a hopeless romantic, and it is a game for hopeless romantics. Um, it is one of those games where, unless you believe in the, in the true love is is a major power thing, you're not going to really have that connection. True. Um, it, it comes down to, you know, if, if you look at it from just a pure standpoint, it is a it is actually a basic story on top of that. I just think but it's funny. But it, it's the fact that they put in so much energy into their voices, true. into the moment, that in the, and you can actually feel the, the passion of the developers when they made it. I just think it's funny that my favorite character in the game is sort of coincidental. B because if you really think about it, she starts off kind of weak, but if you build her up, she actually becomes your strongest party member through and through. Even stronger than Alex in terms of basic attacks. Who, uh, Jessica? Mm-hmm. Because it's, yep. like, what, what's really funny is she's, like, a, a, like tiger slash cat-like. I'm not really sure which. And she's basically a white mage. Mace and every, mace and white magic and robes. That's basically yep. what she is. But it's that's not even why I like her so much. It's mainly her attitude that I like. And oh yeah, because she's so she's so sweet, you know, honey drop. You know, she's she's a very uh, caring and innocent individual. But if you but get on her bad side, if you piss her <laughs> off, she is fucking scary. That makes yeah. this big muscle bound oh, four motherfucker cower. Like it yeah. made laugh so hard. But the thing is, like that. she's. She starts off kind of weak. Like, her basic attack does, like, two damage, and she only gets, like, two attacks or whatever. But eventually, once she gets high enough level, she actually gets more attacks than Alex, and every basic attack hits harder than him. So it's like, yeah. it's, it's crazy how fast she grows in power. Like, she even gets stronger than Kyle, almost. She it's does very... She does get up there. Um, it, the main reason why is because Alex's uh, thing was mainly about his abilities. Uh, he practiced with the sword constantly, which is why it's sword dance. And then he's also uh, imbued with the Dragon Master power. Whereas oh, God, Jessica yeah. is just a simple magic user. That's why when it comes to her uh, being that powerful physically, makes a lot of sense. Well, yeah. Oh, and, and the thing is, too, she has a fuck ton of agility, so... Yeah. Serenia. Yo. I, I just want to comment that you're a derailing wizard. Yes. You realize you 1,000% derailed the original conversation, right? Not on purpose! It wasn't just With me. one statement, it wasn't that easy. It and then from there, it just spirals well, down. The, fun, the funny part is, when I said it was that, it was, uh, you know, um, when he said it wasn't that easy, he took over. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> because all, all because I was listing off the, 
the the why my favorite game had flaws, and part of the flaw, oh, one of the flaws I thought was it was. Sam, geez. he's just been stuck there speechless. <laughs> it's all right. I'm cool. <laughs> Moments like this don't happen for me very often, so I guess I freaking revel in them when they do. That's yeah, cool. It happens more often than you think. It does it happen less often. often than you think. It's more the fact of when someone inflames your passion, regardless of the fact, regardless of its anger or uh, sadness, or you enjoy a game or whatever, when someone inflames a passion uh, out of you, you are more animated than any of us. So when you bring up an interesting subject, though, it just got derailed into another subject. <laughs> But, you know, the thing is, though, I, like, I'm easy as fuck to derail, and I'm easy as fuck to take control of the conversation from. I don't, you know, so what I'm saying is I don't really get that level of control very often. You say that I do, but I don't. Well, here's what I'm going to say now. Zach, what would you say was your least favorite game of all time? One that you that... absolutely cannot stand? That's a question I'm really not sure if I have an answer to. Because nothing really comes to mind, like, at all. I can't even think of a single instance. Like, I'm trying actively to think of bad games, or games that I hated, and I can't think of any. And to add fairness to context, it has to be a game you played. You can't just say games that you vicariously hate yeah. because yeah. of people. Oh, if that's the case, the World of Warcraft. Joke. No. <laughs> and I can actively play okay. World of Warcraft. Okay, I will add, so I will add this as well. It's a game... It has to be a game that is bad, but, they, but the developers from the history should have known better. Okay. Well, as soon as you said that, there is a game that came to mind. Straight to mind. Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD. Biggest fucking disappointment in my life. Okay. Now, I want you to praise it. It's got good music. <laughs> What else can I really say? They tried. At least it had the same... It, at least it had the music that you love from Part 1 and 2. Hell, it had Goldfinger, Superman, and May 16 by Lagwagon, which are my absolute two favorite favorite two songs in the first two games. Well, it had so, the stages, too. Yeah, it had the stages, but it didn't have the physics, it didn't have the controls, everything felt fucking wrong. Yeah, it was a major disappointment. Well, did you expect it to play like a PlayStation 1 game? I expected it to play tighter than it did. It was a budget title, sure, but come on! It wasn't a budget title. Yes, it was. Oh, it wasn't. Yes, it uh, was. Turning out it was supposed to get HD was. Yes, it was. Oh, I thought you were talking about the original title. No, not the original title. I was talking about the HD you one. Said the original was... Yeah, it being a budget title, you can't expect that. Then. But it was a budget title in terms of I got what I expected. In terms of... Or I got what I thought I expected. Because it was just part one and two mixed together. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't expecting, you know, like... Fucking Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect 2 or in, like Final Fantasy 15 or whatever. No, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a game that was just a remix of Part 1 and 2 of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That, that's what I expected, and I didn't even get that. I got a game that was a shell of that, that had the stages of music, but it didn't have anything else. It didn't have the heart, didn't have the soul, didn't have the creative part, didn't have creative skater. It was an empty fucking shell. And the thing is, I could have forgiven the fact that it didn't have creative skater or creative part if the controls were good, if the physics were good. But they, they, they weren't. Like, it's so easy to bail in that game. Like, the buttons don't respond properly. It is terrible. What, what else is good about it? What else is good about it? Yeah. I don't know. I really don't. I can't think of a damn thing. Other than the music and the stages. It wasn't priced as a full, uh, as a full price title. Well, yeah. Good lord, I would have been rancid if, I, if it was a freaking $60 game and I, and I still got garbage. A $60 yeah. game, I'd have been asked for a goddamn refund. <laughs> you know, I actually, I actually tried playing it again the other, like, several months ago. Just to see if maybe, you know, just maybe it was my imagination playing tricks on me. Because I did go back and I played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I started the new game and I played through all the stages the entire career, 100% of it. Like, I, you know... I got everything, all the tapes, all the gaps, all the fucking... Well, no, I didn't do all the gaps. I got all... all I, I f finished the game in terms of the story. I got 100% story progression on a single character. You know, I did. I completed all the story stages 100%. All 10 challenges on every level. Like I would do. And it felt good. Like, I remember. It felt good. You know, like, the controls felt tight. It took, a, it took some getting used to because it, it was old. You know, and I hadn't played it in years, but, you know, whatever. I got the swing of things, I got the flow of things going again, and I was enjoying it, just like I used to. So I'm thinking, okay, 
Maybe that was my problem with, with the new game, you know, Tony Hawk HD. Maybe, just maybe I needed some time to get used to it, you know? And, and as you know, when I played it, I got my money's worth. I made sure I got my money's worth. I played all the stages. I completed all, you know, I tried to unlock everything that I could. But it felt like a slog the entire way. Like, the controls just did not feel right. Some, I couldn't get my hand or head around it. Something felt wrong. I went back and tried it again after playing through THPS 2, and the controls felt worse than I remember. Like, for example, you know in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 how you can do a flip trick into a rail grind, and it's usually pretty seamless? You know, you, like, you can jump up, do a kickflip, and, and still land the grind, because your board will still yeah. finish flipping before you hit on the rail, so you don't bail yeah. as easy? Yeah. With Tony Hawk HD, I would try that very self-same thing, and I would bail before I hit the rail. Like, I would, I, I would, you know... I would be doing my flip trick, and the rail would gravitate me towards it, which flung me off the board, because it had this weird sort of rail gravity that shouldn't have been there. But the physics were fucked up. You know? Yeah. Are right, you guys ready for 140? Mm-hmm. Or 131, I should say. But yeah, that, that was easily my most disappointing game. Bar oh. fucking none. What about you then, Andrew? What would you say was your least oh. favorite game from a developer that should have known better? In all honesty, I gotta go. <laughs> now, my cheeky answer would be Nier, but that's because of the fucking fishing game. That don't count. Uh, even though Nier is a good game, game on I, I didn't give it a fair shake. Yeah, I didn't give it a fair shake. Um, no, uh, actually, it's one that uh, it's a game I first was overjoyed to have, but then. Uh, after having it for like a couple hours and just playing through it with a couple friends of mine on my birthday, Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament, actually. Um, and that what made me really sad about oh, it, it was the fact that they got the graphics right and they got the story right. They didn't Sorry, get the guys. gameplay right. And had okay. some cool um, angles. It was so uh, lopsided. There was no point in playing any other character in that game other than the main four. Um, Which was what was. Uh, Yusuke, uh, fuck, I forgot the, the, the headstrong dude's name. Yep, yeah, uh, Kuwabara. Uh, Kuwabara, that's it. I knew it started with a K at least. Yusuke yeah. and Kurama, and then if you want to count Genkai in there. Um, those five. Because the other characters were just not uh, in-depth enough. Sounds so they like, were actually pretty bland copies of each other. Like Master of Terakasi then, yeah. Um, and then you also, there was no point in uh, oh, hello. in learning the other moves, because once you learned one move, you spam that one move, and it took a good 80% of their health back, and it just took a few punches, they're gone. Um, and then you then you got your spirit power right up, yeah. back right from the off. Like, when right when the second round hit, you had all your spirit power back, so you just did the same thing over and over and over and over. Uh, for a fighting game, that's terrible. Uh, I think that it had a very lack of depth for a game. Um, another point is that uh, in terms of power spikes, or in terms of, in terms of uh, characters, there was no true balance to it. Um, there was no point in playing uh, even even the main villain, Togoro. Uh, even if he was the final boss, when you got to him, he was piss easy. Especially if you played him against him with Hiei of all fucking people, not even Yusuke, because of the Dragon of Darkness plan being that much of a powerful move. Uh, once you learned how to do it, it was over. It, you didn't. There was no counter to it because it's, it was an unblockable move. Um, and Yusuke, while he was useful, again, lack of depth there, because all he had was the spirit gun, the spirit gun double, and the shotgun. And that was pretty much it. Uh, Ooh, what am I doing? And it came down to, it was a game that I was so excited for. Uh, and while oh, this, is, true. this is where the opposite was true. It had the story and it had the feeling, but it didn't feel right to play. It felt way too easy of a Actually, game. It didn't feel worth my sixty bucks. You know what? There, there, um, there's a game similar in, in that same vein. Like, um, my, my the friend of mine that had it was uh, overjoyed. They loved it through and fucking through. But when I played it, I was seeing a lot of flaws like that too. And it's in the same vein of the Dark Tournament, which was the Inuyasha fighting game. It was in the very same vein. You, you pretty much had no reason not to play Inuyasha or Sosomaru. Yeah, and. Uh... The, the problem was, is with Dark Tournament, you couldn't, you know, it was not worth playing 80% of the roster. That sucks. To be fair, the game was kind of fun. 
It's just, when you actually look at it from a person who plays fighting games and not just enjoying it for the characters and just dicking around on it, it, was, mm-hmm. it wasn't good. It was fun, but it wasn't good. Well, what, what really killed it is that the replayability drops massively when you played it. After you played it for a few hours and you know the nuances of the game, there is, there's no point in replaying the game. Because once you beat Tagoro, because he's such an easy boss, you're done with the story, and then there's not much to get other than the unlockables of unlocking characters. And then you unlock when you unlock them, they're just they're, they're lack of depth characters. They only have one thing they're good at, and that's it. So there's no Makes point sense. of doing that. Um, and then when you replay it and you have the same fights with your friends over and over and over again, there's only one fucking stage. Only one stage, really? Yeah. The well. Let's see. There's one stage, but it's fucking re- repurposed. Mm. Um, and that would be the Dark Tournament fucking platform. That's, that's it. Okay, um, fair enough, but... Yeah, and then they, they used some sort of variety. Because all they used the forest for was for training purposes for the story. That was it. They didn't wow. use it for fighting. Oh, I guess we got the chest. I don't know which yeah. one of you guys got it. It, 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 um, it. We got it right as soon as you uh, popped the intuition, if you mean the horde chest. Oh, yeah, so that's what yeah, we got it as soon as you popped the intuition. Like, the very moment stu- you popped it. What the I ne- fuck? I nearly stood on it without actually having the input intuition popped. I wish I did. But, um... Was both of your cats meowing at the same time? No, that was one. It she was doing like, like a, two. She was doing a mating call. <laughs> really? That's so, actually kind of a mating call. Because I will say, for me, the worst game I've ever played from a developer that should have known better was Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Mm. Flat out was the absolute worst game I've played. I would play eight and twelve millions of times. Compared. But wasn't that one riddled with like controversy? Like it was the same team in terms of name. Like it was still not not Naughty Dog. Uh, what was it? Um, uh, Insomniac. Insomniac. Um, there it is. But um, it was one of those cases where that was after Insomniac was purchased by another company, and all of the original team had already left because the the entire original Spyro team left. After part three, if I recall correctly. Not quite. The reason why it failed was because they tried to rush it out in just six weeks. Oh. Uh, well, conception. that compounded the fi- by the fact the that the, the original team completely disbanded after Spyro 3, I do believe. The breath idea was completely stupid. The idea of the fact that you could actually glitch out the game and actually beat it in less than two minutes was completely fucking stupid. The fact that they didn't even bother to put clipping points on the map in certain areas, so you could literally just clip through. That was completely fucking stupid. The storyline didn't make any sense. The game was laggy. It had FPS drops and FPS issues everywhere on the fucking PS2 of all fucking things. It was an absolute fucking atrocity. The story didn't make sense. There was only one fucking world and like seven levels, eight levels. Well, yeah. Yeah, I I got that. Mm. But, um, there was literally almost no redeeming features about that game. It was absolutely fucking dreadful. And I couldn't stand it. You know what? To praise it, I like the visual aesthetic. Visually, it looked fucking cool. It was nice to see a sort of Spyro for the second generation of consoles that it was going to be on. It was, it was, they tried something new. It didn't work, but they tried. Um, it, for, for six weeks work, it's, it's it's a good game, but for a game, it's terrible. Oh, okay. it's pure fucking garbage. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man, I aggroed it out because <laughs> it's okay. I tried getting away from it, but it's like it saw me with one of its mini eyes. See, Zach, I, it saw me. I really wish that that game never existed, but oh god. Can't blame me there. Because this thing, I was, I'm gonna, I was, well, I'm going to ask Vel the same question. Problem is, you have a knack for enjoying bad games. Yeah, so, but I also have played a probably a bigger amount of games than any of you guys. Well, yeah. So my my yeah. uh, my, my uh, cesspool of greatness and horrible is um, is outstanding. So. <laughs> Random note, by the way, Sam, is your girlfriend's character named Pepper Pot? Yeah, yeah, why? I saw her outside in the quarry mill and gave her a hug. <laughs> also, I think sometimes people are a little too harsh on some games on Fairly and call them bad. 
when that's the reason why I have a knack for enjoying ba some bad games, because a lot of people will like, what you got guys call bad? I just call a little irritating. I've played bad. I've played the most unplayable fucking shit ever. So and a lot of that's early PC shit, like real early PC shit. Yeah. yeah but you want to see bad? Go back to the '80s on PC. But <laughs> here's the thing, right? The caveat was. It was. It's got to be the worst game you've ever played from a company that should have known better. The thing is, though, no. I can't really think on that one because most of the time I'm I'm way too forgiving because companies that I think should know better do know well, better and haven't done that. Well, the thing is, though, Tom, I'm pretty forgiving too, and yet I was still able to name Tony Hawk HD. That one just left me with a major sour taste in my mouth. I usually don't make that bad of purchases that's the thing <laughs> that's... well i didn't expect it to be bad like it wasn't one of those things where it was like oh this is from a developer no. that i've never heard of but the game looks good let's try it out oh it's bad no it it was was a, i will it say it i can't name things i've regretted buying yeah. like a nintendo wii <laughs> <laughs> yeah. actually 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 i can already answer this question for you there is a game that i can guarantee tom would say if he had to pick any of them and you can tell me if i'm right or wrong I got the trust. Metroid Other M. No, actually, I think Metroid Other M. No, is no, the Tom. Best. Here's what uh, I'm saying. You said from a company that should know better. That, well, that's the caveat that Sam said. And yeah, but the way I, I've but heard you talk something. about Other M, no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bad game. That's why I'm saying if you had to pick, I'm pretty sure you would say Other M simply because of how much they fucked up the story. Uh, here's the thing, though. I'm gonna. Half ass defend Nintendo in this. The reason why it's half ass is is Nintendo known for making story content? No. No. Their games are not known for being very story contextual. And that's where it fucked up at. Because the game itself, the way it played, best fucking game on the Wii. Fucking brilliant. If every game on the Wii Just played like that game, I would praise that fucking console to no end. But where they fucked up at is destroying their own fucking lore. And not understanding their own character or story involved in it. But Nintendo is not known for story. Because the, the few times that they do have story stuff, it's either very eh or another company handle it. Like, you can, everybody go, well, what about Super Mario RPG? Uh, you have Square Enix to think for that. Yeah. But no, just. Square Soft at the time. Either square. way, I, I, I yeah, do recall soft. you telling me at length why you were disappointed in Other M, and it was all because of how they fucked up the story. Oh, no! I, I can go on forever. But the thing is, though, well, that's where I'm half assed. I'm half assed defending Nintendo because they're not known for story content. No, so I know, but how what I'm saying know is. better when... if they've never done better. Well, yeah. I mean, sure, I guess, but. That's the reason why it doesn't fall into the same criteria, because uh, the reason well, why that's... I hate it something they're known for doing. Well, that that to me is something that I think would fit the bill for you. That's the only thing that I that really comes to mind. It but I don't know how does. eclectic your list is, either. It did. Jeez, you're all bombs. <laughs> yeah. That, that's where I say it's difficult for me, because... Another silver, watch out stuff, the bombs. Like, it all depends on what you're talking about knowing better, because sometimes I just see this company's trying something different. But has there case ever been of a like game... that, that Spyro game? In hindsight, after looking at it, because I never played that one, I can see why you say that. That they really should have known better. But because <laughs> the, the thing is, they should have known better. It's not because, and like I said, I give them credit for trying something new. That's not the problem I have with it. The problem I have with it is that the the things that were solid in one, two, and three were gone. It felt like, like the outsourced the things, parts of the game. The things that they had, the things that they'd done right in one, two, and three were gone. So it was actually offensively bad. It All was right. offensive. Oh, but let's change the criteria up here then, Tom. I'm still trying to think of what would fall into that criteria for me. If you give me long enough, I could probably come up with some stuff. Take has, time, there, then. has there ever been? All right, all right. I I, I kind of want to change. I kind of want to change the the plane of field here, or whatever the phrase is here. I like the, the subject, but it's hard and, for me to. Has there ever been a game that? Everybody else loves that you hate. Uh, yeah, yes. all the time. League of Legends. <laughs> Man, uh, right in the face. For him, I can say Final Fantasy IX. No, I don't hate Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, that's, that is the thing. Like when they rag Everybody on the game, but we don't hate it. it. 
I absolutely, I actually have quite a love for Final Fantasy IX. Same. I just think that the fan base is irritating as well. For Final, sorry, for uh, myself, I can say two games: Final Fantasy VIII, and uh, the other game is Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. I was actually going to get up and get those. Right, my problem with Ocarina of Time is it's way too overpraised. Yeah. It's not as good as people claim it is. Matter of fact, there's games really that is. came out in the same year that I think overshadow it completely. God fucking damn you, stupid <laughs> bastard. Metal Gear Solid is, is one that comes to mind. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid came out the same year, and I'm sorry. If you're telling me Ocarina of Time is better Metal Gear Solid, especially for that time frame, fuck off. Yeah. But I don't get me wrong, Ocarina of Time is good. It's not a 99 good, but it's good. It's a better fantasy adventure game, maybe, if you want to I go that route. For me, it's a 71 at best. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I would maybe be a bit I, more I would fantasy give a five, time, but... If I had to... I, I would go on a scale of 1 to 10. I would probably say it's an 8. I, I'll give yeah, it on a nine. scale of 1 to 10, 8, On my yeah. personal, personal rating, I'd say 7. But for an actual rating of what I would give it if I was rating, I would give it an 8. My personal rating is 7, but... But here's the other thing that I that, that really kind of points, at least to me, that Ocarina of Time is massively far and away overrated. Because, I'm sorry, A Link to the Past is better in every single way. In every way. In terms yep. of how good it felt to explore the world, how good the combat felt, how unique and interesting the items were to use, how varied the items were, how varied the bosses were, how varied the dungeons were. Link to the Past destroys Ooh. OOTN every possible way and yet oot outranks it it still gets a 99 on metacritic whereas link to the past only gets like a 94 92 my weapon even though it's far and away the better game shit. far oh, and fucking it. way well i that's where it's, it's weird for me to, to comment on the zelda franchise though because while i enjoyed the zelda franchise my favorite game is one that's very polarizing. Most of it's fucking hey, shit, hey, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's not like a... Uh, fuck turn off my light, please. I don't need it right now. It's my favorite gonna, one because right it is there. different. My favorite Zelda is Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess is a good too. one. Mine, sadly, is Link to the Past, <coughs> which now sounds like I've got a bias towards it, but I don't. Well, Link really to the don't. Past is my second favorite one. Yeah. Link to the Past is a great game. It's just not my favorite result, my favorite result too. <laughs> my second favorite is probably Ocarina of Time, if I'm honest with you. So it's, the answer... it's, well. it's not like I think OOT is bad, I just think it's massively overrated. But here's the, here's the weird thing. From the same era, I think the Majora's Mask is way better. Uh, oh, Majora's I... Mask. Actually, I got, a, I got a real weird experience with it. The first time I ever played it, I hated that fucking game. I fucking hated it. Thought it was garbage. Kind of the same. Now that I've gotten older, and I understand what they're doing. with it. I think the game is fucking brilliant. Yeah. That is probably the most well thought out like Zelda game they've ever It is ever probably played. the best Zelda game in terms of story. No, j there's a lot of thought in that game. That. It... Really Actually, no. All right, no, uh, no, 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 no. I gotta retract the statement from earlier. I, I no, want to replay Twilight Princess over other M. No, that, that's an example of him doing story good. Fuck you over other M. Fuck you. Well, fuck what? yourself. What? I'm retracting something I said earlier. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I'm a little lost. What are you retracting and what... Huh? About what I, me trying to defend Nintendo over the story of other M sucking. No, fuck you, Nintendo. Oh, okay. Uh, but... Because Majora's Mask is the example that should have been used. You should have used that to say, well, what about Majora's Mask? Because that story is fucking truth, brilliant. I kind of forgot about Majora's Mask at the time. But let's be honest, the story in that is goddamn amazing. I, I do so wanna, no, they don't have a fucking excuse. I do kind of want to play Twilight Princess again, but I don't really know how to go about it. Because every time I've tried to use Dolphin, it just lags like crazy on my heart. I really want to play Breath of the Wild, because it looks a lot of fun. Then again, I think it lags because of the, the, um, the program itself. But I've heard that the most definitive re release, I think it's Dolphin 5, plays it extremely well. So I haven't really gotten around to trying it with that yet. What? Which which system does that does that go for again? GameCube. Oh yeah. You There's a Wii version, version, but I would rather play the GameCube version. You guys want to go see what's up in the bottom floor? Hang on, I'm gonna... yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm the frog, so I oh, can't. Oh god damn it! Oh, okay. 
Wow. Awkward moment when it's just four rooms. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's five, but yeah, okay. Is it five? Oh, I guess it, it is. is five yeah. rooms. Yeah. You really shouldn't have used that. I didn't it know how five. many rooms there were. I was just doing the to, you know, for safety reasons. All right, let, like let, hit, let 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 Bell go. I mean, it's not like we don't have another one we can use. Yeah, but we would have had more for later. Yeah, floor. but I, <laughs> I didn't know how many floors there were. Now, here's another, here's another one, right? Okay. Uh, Val, we know, I know, and we know, that you really list 9 as one of your least favorite Final Fantasies. Even though you, even though you think it's a good game, you personally don't like it very much. Well, no, I actually okay. do like it way more than I lit on. I, it's my least favorite Final Fantasy, but I still think it's better than most RPGs. So okay. take that into context. Okay, well, how about this? What is a game that you absolutely love that the general consensus say is terrible? That well, I absolutely one, love? There yeah, is a game you, that comes to my mind. That you really What's like, that? but everybody else says is shit. What's that say? Mass Effect like, 3. No, that people really don't really... The, people don't seem to hate it, they just hate the, the ending. That's yeah, not but hate. you know... They're right, just right. upset at the ending because it didn't. Right, but what I'm saying is you know how fickle some people can be. And I have heard this. The ending was shit, therefore the game was shit. Uh, well, but they don't I wouldn't, really mean I wouldn't it like count that. Mass Effect. I wouldn't count Mass Effect 3. I mean, a game that is... Like, you know, definitive. Definitively, everybody fucking hates it through and through. Oh, well, in that case, I don't really have anything. Uh... I do. I've got one for myself, but... <laughs> I, I don't know whether anyone had one. I don't know. Actually, Resident Evil 6, probably. Everybody seems to hate that, but I liked it a lot. But I think I understand the reasons why everybody else hated it and I liked it. I have two, actually. Uh, one of them, for me, is Resident Evil 4, but on the Wii. Everybody said that the Wii version was shit. I really fucking enjoyed it. I can see why you enjoy it, actually. I see why it's enjoyable, I just don't like it very much. It was, I thought it was really quirky, and I think it actually was quite accurate. And it was actually kind of fun. And the yeah, fact man. that I was actually there, holding the gun, I was like, shit, 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 what the fuck? You know, I, I, I think it might be it. accurate in terms of, like, a gameplay style, but in terms of firing a real gun, I hear it's, oh, it's really, not even really, close. really inaccurate. Well, yeah, of course it isn't, but it gives you that, it gives you that sort of play-around feel, doesn't it? Yeah, I would say nice. so. I, I can see why you enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I wasn't, I'm not saying it's like an actual actually holding a fucking rifle. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, um, but the other one for me is a little-known game called Croc. <laughs> Croc was really good, though. I I've never heard anyone hate Look, on I've it. I've never heard anybody say anything bad about Croc. I've only heard a good things about it. A lot of people hate it because of tank. Uh, well, the tank controls. They think that the story is very basic. That the premise is very basic. The kids game, though. You know, oh, but it, you, you know, it's a it's a Yoshi ripoff. Well, it's because well, they were making Yoshi. Is it going to be a Yoshi game? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then Nintendo yeah. kind of snubbed them, so they kind of was like, well, okay, fuck you then. But I actually think it's really charming. I agree. I I thought Croc was good. I, I think it's. I've like, never actually it's, played it, but from what it looks by like, by today's it seems to be really good. standards, it is dated, but it's still good. Yeah. Well, the control system would frust for, would frustrate me, but I yeah, the controls like, are what's really dated about it. But I can't really think of any games that I like a lot, but no one else really seems to. I mean, like, there's a few that could come to mind, like RPM, I guess, on the SNES, but I don't actually know if a lot of people liked it or hated it, or if it was just obscure and no one really knew about it. Oh! Oh. Alright. I had to think yeah, radi what game that was. Radical Psycho Machines or whatever the fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't hate it. Yeah, I know you didn't, but I, like I said, I don't. Know I don't really. If it's... Most of the time, even when I have rage towards a game, I'm not hating on a game. It's most of the time I'm just frustrated. I'm usually frustrated with the community of a game. Does that make sense, guys? I don't get I don't get hatred for the yeah. game. I get hatred for the fans. Yeah. yeah. What did I say? I have the stun. <laughs> I have the stun. That's what it looks oh, like. Oh shit, JD. Oh. And here's one. Here's one, especially for, especially for Zach. Okay. Well, God damn it! I want you to pick out a game 
from a genre you never normally play that you enjoyed? Far Cry 3. There you oh, go. Yeah, that, that was instantaneous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about Far Cry 3, but I loved every moment of it. <laughs> what was the question again? Well, it was a game that like, he immediately a, enjoyed. A game system. from a genre you don't normally like that you really loved. Oh, okay. And like I said, I didn't even think about it. Far Cry 3. <laughs> I really absolutely loved Far Cry 3 in every way. Even though he doesn't like a hor like the horror genre, he really does. Back in the day, he really did enjoy the Resident Evil franchise a lot. Yeah, Resident Evil One and Two like were really good. Resident Evil Three, I didn't. You enjoy enjoyed it all the way up into Co Co Veronica then Four, wasn't it? Four, well, I think. Well, that's the last I, one. I, you liked, like, oh, I, I liked Resident Evil Four and Code Veronica X, but what I'm saying is Resident Evil One and Two, I really enjoyed. Resident Evil Three, didn't care that much for. Resident Evil Four, I liked a lot, especially the PS2 version. You seem to enjoy was... Revelations 2 a lot. Oh god, yeah, that was really, really good. That, that was a fun but, co-op experience, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's the reason I liked it. I don't know if I would have liked it on my own, because it feels like it would have been really tedious and obnoxious to have to keep switching. But for now, this. I've got this. But when playing it with a friend, even though the split screen was really janky, I liked it. Would you say that the reason why, maybe why you liked why you like Resident Evil is because it's campy and B-movie and it's not deliberately trying to scare you? Well... I wouldn't say deliberately trying to scare, because it did leave me feeling really, really, really scared, which is why it annoys me that Neon's like, it wasn't that scary. I'm like, well, for me it is. It's, it's very atmospheric, I, at least for me. None of them were that scary to me, personally, but I have a different question. Well, the way it is, is I see Resident Evil as scary, but I see Silent Hill as creepy. That kind of thing. Oh, how you doing, Sly? Hardly realize you have people watching. Hello. Yep. Uh, Sly's actually one of my, uh, raider, uh, raid group. Cool. Sly, fox. <laughs> That's my shtick. No. Yeah, uh, this is actually a pretty fun I conversation. Europe, but I'm not really certain. You see, this is something I wanted to bring up in that one trial oh, podcast God. we did, but I never actually got the chance to. What in the fuck is oh, going on? <laughs> See, that's what makes it difficult for me, though. I, I potentially a, a, have played way too much, and I've become way too odd. Oh, God, a catableep is right behind me now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where's the witching? Where oh! Bam! Because, uh... I, that's, I, because I can't really have a, a favorite game of all time, or a least favorite. I don't work like that. I can have maybe a favorite game of the franchise, but even then, I him haul back and forth rapidly. Oh, I wasted that arrow. I wasn't really thinking. Oh well. When do you ever think? I, I really don't know how you guys can pick out favorites when there's so many damn great things out there. Well, actually, <laughs> there is a game that... that comes to mind that I like that I'm really not sure if anyone else has even heard of. What's that? Young Merlin. I know Bill Merlin, it's cute. That's why I suggested playing it the other day, Sari. Uh, maybe someday, because I haven't played it in forever. That would be uh, one if you had to use the laptop. It'd be great for you to play on. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm maybe. sure people would enjoy watching you play it. Now, a game that everyone typically panned and hated, that I loved, was a game called Dark Earth. Dark it was Earth. the game. It was the game that Hector and I were, were spending hours trying to fucking find. Um, <laughs> oh the yeah. P, the piece that PC game. And that one it, that I found after that fucking yeah. six hours yes. of bullshit. Yes. And I'm the one that found it on that fucking side of bullshit. Yes. A after we narrowed it down, like, is it really from this era? So this was. Ah! Yes. yes. That game. It was universally panned. Um, uh -huh. and the storyline is just a big bowl of what the fuck, but it is, it is so fucked up that makes me like it. Um, and it, it's a matter of fucking, you're just a normal palace guard and apparently you got to stay in the sun, you know, and those people below you because you're built two cities above each other. The see people below you, if they're in the darkness, people start changing just because they have not enough sun. Um, and then all of a sudden you're a palace guard. And some fucking religious head, you know, figurehead or something, whatever, gets attacked, and you get some sort of fucking jelly spewed on you, and then all of a sudden you're just one, this, this big fucking monster. It's like, what the fuck just happened? But it's oh awesome. Oh no. 
Oh god, are we Actually, yeah. I think I might have it might have clicked in my head. It, it might not be one of the worst, but it's it's a really bad game. Like when we're thinking like really really bad games. I know one that just clicked in my head that I I have vivid memories of how horrible it is. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a movie title as well. A movie tie-in game. It's the Lawnmower Man game. How do I know you were gonna say that? Oh for PC. Oh my god. That I haven't is... seen the one for PC, but I know the one on the SNES was okay. I like I know I like the console ones, the PC one though. I don't even know how to describe how bad it is. <laughs> like I like the game starts up. Oh he's running down this path. <laughs> Gets ran over by a fucking VR lawnmower. Game over. How the fuck was I supposed to watch that? <laughs> There's no fucking instructions in the fucking case to tell me how to jump over the goddamn lawnmower or whatever you know, the fuck I'm supposed to There's actually another game I should play again at some point, because I haven't played it in ages. Fucking Twisted Metal 2. You, you interrupted my... my Sorry, my I was just thinking... No, I know, yeah, how, how are you supposed no, to It's watch? good that you did, though, because that's pretty much it. That game, it, it, it starts and ends there for me. I made yeah. it past that once. I hit what? the fucking uh, keyboard and he jump, jumped over the lawnmower once. And then there's two more coming back to back. I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? And I died again and I turned it off and I've never Not touched it. the elevator. <laughs> fuck but, that uh, game. Yeah. But, See, uh, PC has some worst fucking games I've ever played in my life, but I still love you, PC. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just reminded of a game. Um, I, I had two games that I played and they were very similar to one another. At least that's what my brain is remembering. Which was the game called Descent, and then another game called Defcon 5. Descent's awesome, if you're talking about the one where you're flying and shit. And yeah, the one on PlayStation is the one I'm referring to. I, I think there was a PC version, but I'm referring to PC the version. PC the original, and I played both, but I love Descent. Yeah, because Descent actually came in, like, the, the old <coughs> PlayStation boxes before they started the doing big, jewel the, cases. The, the long boxes, yeah. Mm hmm I don't- I, I remember oh, I, the game DEFCON 5, but I don't remember the game DEFCON 5. I just remember there was a game called DEFCON 5 that was on PlayStation. I know what you're talking about, and it- I vaguely remember it. Then- But Descent, then, I know, like, the back of my hand. Almost. There was a game on PlayStation 1 that I really, oh, God. really liked. But every time I've tried playing it, just- it doesn't emulate well. It really doesn't. At least it never has for me. And that's a game Fucking called Nova Storm. That game is really fun, even though it's like an on-rail cool. shooter. Kind of similar to Star Fox, but not really. I liked Nova Storm. Yeah, it was really good. I liked it a lot. Did you ever play the original uh, Warhawk? Uh, no, I've never played the original Warhawk. No, I, I played the one they released on PS3, though. So. You should check it out someday. It's pretty cool. That's what I've heard. It, it, it like, like most PlayStation games, though, they didn't... <laughs> you gotta get back into that mindset of how can controls were for games back in that era. Mm -hmm. It was very experimental with 3D controls back in the, the PlayStation era. <laughs> yes, they were. Oh, man, really? Uh, what the hell? Fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> this is cool, though. We're at 137. Yeah. Uh, sorry I got into weird rambling mode there, guys. And Just we haven't got party KO'd. We haven't actually technically broken that much of a sweat yet. No. Well, that's because we're four. The reason me and Neon were having trouble at this point is, well, you see how many just enemies we're us. getting? You see how many lore traps we're getting? Yeah. yeah. two of us, it's... Ooh. It's deadly. It's deadly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Fuck you, I need power. You see, this is why I could never do raiding, because... Like, if we fuck up now, it ain't too bad. If I fucked up in a raid... Oh, God. Well, it depends on the group. Like, it, like in the group that we're with right now, we're guard, pretty laid. The guard behind us. Yeah, I, like I mean, oh, we're, oh, we're pretty oh, laid back, oh. like as you saw. But obviously, you don't want to make too many. Like, if you can at least learn from your mistakes and don't make them again, or at least minimize them, you're golden. You'd, you'd be able to raid with us all day. Well, as long as your numbers were at least decent. Because that that would be the stress. It's it's not so much that you can't do it. I think oh, it's the stress out of it. Yeah. Because let's, as, let's especially as a DPS, there's a lot of pressure to keep your rotation up and do as much damage as you can possibly. Let's save that intuition, do. guys. Yeah. yeah. Right, saving it. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over here. Sorry, I just wanted Silver to. Silver chest. No, it's fine. I wasn't really saying anything. Yeah. But it's not for everybody. I mean, I feel like, you know, I actually do feel like right. if I was 
you know, I, I feel like I, I would be good enough to do world progression for, like, world first, but I just don't want that level of stress. It ain't worth it to me. I don't want to try to play perfect. I don't want to sit there and grill everything there is to grill, or drill, excuse me. <coughs> like, I don't want to be, like, best in best in slot. I, I don't want to, you know, time everything out to the point where I know, like, start of a fight, oh, okay, the boss does this and this in the first five seconds, so I better use my cooldowns exactly here. No, I like having wiggle room. I like doing things casually. I don't want to do it, like, super hardcore. Like, I'll give it my best shot, like, for sure, for, my for like, the raid group or whatever. I'm not going to, like, hold them back, you know. Creamer, pop up. That's why I like people to be on, on you know, on the same page, you know. Because, like, like yeah. with DPS as a healer, I do a bit more than I'm comfortable with because healers... DPS in raids. That's what people expect. You know? So I, I try to push myself with that, but I'm not trying to optimize it. Because, you know, the way that I feel about it is, can we clear it? Yes. Can we clear it reliably? Yes. Can we clear it consistently? Yes. Good. We're fine. Oh, you know? Goodness. That's what I like, is consistently being able to clear. I don't care if it takes us uh, 20 uh, minutes when everyone else is taking 15 or whatever, Jesus. as long as I can clear it. As long as I'm in the zone, you know? Nah, this what? room is a bunch of bullshit. Should we use a Pomander of Rage, perhaps? Alright. Uh, our only Rage. Oh, I didn't know we only had the one left. No, we oh, do. We've got, we've got more than one. Oh. oh, we do. Never mind. You threw me off, Dreamer. Well, I thought- I only saw one! What the fuck? There's one after it already been used. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably because of how quick I used it. Yeah, probably. Realistically, though, just having, you know... Just having a DPS is helping us tremendously here. You know? Yeah, but having two makes it... Well, well technically, we... At this I point, you, you, you can't... You have one and a half DPS is weird. Yeah. Well, just having you here at all takes a lot of healing pressure off me. Yep. Yeah. We technically have three healers if we count the pit. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, so oh, because yeah. you're here, I'm allowed to DPS a lot more. And well, yeah, I can. I've got. I've definitely got the wiggle room because, yeah, what class am I? Yeah, exactly. Well, that and plus you've got me here, so you know that I'll oh, cover yeah. you. <laughs> then, uh, yeah. And then, then we have that one room, but you guys want to go through it or just want to go up? I'm just gonna say go. Uh, well, I'm not, be just gonna go have a peek. Yeah, go go peek. Just make plus, sure. Plus, I'm gonna use. Someone use a strength. Uh, well, I just did, so you should say. So. Yeah, I did too. Wait, what the <laughs> hell? I just used the Bombinger of Steel, and it's telling me... Are all three of the... Oh, one's two, two of them are Strength, and one of them is Affluence. Yeah, it's like you're surrounded by treasure chests. Uh, what does Aff Affluence do? Bolt chests. Oh, okay. I'll just go ahead and... Bam. I'll go on the top. Yeah, attack me, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Right. Uh, someone well, else uses Strength, it. so I can go ahead and pick this up. I'm the only one, who, I'm the only one left. Well, I'll go ahead. One. Yeah. It never hurts. Uh, it boosts. Like, oh, is the one that you're by uh, a steel? Someone use one. Bam. Jeez, I already used one. And oh, I... fortune. It's fortune. It's all good. Let's get, we get, we get. Oh my God! So many palmanders of steel. I'm leaving that other one because fuck it. And we well, got... we've already we've already all got the effect on. There's no point. Exactly. <laughs> Because we had that many fucking palm manders of steel. <laughs> this is fun. And then once once we get past uh, 150, we'll st uh, the gold sacks that drop have the chance yeah. to mount. But also too, uh, <laughs> wait, what? The landmine is triggered, huh? Oh, oh, that's because I clicked the, the chest so many times, I'm still getting messages. <laughs> oh my There's God, the floor sir. 139 message. Did you return the Pathmander of Fortune to the coffer? You can't carry any more of that. Fortune, oh, I suppose, upon you, possibly. All right, I'm gonna you know, let, him, let him sneak. Uh, yeah. There he Alright, there we go. Now we gotta kick him. Trumador. Oh, shite. There's a Taurus here, too. Yeah. Trumador. Somebody say Trumador. No, I said Troubadour. Troubadour. Yes. Watch, well, put balance on all of us. We are. 
Booyaka, Bounce. Booyaka. Bounce. Bounce. Such a good card. Or are you just gonna skip that red chest, gold chest, huh? Yeah, it's fortune. Oh. What about the one in the hallway that it's dropped? Uh, I don't know. Fucking fortune! <laughs> There's fortune everywhere. Increase your fortunes! It's fortune we can't use. Although this is interesting that we're so high, or actually so deep, really. We're drilling to China. I wish I could go over a lot of my own fucking issues, because there's tons of old and new games that I would just love to stream and share with people. I, I, I kind of admire you, too, though. Yeah. I, I kind of admire you, Serenia, because I, I really don't got the courage to do what you do. Please don't. What? <laughs> it, it aggroed me before my spell even went off. Oh my goodness. So even if I would have interrupted it, it wouldn't have mattered. You just get in the you just get in the moment that you just kind of forget what you're even doing. You're like, da da da. <laughs> what am I? You know. Balance, 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 balance. The balance. I need a balance, second, guys. Balance, balance, balance. Okay. Hopefully you're in a safe balance. spot. I hope so too. Pumanendadur of Sasahai deals. So I'm gonna use a Pumanendur of Sight on the next floor, okay? That kosher. <laughs> if you do, I'll bop you. Well, we gotta see kosher. if there's any traps in there. Pumanendur of Raising. Do we I'm gonna get on it. Yeah, we already have it active. Aha! We got two of those going into the next set. Oh, nice. What'd you get? Oh, Palm Palm Nice. Yeah. Although, if we need to, I'd recommend keeping one for the 150. One chesty? 151. Oh, <laughs> Bold Crim Sacks have a good chance of getting them out. No. That's no. nine. No. Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't get hit by it. Even, uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I hate you. I got hit by it. <laughs> like, I'll scrap between you guys. <laughs> oh, we're gonna ignore the tank, whatever. Well, bam. <laughs> At least I actually carry Echo Drops. Echo really? Drops. Really? Op Watch? Are you serious? Oh, uh, I didn't expect to see that name. Fucking hate you and Smite, buddy. Boom. Uh, everybody ready? Yep. Malustin? People. Yes, Here. I guess. Lusty. Oh. Sloppy. Sloppy. You do that so well. Tacoey. Tacoey. Well, he, he is. He does have a Northern English accent, much like myself. So. <laughs> yeah, you did say it was like a cat. Cockney. Co no. Right. Uh, Sheffield. So Sam wow. is uh, Alan Megan. Do you know what? I probably, I probably would be. Yeah. I thought you said it was a Cockney accent. No, it's from, Chef, it's from. It's no. Somebody else said it was a Cockney accent. I said no, it's not, because Cockney is a you southern accent. Oh hell no! Hmm. Get that! Get. Fucking no! No weight on this earth. No, it's a well, southern. I don't know. That's a southern accent. Um, his is a Sheffield accent, which is a northern accent. Mm -hmm. uh, much like my own accent, but it's from the other side. His, his is from the northeast. Mine's from the northwest. But Fair because enough. it's northern, I can sort of imitate it quite well. Ah, motherfucker! You get a curse pox that bitch. Yeah, I've, no I've noticed all of the uh, all of the good guys in this game seem to be like Southern English, and all the bad guys seem to be Northern English. It's quite funny. <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck? So you're evil. Yes. But at least I'm not sloppy. We need to learn how like the the social economical like dynamics of Japan work. Like, does the does the West hate the East and all that type of shit, and figure out Ooh. how it correlates to hey, the that next makes expansion? Me wonder, you know, I didn't even think of that. That makes me wonder if they're actually gonna bring in some like Asian people to do the voices for the characters in, in from that area. Because the the biggest reason why it, we've been getting like English type accents is because Eorzea is basically. 
a European Europe. sort of fantasy area. But we're going to Doma, which is clearly Japanese. So it really does make me wonder if we'll get some Asian accents. Silver trims. Well, hey. Doma's more Chinese, really. It's the sort of where, where China would be on the map. Well, you're, thinking of, you're, you're thinking of Kugane, which, which is, is in the Doma, which is on the Doma continent. No, it's not. Isn't it? No, nope. it's a set of islands way off to the east of it. Ah, oh, well, whatever. I'll be right back. Doma's guys. more like China, actually. I'll yep, be right back, guys. All right. Wing. Scream of the Vortex HQ. I hope I hope you guys don't mind that I'm actually just gonna stop for a second to eat. Oh, go for it, dude. Oh, you need to eat, dude. Come on. No, how dare you? You're not allowed to eat. Yeah, fuck you. You do not do you not deserve sustenance. <laughs> fuck eating, all there is is House of the Dead. Inferno rod. That is her new food. Is the palace. You got a uh, different glamour piece. Uh, actually, I looked up too what you could get from gold trim sacks from floors uh, 151 onward. Um, you get all the glamour shit from Ravana and Bismarck. Uh, the high uh, adjudicator's gavel, which is fucking uh, the moon. That's cool. Like, it's all the glamour shit. And then you have. Mighty Thunderdome, Mighty Thunderhead. What's this about the Thunderdome? Oh. And then you get the you get the murderous mog mog fist, murderous mog tome, knives and shit. That's also that's also part of it. <coughs> so the gold trim sacks are actually very well worth the the grab. Mm. Like let me, let me tell you, man, money making opportunities abound. Especially since everything from these these um, silver sacks have not been less than thirty k on the mark on the uh, auction house. Like whoa, money! Yeah, this is something nothing can be fun for us to do. Like every so often. Oh yeah, I've been having fun with you guys. It's fun. It's a nice little, little neat challenge, group challenge that we've been having. Hell, thanks to the shit I've been selling from the palace of the dead, I'm over a million gil again. <laughs> Before you know it, I'll have that three mil back. back yeah, exactly. Back huh? <laughs> Actually, my, my, my replica elegant curse of maiming HQ just sold. I'm gonna have enough uh, money and stuff to get my shit together for it. I don't work scare. And then I, then I can make all the glamour pieces from the sky to the, the sky pirate shit. Oh. Hmm. I'll be right. Uh, oh, I'm going oh, to head to uh, Gridani. I am back. Liar. Yeah, I'm lying. Sorry. I'm not back yet. Look at the sound of my game, Cal. I've got some ridiculously difficult games. What's that? I just look at some of the games and with, like on my PlayStation 2 really well. I own a lot of ridiculously difficult games. Why are two of them ninja games? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Not Shade and Red Ninja. Both those things are fucking difficult as hell. They both starve. <laughs> no idea, man. See what? That, that just seems to be like this weird thing in gaming. Why are ninja games always like? It's, it's a staple for them to be difficult as fuck. Why the fuck do ninja games have because this in order weird to clear, legacy of being like ninja? 
That must be the that must be the mindset. Like, it's not really a ninja game unless it's hard as balls to beat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? That's from two hours ago as well. I'm surprised it does it to now. <laughs> You're rich! <laughs> One kill. <laughs> An asshole, sorry. <laughs> Back to Quarry Mill. Piece of shit. You love it. <laughs> we'll beat my <laughs> Punch, punch. Looking for one tank for Fury Diadem in at uh, Party Finder. We're paying cookies. <laughs> kind of cookies we're talking about. Rip shit open. These right. cookies. You make me tempted to leave and not, so, and not join back. Where are the cookies? <laughs> <laughs> I expect some fucking mint Oreos. Mint Oreos. <laughs> Pretty damn good. <laughs> not my cup of tea, but you know they're all right. Let's come up with something really obscure. I want it made with truffles. Each cookie having twelve slices of truffle in it individually. Oh God! And I want it. And I want a set of twenty-four cookies. <laughs> that is my price. But you're wishing you would have decided to pay with Gil instead, aren't you? <laughs> Careful of what the ER peers. Why? What will they do if you're not careful? I believe the criminal charge is corruption of a minor. What? <laughs> uh, excuse me? It's not like they're actually diddling the kid. <laughs> Speed fire. They aren't. They aren't. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, wind up Sasquatch. Cool. Wind up Sashmo. Although, right now, I think I'm a little, I'm hallucinating a little bit because I, uh, I went to bed at like 8.30. Oh, no, 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 no. I went to bed at like 9 because I went to bed when the maintenance hit. And, uh, <sighs> I woke up at one. Um, it was a weird coincidence what woke me up. Um, had four hours of sleep. I was already tired at that point, and uh, I got woken up where, for some fucking reason, yeah. I heard a loud male voice like scream in agony, like ah, and I'm like what oh, the fuck, and uh. This is all in complete darkness, by the way. So if your eyes are closed and you're and you're still trying to wake up and shit, 
and uh, all of a sudden you're in complete darkness and you hear that shit, how fucking freaky it is. Mm -hmm. I'd probably wake up swinging, to be honest with you. And I'm like, what? Yeah, what the fuck was that, dude? I, my heart was racing. I could not get back to fucking sleep. Oh! It was like, ah! Like someone fucking being tortured. But it was loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I freaked the fuck out. My first instinct was I fucking died and went to purgatory. I Even almost thought you started like, to say you died and went to prison. I <laughs> died and went to prison. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he committed the crime, but he's dead. Don't care. Put him in there anyway. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you know what? That might be a good deterrent to fuck with prisoners and make them not do bad shit to each other. It's like we don't care. We're tossing a corpse in your room with you. That's your new cellmate, bitch. Even though that you can't do that for, uh, for sanitation reasons. This is the reason why, like, we need to. <laughs> I, I need to rule a, a third world country. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Your cellmate is a fucking corpse. Have fun. Uh, although, if I was really fucking ahead, I'd be like, hooray, free food. That, that, that's where you have tortures where you like. Like you take the pipes of like the urinals and toilets, and you like you take people down to the boiler room, and you rearrange the pipes to where it, it, it basically goes into people's mouths, and like, there's your fucking you'll straighten up so, after and eat some neon. like shit for a while. <laughs> what are you doing? What's he doing? What? What are you doing, now? What? Being disgusted? No. What are you currently doing? Uh. Selling stuff before I come back out. What's that? Because I was making sure that you knew that you were doing stuff. What am I doing? Eating a pickle. Am I not allowed to torture people? No, no, you're not. Let, let me check to see if you need more Sky Rat stuff, Sid. There's some gloves. Not for that price, dude. Oh. You yeah, spent enough price. anyway, Vian. Vian? I was trying to say Velony and Neon at the same time and it came out Vian. Go figure. <clears throat> what the fuck? Your guess is as good as mine. How are you doing, Vian? So, like, I have to wonder if this would be considered a swamp or a marsh. At Roots Lake here. How about how about a smarsh? Smarshy. It's a mix of strong bad and marshy. Sarshy. Sarshy. Um, <laughs> Sarshy apparently. I don't know. Yay. <clears throat> <laughs> twitch it, twitch it, twitch it, twitch. Oh dear lord. No, I got a question for you. Who breaks a pinky promise? No one. Ever. <laughs> Never <Sure>. fucking ever. <laughs> or else she will haunt you forever! <laughs> and she's pinky, so she can pop up literally anywhere. Including your toilet. And your computer screen. And Our your window seal. She will break Our physics to find your ass. Or straight out of your urethra. Or underneath your shirt. Yeah, she can appear literally anywhere. <laughs> she will break physics. But no, like, this type of area, would it be considered a swamp or a marsh? Because it's like a, a lake in the forest. A smarsh. Uh, and even then, it's not really a lake, as in you can't swim in it. It's just patches of water that are barely needy. It's huh? a swamp. <laughs> it's a swamp. But no, for real, like, what would this type of area be considered? A marsh, I'm guessing? I, I don't know. Look them up and see. That, that is actually a marsh, yes. <coughs> so, 
So yes. where's our scholastical Mario? What the fuck's a scholastical Mario? <laughs> Mario. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is eating. Yeah. Okay. So good. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna go mess around with Buster and then play some triple triad while I kill time. Mess around with who's bust? What? Buster in. All I know is that when I'm able to get back to sleep, I'm going to be hibernating for quite some time. He says that, but he'll sleep for like an hour and wake up and be like, son of a fucking bitch. Yeah, well, if that shit happens again, I'm going to be like, okay, I need to, <clears> I need be a fucking to priest in this bitch. It's like, I need a priest in this bitch or something. There's a poltergeist or some shit. And this is the good, good thing by... But we're not like all living together in some place. Because after you tell me this story, I'd be so tempted to wait until you like give like or I'll give an hour and a half, and then I'm gonna go get a funnel and I'm gonna fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! Don't you don't you don't tried to emulate that screen to a T, dude? It's freaking me the fuck out, aren't you? You motherfucker! <laughs> Get some <laughs> fucking wireless speaker thing and make, slide make sure it in a hot dogger's bed somewhere. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh man! And the uh, fucking for for maximum effect, make sure the bed is is close enough to the to the ceiling. Just have some wireless speakers with like fucking subwoofers pressed against the bed so it shakes the bed. <laughs> <laughs> And then, then all of a sudden you wake me up, bang! Oh! Uh, uh. Oh wow, excuse me. Bang, zoom, straight to the moon. That, that's a bad thing to do though, because all I'm doing then is I'm inviting a prank floor. That's all I'm yeah. doing. Yes, you are. <laughs> I can't think straight right now, but I would definitely have ideas. And then I've accidentally found... Uh, actually... I would start a prank for him, but I, I would be the, the biggest fucking asshole because I would blame it on Zach. <laughs> and then <laughs> to, to point it towards his direction, and then it would somehow come full circle back at me, but it would be worth it. <laughs> hey, Neon. Hey, Neon. You should come to me. No. Why? Denied. Why should I? You should come to me is all. Alright, I'll take your teleport then. Wait, whose teleport was that? Not mine. Oh, never mind. That was mine. <laughs> I thought you, you said you were going to go do something. I don't know. Welcome yeah, to Limpsa. I went up. I said I'm going to go mess around with Buskaroon. Oh, my bad. Or Buskaroon, I guess his name is. I don't know. Welcome well, to Limpsa. Too late now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Limpsa Limpsa. I got to talk to my squad. I need to come here anyway. I'll be back. Oh, welcome oh, back. Oh, thank Send them on the mission, and actually, they will fucking be awesome with this. Damn it! Why are they fucking not ready for the mission? Are you fucking kidding me? What was that about to be an awesome fish? What was Awesome fish. So, I saw some way. You done the bow thing with it, didn't you? Shut up! I knew it. One da 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 da. Take me to Quarry Mill, you piece of crap. To Quarry Mill. Uh, I just ran to the Chocobo from Buster Rune's Druthers to take me to freaking Quarry Mill. Huh. That's like less than a minute. And I could have easily taken myself there on my own. I just wanted to hear this music. 
Hey, that's pretty cool. I've had a bunch of people while I was here just dead stop and look at my character. It's because of your armor, I would say. It's on the peak apocalypse ranger. Pretty much. Now what would you want me to see? What were you doing? <laughs> Did you just teleport to quarry mill? Yeah. Oh. Ain't that tickets, my friend. Ain't that tickets. To quarry mill. Oh, Alright, what are you doing? Coming back. I mean, sorry, where are we going? But you know Buster Ranger Brothers, it's over this way. Yeah, but why, why am I coming over this way? I don't know. I wanted to show you something. Okay. Plus, I thought Dreamer would have taken longer. Boing, boing, boing. I saw that! Fooping. Uh, I don't know if I was actually ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I did it anyways. <laughs> Does I need to go pee? <laughs> it was coming over to the fuck. Go. Sergio is wanting me to. <laughs> I what? <laughs> no, I don't want to. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Cameron, okay. come over to Buster Ranger Druthers. Why? Just do it. No, I don't do anything just because. Just do it. Just do it. No. I stole your cookies. You can't get them back until you come over here. What? <laughs> Those are my fucking cookies! <laughs> God. I really wish the uh, summer morning set was dialed. <laughs> God, dissension order from the roulettes. <laughs> great! <laughs> oh, this is just great. to none that time. Yeah, that's interesting. What the fuck? Alright. Well, now you get to see my usual deck. Okay. Because I wanted to show that off. Yeah, this is the deck I normally use. I think, like, I, there's got to be a way I can make it a bit better. You know? Yeah, fair enough. The only card, really, that gives me a bit of trouble, I mean, it's useful in, in certain situations, but it gives me a lot of trouble, is this card right here. I was gonna get you in trouble. Because of its stats. The eights are on the side, but the top and bottom are weak as shit. So. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I'm not caring about this shit. I might as well just play. Yeah. Let's see. I don't want double roulette. No. No. How about this? How about that? And... Um... Why not? Just fuck it. Sudden death random. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. Let's see what cards I get. Oh god! What, <laughs> what is this? Fuck? And what? the worst part is, I have a, I actually have a disadvantage here because of all the cards that I have. Yeah. Because I've got every card except for Furion. So my hands can be literally any fucking thing. <laughs> You know. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> this <laughs> I look how the Taru's over there. <laughs> yeah, yay! <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I could not do anything with this fucking hand, like, at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> well, that's how random goes. <laughs> I won one. Thing is, if you do a rematch, it resets the rules to none. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> random sudden death, what the fuck? Yeah, I could have done random roulette. That would have been interesting. Me and him. Oh god. Well, I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> it actually gave me a halfway decent hand. <laughs> yeah, Cabrera card looks fucking creepy. She sees into your very soul. Yeah. It's fucking creepy. <laughs> yeah. Just card. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Wow. What's up? Eh. Eh. Oh, no. It's gonna. Now things are gonna get really weird. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Was this that a sounds... draw? Yeah, that was a draw. And this is sudden death. Oh my death. god. What? Oh. What? I got you, <laughs> Conquer Brenner Card. What? <laughs> yeah. Because what? that's how. Took my skull card. That's because that's how sudden death works. <laughs> Whatever oh card is flipped by your opponent, yeah. it switches places. It basically turns into swamp. So a little cards? bit. Yeah. You get all the powerful cards, I got all the balls <laughs> cards. <laughs> Yeah. I was waiting for you to do that shit. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Squall, Leon Hart. Anyway. But yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Alright. Let's do this. That drops a bomb wire type of could get him each. What? What? That, That's awesome. There it is. There. I'll do you a solid, since I dragged you out here, get on. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks. I'm only gonna escort one of you back to the way. freaking thing. Someone get so, on! <laughs> that, that, that talk of, you know, apparently, you know, you need to, you need to have done something to have actually, to make, to be worthy of that, apparently he already has. Wait, what now? Huh? If they're proven to be false, he already has. The link that I just posted. What, wiretapping? The hell? I was gonna escort one of you back, but I guess not. Alright. <laughs> but you have a lot more cards than I thought you did, Dreamer, to be honest. Yeah. I used to play this game hardcore, but then I took that eight month hiatus. Yeah. I don't know what possessed me to go for all the cards. I really don't. I just, I, I have a wild hair at my ass, and I'm like, I'm gonna get all the cards. And I did. I have every card. Uh, every single got, card, except for Fear. I got 83 cards, so. I've got 178. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so you can see why random was weird, you know? <laughs> There's 179 cards in total? Interesting. Yep. At least I think that said 178. Yeah, 178. But, uh, in fact, here, um, I will show you something. If you're, like, wanting to collect the cards, uh, this is the perfect website for you. This is where I located all of them at. 
and it's a really good website too. You can even make an account with it, and you can list all the cards that you have. Like if I go to my cards and sign in, I can then link you to my profile, and it'll show you that every you know it'll show you every one of my cards that I have. You know. Huh. You guys ready for the pals the DMs? Yep. See, because here's yep. my account right here, streamer. So you see all the cards that I got, which is all of them. <laughs> Well, th well belly, technically, belly, belly, there's, belly. there's three yeah, unreleased right. cards, but those don't count. That's cause... if you can hear me over rambling. <laughs> Barely, because he's rambling too much. I am not <laughs> rambling. Keep going. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I have all the cards except for Freerion and the three unreleased cards. Oh, uh shit. Oh, shit, what? What's up? That is one of the funniest things that a president will probably be impeached for. What, why are Doing that shit. No. 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 What is it? Father Donald, he, the Father Donald, the Father lies. Donald Trump put out the application. Because Donald Trump put out the accusation that Obama was wiretapping him during the election, if that turns out to be false, uh, as Donald Trump is currently president, he would actually be under impeachment for gross misconduct. I see. Or basically, basically lying. Yep. Yeah, but and the thing is, if, if he gets impeached, doesn't Pence get in? And Pence is a million times worse than Trump. I think. From what I've heard. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, his views are, are batshit insane, but he's actually more moderate than he is than Trump is. Well, he's, more, he's more sensible and grounded in what he actually believes. Which is weird. But anyway, let's, let's not harp on that because no. it's gone going down that road again, and we don't want to go down Yeah, yeah we, we don't want that, but... It was just, a, just an it, interesting little thing. It is just interesting that the one thing that got him elected, or one of the few things that got him elected, is going to get him impeached. Well, everyone's convinced that Obama did do this, so... Apparently yeah, like, oh, well, yeah, they, but, well, then, you know what? Then they investigate it, they find nothing, and then, the, yeah, then he's fucked. You know what? Uh, I am no, curious who we're gonna fight on this floor, considering it's gonna be a weird. It's gotta be like a parallel to Edda, so it's gotta. I don't know what we're gonna be fighting on this floor. Yeah, this floor's gonna be weird. But I, I mean, on the, Yeah, I don't think that. Alright, let's go ahead and focus on this shit. But we are one section away from where we get the gold trim sacks. God damn it. Which has some good Aww. shit. Because I, I thought you were running to pull it, and I started casting on it, and then you turned and didn't pull it, and I'm like, well, shit. How about, how about you take that golden rule, don't cast on it till I've hit it? How about you shut it up? <laughs> Celine got this one. See, it's not always me. But you started this chain of reaction. Yep. You're in the oh, middle of a chain reaction. What the fuck kind of manticore is that? It's a black accord. Oh, <laughs> okay. It looked weird from a distance because I thought it had like horns and spikes all over the place. I was like, what? But no. Ripper claw. Ow. I took one right to the face. So, 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 so I see how it is. If it's black from afar, it looks like a monster. Yeah, I see <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> yeah. Did we have a raid last night or not? Yeah, we did. How we got raid again that? tonight too, though. Oh, that's cool. Again, how did it go? It went okay, except one of our members ended up rage quitting because for whatever reason we kept choking on A10. <gasps> oh, oh, her. But we, we we still got our A10S clear. We had to replace him because the leader's like, you know what? I've about had enough of that. I don't really blame him either. But to be fair as well, so as we don't put all the blame on the person that rage quit, he was having internet problems due to bad weather in the area. So. Yeah. 
Oh, that's understandable. Everybody has yeah. days like that. Oh, yeah. One, one, four, two. But we'll just have to wait and see how things go because we have had some really weird things going on lately behind the scenes, so I don't know. Mm. What's the. Uh, what's your gear at now, uh, Sam? Uh, 6567. Oh, cool. There's a horde here. Oh, and there it is. Star. Excuse me. Sweet. Oh, there's a silver chest back there. Yeah, there is. Where? First room. It's in the room oh. we started in. What the hell? How did we miss that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no one paying attention, I guess. But just to go on with Speaking the Speaking of not paying attention, I didn't even realize that Rogue Nier's weapon had evolved. I, I commented on it at the time. He yeah, commented on the early, but that that was around the time when they were going on and on about uh, <laughs> Lunar Sorcerer so Complete. Yep. Ah, yep. <laughs> yeah, total was... derailment. And, and that one, I blame you, Zach. Hey, it is your fault. Hey! <laughs> cause I was, cause Sam asked me a question, I was trying to answer, and then segue! <laughs> I'm sorry! The studio's like, well, Can you... you can't say the battle system's easy. <laughs> Leon, help! <laughs> oh, I don't make me do my Ashley impression. I'll do it. Go for it. So you've you have a great voice. Help! Did it me all get got to try to look up your skirt now? Is that what you said? Oh, you pervert! Anyway. But no, like, that, yeah, like, okay. Kill, kill mobs, so. Kid does. Here, here's an interesting story for you guys. I don't know, <laughs> oh. I don't know. Holy oh, shit. I don't know how many of you guys know this about me, but I don't do well with anxious situ with, with situations that invoke anxiety. So, like. No, I, I need I, a moment, I, sweetie. I really do. <laughs> for you. you can't have this. Is that a SWAT streamer showed her tackle into a trap? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> that was one explosive shoulder tackle. <laughs> I, I needed a moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god. But no, like, I, I don't do well in, in situations that create anxiety, such as Resident Evil games, you know, where, or, or, like, horror games and whatnot. And I was playing Resident Evil 4 for the first time at a friend's. And, actually, no, I didn't get to play it fully at their place. At least if I did, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, no, it was on theirs. It was. Um, because I, I, I completed the game on the GameCube version the first time I played it. And then I played it again on my console. But, oh, no, no, we were taking turns on the, on the GameCube version. That is right. But I didn't really get to play the game myself until I got it on the PS2. So anyway, I'm playing the game, and I'm at the point of the game where you just rescued Ashley, and you're outside the village, you know, because you just uh, you did that scene where you oh, have Ashley hide in a, in a dumpster. And um, during that part, like, I, I, I get nervous really, really easily. And um, it was at the part where like I said, you just saved Ashley, and you're going outside the village, it's just before the second boulder falls or whatever, or, or something. It's towards the end of the first chapter, pretty much. And you, uh, you go back through the village where there's all the bear traps laid about, and you're trying to sneak back through the village, but all the Lost Plagas guys are running around, so Ashley hides in a dumpster, and you go around to take out as many guys as you can. Well, I go to the point where you jump down where all the bear traps are before you go out that one wooden gate, and I accidentally kick the, the ladder down so Ashley wouldn't climb down the ladder. So I, I, I went, I jumped down to try to catch the ladder, put the ladder back up. But because Ashley was at the edge of the arena, at the, at the edge of the ledge, um, <laughs> when Leon put the ladder back up, obviously it made the cam, it forced the camera to look up and get an, and I accidentally got an upskirt from Ashley. So I'm like, oh, you pervert! And it made me laugh so hard that it took me completely out of the stress, and it took all of the anxiety off my shoulders for at least a good three hours, and I couldn't be scared anymore for the next little bit because I was too busy laughing at Ashley's reaction so much so that I would purposely take like a sniper rifle or a, or a rocket launcher, anything 
to get those upskirts just for her to react that way. And it wasn't even, it wasn't for anything other than I thought it was fucking funny. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 okay. Uh -huh. I'm serious, I thought it was uh -huh. funny, and I can't uh -huh. believe it. Sure, pal. Sure, that is the truth, it. oh my god, it is right. totally All right, the truth. Mate. Oh, All right, mate. goodness. That's a lot of chest though. Ow! That is a lot of chest. Shoulder tackling, douchebag! What the hell? <laughs> you want a counter mana core? What the fuck? I hit a crystal and it did like a Jedi stun. Ah! <laughs> Where'd that fucker come from, huh? Came from up Ashley's skirt. Apparently. It came from behind. Just like this thing did. Well, just like Zach does with the sniper rifle. I'm still amused by the shoulder tackling into a landmine. <laughs> the interesting thing is the landmine did, did not luck. immediately go off. It did not immediately go off. It just went off after I engaged the mob. That was weird. That was such <laughs> shitty luck. Hey, you guys want to have some crazy fun? You could. Crazy oh, fun! Fuck. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Wow! Check the, check the coffers. Strengths and fortunes. And that is it. You know what? I might as well pull a strength. Because we'll need it. That is the second person today that, that's asked if the market board is down. Put the market board down? No, you're the third person. No. Remember, the market board is down. Nah. Is, the, is the auction house down? What yes. about the auction house? Uh, yes. <laughs> Are you SE tech support? Do you work for SE? Yes. What's the third job Don coming Madden. out with Stormblood? Don Madden. Don Madden. Blue Mage. Oh, is it Blue when Mage? Are they adding, I... When are they adding Ishgard housing? Hell, uh, come to think of it, when are they adding Ishgard at all? Please accord to it. Ha! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> 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 oh, he's just right guard. Yo, fuck this. Oh my god, okay, well. There we go. Oh shit. Everyone in. Everyone in the pool. You didn't want to play with the Manticore? No! It's because it's all big and scary and black. You know, because black people are monsters. Haste granted. Isn't that right, Serenia? Oh, you know who fucking is. <laughs> Wait, well, Serenia has been banned from Twitch for violating terms hey, of use. Hey! Don't make me cry, fuckers. Meow. <laughs> Anyway. Fuckers. Fuckers. Derp. I derped. Yeah, you did burp. That's a derpy burp. A derp. A derpy burp. Derp, derp. <laughs> so Gotta give this guy the boot. I want the shoe. Was he, did he drop any booty? Well... Biggity sweetie. I'm coming for that too, B. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you can hear my laugh. It is Good. funny. Uh. <laughs> okay, Woody Woodpecker. Fuck! They're me up Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was actually sounded like it was part of the song. <laughs> I was hoping to check the chest without attracting the boob. You say boob or boob? Ah! Where'd uh -huh. you come from? <laughs> <laughs> no, not for you, not today. It can be silent. It can be stunned. 
We'll go get that mullet because it's where they exited. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, ghost. Ooh. 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 Tea. Ooh. Oh, there's steel. Oh, I just don't like this Nobody likes you, ghost. I don't like you, ghost. I ain't straight no ghost. ghost. Casting paralyzed fucking dun, 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 dun. Um, hi. I have a ghost haunting me. <laughs> I can I see I that. I sleep last night. This fucking boot. There we go. Get the hell out of here. I wonder if what would end up happening if once you get past 150. I wonder if we can start at 151. You would. Or, uh, like, we, we can repeatedly go back to 151. No. That'd be cool. No. No. We, we oh. Not. Yeah, this place does <laughs> not record, uh... Fuck that. This no. Place, this place does not save... Uh, 4 101 plus doesn't save the same way. Oh, uh, I'm glad I quick that. There's a lot of... Like, in order to access floor 101, you have to start back from floor 51 and make it back to floor 100 without dying. Uh -huh. Or without wiping, I should say. I wonder what would happen if we clear floor 200. Same difference. You just clear it and you get exited. And then cool. you have to start the process again. Alright, yeah, now, now let's just go back down there and do your... <clears throat> shit, yeah. Did you check both of the treasure chests up there already? I don't think the one's really worth going for. Oh, God. Wraith with a landmine right there. A visible mine. Nope. Yo. That happened. <laughs> Alright. Who's gonna trigger that trap? Hopefully no one. Not I. Not I. I may have shoulder tackled into a mine. But I swear to you, I did not hit her. Hey, all right, we got another Palace of Serenity. Uh, I mean, pop in. <laughs> <laughs> Palace of Serenity. Serenity. Instead of going down, we go up into heaven and we fight angels. You know hey, what? That's cool. a cool idea. Damn it! Now I want it. <clears throat> the spar against Hydaelyn, or Hydaelyn rather. Alternately titled Stairway to Bullshit. And the theme song will be, uh, Stay I'm with on Heaven. I'm on a way to hell. Oh, what? No, that's this theme song. <laughs> the, other theme, the other theme song is fucking Stay with Heaven, but Led Zepp. Good old Led Zepp. Lynn. We still gotta kill more mobs. Yeah. I think I just invented a tattoo onto us though. What's that? <laughs> I, I didn't know I was muted, so I said, you know... Uh, I was gonna say, oh, you know, Nep Nep loves Led Zep. <laughs> I, tried to say it too, I tried to say it too quickly, and it turns out it's a tongue twister. Nep Nep loves Led Zep. Alright, that's not really fair for Serenia. Everything's a tongue twister for Serenia. Hey, shut up! <laughs> oh, poor Serenia. Peter Parker, pick a 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 pick <laughs> I was just gonna go it 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 <laughs> Cowhounds. Which by the way, some of my raid members called out the Spongebob right. laugh when I laugh like that. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I do it so instinctively. Oh god. Oh my god. Lori yellow Lori. Repeatedly. I ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I 
but it's gonna be something crude. It, it isn't, trust me. Crude? Why not? Do what he said there, Sarah, in the sea. Hey, Petra. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry? I don't get it. Keep saying it over and over. I'd rather not, because I don't get it. Well, you'll not get it after you say it a bunch of times. I don't know. I don't, I don't trust mean? it. My stun's down. My stun's down. Fuck. It's, it's, it's literally just a tumble twister. That's all it is. You stun that guy. Oof. I think I got enough stun on me. And bam. Anyways. I would imagine that this place evolves. Um, it, it'll probably be when we go into like the spacey sort of weird thing that almost looks like out of Legend of Dragoon. In the hallway with like all the white squares everywhere. Once really Sorry. Oh, I didn't Sorry. know it was there. After way clear 150 is what I'm betting. Also, 150 yeah. is when shit goes really haywire. Like, we're that's having it exactly easy now, but 150 is apparently when it starts to get fucked up and tough. And I think that's exactly why the fucking mountain's so expensive. Because not only you have it random, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. Ow. I've been eager to try Oops. it forever, because I've never seen Beyond Floor 130 until now. The interesting thing is I have not died ever since floor one. Uh, I haven't, yeah, I mean, mean Don't died. say that! <laughs> <laughs> Good! Um, happy? No, uh... Knock on wood? Yeah. We'll come back with some. Fucking succubus! Uh, Whoa! Well, that's the fuck was that? that? That explosion she just set up. <laughs> No, I know, but that was like fire. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Fire force? Okay, yeah, that's, that's nothing. Uh, let's go top. Top what side. I was expecting not that. That was like flare. Don't die. Okay. Talking about Mr. Cough over there. Yay! Yay. It's better than I did than somebody else, huh? It's true. Boom! <laughs> looks like a nuke. Jeez. Alright, not worth it. Let's go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. Save that last intuition so you can build up more for the. for, for the monster awesome things. Fuck! Wow, I didn't. I aggroed the boot that which that was behind ah. her, but I didn't aggro the sucky bus herself. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Wait, what? Wait, So, ah, well, we gotta kill the succubus anyway. Or do we? Or do we? No. And then she moves away. Oh, yeah. Want a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so weird when you have mobs that know exactly where you are and they will constantly cast shit at you, but they don't actually aggro you until you, you know. Well, seven hours. Yeah. No. Pretty much uh, been streaming ever since I've been awake. And there's extra room up that way. Hey, bastard! Housekeeper! I check this room, this room is empty. Oh my goodness, what the fuck was that? Oh, by the way, um, Neon, yesterday when I was doing my a lot of PvP, I actually had several matches oh, that featured Next Cross. Huh? Next Cross is the best PvP player in the game. Period. Uh, well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say, doesn't it, man? Like, like I, I, okay. 
I had two matches against him, and then the rest of my matches were with him. And my very and here's the thing that sucked: in the matches that I played against him, he decimated my entire team every time. Like there was no contest; we couldn't kill him. And because he was even on the enemy team, we just straight up lost. Then the very first match I get with him on my team, he goes and dies a couple of times, and, and like even despite my best efforts to keep him alive, and, and but he's the best. And they decimated us. But here's the other thing: every other match after that that had him in the match, we won. And I got player combinations almost every time. So, I don't know, man. It was fucking weird. Oh, fuck. The mimic. Uh, of course. I go up to check the fucking treasure chest, and of course, oh, I run into the mimic. Oh, God, I'm gonna mimic now, too. I, I told you. Yeah. Fuck. Uh... Uh, all right, new rule. While we're actively engaging monsters, do not check this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That is dangerous. Oh, of course, I'm the one that gets the fucking pot. I wish we had a very good option either. You have a prime money for that shit? Yeah, we do. Yeah. It is kind of weird that there's a Pommander specifically for that move. Because it's so fucking well, if it wasn't, it would kind of suck. Uh, don't look at it. You hang back on that one. Yes! That's some sneaky breath. <laughs> so it is. Shizzle, my hizzle. What was that about bear grills? Oh, oh god. Barely grills. Oh man, they're strength. Brrrp! <laughs> hell, hell. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, Hello, welcome back. We're still streaming, by the way, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> what the fuck? I went to bed and came back to y'all still streaming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. Damn straight. <laughs> Shit. We go yeah. hardcore. This is basically what I've been doing, man, almost every day since we learned that my motherboard is potentially going bad. I've really, really... What the fuck? Was that you again, Hector? Huh? I'm watching someone just, you. Someone just donated another fucking hundred! Holy shit, guys! Thank 100. you! Oh my That's, God. I, I'm That's guessing awesome. Hector, that was Hector because he said, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, Hector. Damn. Uh, that helps tremendously, man. Thank you so much. And, and you wonder why I'm, I'm still playing the pay you back, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, every little bit helps, man. It really does. And every little That's bit is a little step bit. True, and every little bit well, gets us closer and closer. Yeah. I really. What's the, what's, <laughs> huh? What's the number? Is it two thirty-two? Yeah, two thirty-two. You know what? Actually, I should make that bigger so it's clearer. Where I don't have. There we go. Where I don't have the world's greatest internet. So there we go. Yeah, Super Mario just thought that was part of one of your games all this time. Man. I don't know, man. Probably not. Hey. No, it looks like a bar for a game, dude. It does look like a bar for a game. What the fuck? Hello. Alteration. Still can't believe Jonathan uh, Spells was sponsored by AMP. I know. That's awesome, man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. Ah! Dark mist. Oh, why is that dragon... Oh. It's, it's over here because I used regen on Rognir. Oh, and I... I threw everything off work. Oh, dear lord. Fuckibus down. Fuckibus. 
Fucky bus? Oh. I didn't say fucky bus. <laughs> Thank you, even. I saw that one. Yeah, I made it even. What the hell, Wait, man? Your username showed up as even. What the hell? I know. <laughs> Why did your username show up as even? <laughs> <laughs> so oh. you're exactly one third of the way there. I am, yeah. You're all awesome, right? <laughs> Thank yeah. you, man. It's a vacation to Panama and still has money left over. I had... Do you know how much money I actually do have? <laughs> uh, I, no. But then again, I work, I, all, like, I'm not surprised. I work like my ass off almost every week. It's it's just surprising I work only four times this week. So Jesus, you work twelve hour shifts. <laughs> uh, roughly, I work nine to fives. Oh okay. Yeah, 40, <laughs> 40 to fifty every week. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, do you get paid overtime after forty? Yeah. The only well, that would do it. I haven't been transferring that money to my bank account yet. <laughs> um, so I, I, I've been kind of just waiting. It's gonna take a percentage out just to tell you. Oh, I know. So, yeah. Usually it's a few dollars. Yeah, it, it, it's we we already looked into it. It's like two percent plus thirty cents or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So in other words, it sucks for uh, like small small tips. Like if it's a dollar, it takes almost half of it. But if it's like a hundred dollars, it's a drop in the pond. If it's a dollar, it takes it takes yeah almost half of it. It, it takes thirty two cents. There's just yeah. another shrink there if you want to pop it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bam. Shit. Shit. Oh, no. oh whoa. <laughs> it's instant death. Heat. Nah, it's not instant death, it's just... He just took a oh, lot of damage. Oh, he got hit so hard. Yeah. He had a lot of health missing. Yep. I did use an AOE Surely bowl, though. Surely because of the terrorize is what caused it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start using those bowls, I think, so I might have to start holding on to those, because they're... Whoa, shit! Okay. Succubus. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh my god, there's two. There's two Succubi, and that's why it's still oh, doing bro. that. I would, say, I would almost say Rage at this point. <laughs> oh, uh, we can save those. Actually. Hey, guys, let's have fun. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> yes. And Kidu's everywhere. What the Succubus? Literally. Oh, no. <laughs> Succubus are a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I love chicken. Not in this way. But the I chicken's maybe... trying to invite you to fuck it. <laughs> I, I feel like maybe I should put like a small oh audio cue for like my uh, for, for like donations and stuff, so that it actually alerts me to glance over there. Because if I don't think to look over there, I'm gonna miss everything. And what's the point of having the alerts? So I might you add a small, very, very small, like, tick or something. Just you something know what you just referenced, there. Tom? With probably without even realizing it. You referenced Super Troopers. Huh? You know you know how. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> License and registration, chicken fucker. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. At it again. That's oh, okay, that's how you interrupt that. You just throw a tomahawk in her bitch face. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! What? <laughs> <laughs> well, one was a ah. miss, but still. Fuck off! I really hate mobs that have infinite range and know exactly where you are at any given moment. It's just well, some way of saying that, hello. That for that one, she, we walked through the door, and she just didn't like the, the sight of us. Yeah. Well, we got plenty of time, because this is the last four. This ah. section. I am curious what Edda's replacement's gonna be, like the more potent Edda. Because every other boss, like I said, has been a variation <laughs> it'll on be, bosses we fought it'll before. It'll be Shin Edda. Shin Edda. <laughs> it'll probably be a Vare. A very inhuman form. I don't know. That would be intriguing to fight. Well, the thing is, the, these floors are hypothetical anyway. They're like a minstrel's ballad in a way. Yeah. They're overly exaggerated. 
Yips. No dark mist, fuck off. Oh, and I, I aggro the another sucking back. It's pretty much this is these dungeons are just another game within a game. More or less, yeah. Goddamn, damn, oh all my AoEs. Jeez. Like I'm just built to fuck around. Bitch. They do fuck around though, Dreamer. What the fuck? That's, that's their job by nature. <laughs> <sighs> I love you and hate you guys at the same time. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing in this room. I just realized. Why is it? Why is there a double healer set up? Is there something that? Wanted to go scholar. Oh, he okay. was. He's always well, leveling the scholar. Oh, okay. Well, his scholar's already sixty. Well, he was. Weren't you leveling it before we started this though? Yeah. I think he. I think he brought a scholar just in case shit went wrong because of how. Uh... Oh, I'm pretty sure he was leveling before. Look at his gear. Well, I know that, but what I'm saying is, I, well, I thought he was 60 before he even started doing this, and he just didn't have gear for it. But anyway, that doesn't it, that doesn't really matter too much. But it, really, I think his reasoning for using Scholar was in case shit went wrong. Like if I were to die or something, he would always be able to like, you know what I mean, pick it up where I left off and that kind of thing. Nobody because... wants to rob Sucky Bus right now. Fuck off. No. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Sam? Is your character still male? I think he might be talking to someone. Oh, okay. In person right now, it's just my head. Either that or he's muted and he doesn't realize. I muted it. myself and didn't realize. I knew it! <laughs> Sorry. So you weren't level 60, are you? Were you? I was when I came out. I've been level 60 for over a year. On Scholar? Yeah. On, yeah. Why aren't you coming to uh, Scholar? Because disappointed. I wanted. Because I wanted backup. I wanted to back up Serenia just in case shit went wrong. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, that's what I okay. said. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, and plus, right. I didn't want to do I didn't want to do a double monk setup with Dreamer because that really wouldn't work. But, I don't know. Uh, you guys I mean, I, I could have done yeah. summoner, but I'd prefer to be better if we had backup healing. So you can listen this again if you want. To be honest, with your setup with Dreamer, a bard probably would have been better. I don't think it's not a DPS. Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. But... Yeah. And again, I hate monkers when you are. I cannot stop my fucking ability. Boom. Uh. I'm those ads are untargetable. Oh, okay. Whoa! Uh -huh. Figures. It figures. Oh, it is like the. He yeah. doesn't dance. If my lust runs out, do I re lust? Uh, oh no! Oh, whoa, what the hell? Oh, uh, I have a feeling you don't want to let them get to her. It's akin to fucking uh, Tamtara Hard. Yeah, it's really this way. Except that one's coming towards me. Yeah. You don't do that. Um. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this. Okay. I guess. Now I think oh, about it, I guess it makes sense, because it's like. These oh. dungeons are designed for low gear, so. In, well, your gear don't can, matter in here. Yeah, it doesn't matter, no, but you can enter here at a low level. So you wouldn't... Yeah. So they can easily, Ow. like, rehash things, because you, you're not going to be hardcore grinding. Yeah, but these are the floor 101 to, one, uh, floor 101 to 200, they're challenge floors. These are meant for the for higher level, higher level players, especially considering how you have to get in here to these floors in particular. Alright, this thought's definitely way different than. This is like Hake Manor and Tamtarum combined. Yeah, really. Actually, yes, that blood ring just confirmed it. <laughs> this is not the fuck out of. Oh man, that sucks. Well, we're okay. I'm in, yeah, I'm under re raising a thing. Oh yeah, I forgot we. I forgot I used that. I feel like I should use another one, but I, I don't want to chance it. Oh god. Let's put the crisscross boot back in. No, oh, not not missed. Fuck, I hate her. Frantic zombies. Oh god. Should've break it. 
If I remember correctly, the licks, the last uh, patch is next month, correct? I don't know. Oh. My shoulder attack all killed her. Oh. Into me. Damn. Damn. That was rough. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Good work, everybody. Good stuff. <laughs> Dude, he complete. <laughs> that was actually legitimately rough. Yeah. Perhaps we should stop here for now. What do you think? And pick up tomorrow. No, I'm good, man. I want to keep going. I'm gonna keep How's going. Everybody else. Feel? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, what I want to try is 151 to 160. Yeah, at least that. At least, at least that. Um. And then afterwards, because I need to get some things done, uh, and then possibly eat something and go to bed. <laughs> After that, I'm up. Play some. Yeah, mother. Yeah, I might take a bit of a break and then stream again later tonight during raid. Oh, this time I'll be streaming without a fucking mic. Oh, well. wait, That's what a... are you streaming? Not near Automata. Yeah. Oh. I want to get Berserk, but I'm disappointed in Berserk. <clears throat> I, I can't afford to get it myself right now. General purpose gonna, metallic gold buy. I'm gonna wait for I'm gonna wait for the for Steam the uh, mods to uncensor the game. General purpose. Pastel purple die. Uh, yeah, I got that just now too. Now we're going to go into an area where we can get gold trim sacks that have a chance to give us the Nightmare Pegasus mount. Why are you talking about sacks? Because that's what they called. Alright, I'm ready whenever you guys are. It'll give us a poss possibility of the Night Pegasus, that's what it's called. Alright, everyone ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what would you say? Flip them around now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, he'll say <laughs> yes or no based on what he collects. Judging yeah. by the uh, picture, that it, this is probably when the area completely changes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Way more Whoa. careful. No running Whoa. off, no grabbing chests. While we need to be really careful from this point forward, guys. Oh, Damn, yeah. Look at this place. It's this silly, looks man. cool as fuck. What the fuck? It's like the walls are coming down. No, it's like a waterfall, dude. Yeah, or something of that nature. What the fuck? I like it. Okay. <laughs> it looks yeah, it like miasma. Like... Deep eyes oh. and puddings. Or ash. <clears throat> it could be ash, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Although it doesn't seem like we're in the Palace of the Dead anymore. It seems like we're in another dimension at this point. We're not in Kansas anymore. Because we're going into hell. <laughs> the horse is playing this music. Oh, uh, you're you're definitely with the devil. <laughs> Sympath uh, sympathy for the devil. Also, everyone just oh no! Three <laughs> That's why I said do not address. do that while we're in the middle of fighting. We were, it was almost dead, dude. That's why I did that. Please, please wait until it's dead, though. Please. Like, we, we well, need to. It's fine. Because I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of these as we go. Fight. From this point. Goddamn mimics. Mimic is dead. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we should probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, Palace of Gremlins. Don't get them wet. Walls. That's what. That's where you. That's where you're at? Yeah, we're in Palace of the Dead. Yeah, oh, this is 151. Gremlins. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, 151. Oh, vulnerability ups. Oh, shit. Um, 151 out of 200 total. So. How does the stream look, by the way? What, the stream? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can see somewhat what's going on. Uh, I, I know I know who, I know, I can tell, I could. okay. Let's just say in this way is I can't read people's names, but I know what classes you're playing and I know who's doing what. <laughs> oh, okay. And since you have the party list on the left Ow. side, I could tell I could tell who you are and everyone else. I'm bad when it comes to those it's, traps, aren't I? It's just that, that was me. Oh, that, that was, was you. Oh, okay. fuck me. Shit. The text is hard to read. Yeah, as I might have expected. It, it's because I have crap internet, really. Yeah, it's a... I mean, it was good enough for me earlier to see that that summoner sucked! I I don't know what he was doing wrong. <laughs> Intense. Oh, Wait. God, that one would trip me. Well, other than just standing still... Well, there's the carrot uh, of return. Yeah, we don't need to be here. What the hell, dude? This place is weird. Yeah, and these mobs have so much health. I totally dig it. This is gonna sound really weird and really out of place because it actually looks nothing like it. <clears throat> Do you know what I get the feeling of when I when I when I'm playing through this? Hmm. I get the same same feeling I got when you're actually going through Arsenal gear at the end of MGS2 where everything's gone wrong. Yeah, huh. I can see it. And you just get the sense of, this isn't right, this is freaky. Yeah. Especially coupled with the music as well. Same sort of music. You look off the side of the ledges there, it's just bright fucking light. Yeah. Dude, even the floor's moving a little bit, look at that. Yep. It is so weird. Oh, holy fuck! We've already we've not even cleared this entire thing yet, and it's already been five minutes. It's not really the coolest looking shit in the game, though. We were, like environment wise. Yeah, we might have to get selective about which rooms we actually look at. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sneak around, guys. All right. Well, right here, if shit hits the fan. <laughs> fuck off, pals! Putting get close to me. Okay, just an alteration. Yeah, we just probably start using alterations and flights. Yeah. I already used the flight. This was a flight in, in use, I think. EOS! Uh, oh, fuck. I got Hitting you. the task. Stun. EOS silenced Ursuline, rather. Silence <laughs> silenced it. <laughs> This is intriguing. Man, that was the first four. Took us six minutes. Ah. Yeah, we might have to start skipping some shit. Yeah. To at least have, you know, time. <clears throat> unless it says, unless it says, you know, the Accursed Horde is calling you or whatever. Yeah, then we look for it. But if we find yeah. the exit and it's available, we take it. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we gotta kill enough mob stuff. Fuck you. To fuck I you. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chess. Uh, look this hit the dash shit. Sorry, I checked the chest without the, the old things being dead. Sorry, oh, my bad. It's okay. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like the, like. <laughs> we're gonna forget it, fam. I just wanna know, be careful, guys, because it could bite us in the ass. Yeah. That's the cannon return room, and I don't see Ooh. a coffin. There's a silver chest in there, right? Yeah. I got it. Man. It's nice that you can sort of see ahead into the next room with this. Yeah, yeah that is the benefit of this. Because there's no start doing illusion wall. shit and tricking us. And there's uh, <laughs> another silver you know, up here, which is nice. Well, the cool thing is, uh, 
Rogner can level up his arms and armor real, real quick here. Stop grabbing the damn chest. So like oh. that. Grab the... I knew I was going to be okay with the silver chest. Even if it exploded, I would have been fine. I pulled the silver chest can turn into mimics. No, they can't. <laughs> they, 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 can. they can. They can, actually. I've never seen it. Ever. What the... That's just uh, weird. That oh, shit. And that's, that's a gold chest weird. over there, so we don't really need it. Oh, look at that. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an entire fucking, like, wall was rumbling down. It looks like, uh, like, fucking milkshake. Actually. <coughs> what the fuck? Bringing all the boys to the yard? It's like we're playing through a Salvador Dali painting. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Fuck. You appear to hell yeah. Alright, we gotta kill more mobs. Suck like you in one giant fucking slime. Be careful not to trigger traps, guys. Yeah. That's why I skirt around the edges, because it's right, the least likely spots. Oh my god, for a moment there, I thought it was going to let me just run right off the edge. <laughs> now that would be really <laughs> That would have been an interesting feature to this. All make us have to guess and try to transition through walls. Oh, that would be cool. Please add that in the future. There we go. Please disregard anything Neon just said. Oh, that'd be cool! To add hidden walls? That'd be actually kind of yeah. awesome. See? Hector agrees with me. That there would be. There'd be benefits for hidden walls if that's the case. It would be either great loot or lots of. or a huge ass trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome rewards are awesome. Like playing fucking uh, the Tomb of Horrors in fucking DD. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! That's a, the horde is calling us. Uh, let me... This is interesting. This is I kinda... love the design of this place. Oh, another this intuition. Cool. Hell yeah. Um... Uh, I just want this to... This is kind of mind Oh. Alright, yeah. <laughs> I, I, there's a weird game I like to play on those slopes that I found. Already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how he's like, already? <laughs> There's a, uh, Shab Shab yeah. Shab 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 I had to pop from there. You know what's throwing me off the most? Is that there's light coming beneath y'all. Oh. By the yeah, way, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that makes me think we're in another dimension rather than deeper in the palace of the dead. Her. See that magic pile over there? With Actually, the white floors? It makes me yeah. think that we're in Volcrum, uh, Volcrum's tower. Or that, uh, that fucking tower. Uh, oh, gosh. Duck food. Yeah. Well, how dare you? You knew that was gonna... Monster was dead, so fuck off. Hey, uh, I have one question when you get the chance. Could you look up? Holy shit! He's not even... Oh, I, I, just, I just looked up a little bit, and, uh, holy crap. Yeah, it's pure white below us, pure white above us. I looked up the wrong Oh, there's path. the horde, by the way. I just want to see if we more packing oh, this. Oh, there's. Uh, okay, there's one. for the gremlin. You're definitely, you're yeah, definitely... You, may well just, you may as well just kill the gremlin, because it might, we might be able to get out from here. Yeah, that's actually true. Because we already got the horde now. And the exit's here. Yeah. I apologize, guys, for any sniffling. Don't worry. worry, it's that TV season over here. We'll be getting snow soon. Yeah, <laughs> crazily enough. That goes from tornadoes to snow. How, how does that work? Yep. Snow-nado! Snow-nado! Oh god, did they sci-fi movie. <laughs> <laughs> Look That's at this room, cool what the movie. fuck? It's made of pure ash. This is... Fucked up. The fucking walls are melting, dude. It's like I'm on a one big love acid it. trip. Whoever on the design team came up with this shit, you're awesome. <laughs> Which I gotta say, I love the fact that uh, I, I named the stream 3.55B Diadem, yep. and we've only done Diadem once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've done Diadem <laughs> once, and like, alright, let's do Prowse and shit, an hour. <laughs> this looks like cream, this mountain. Snow, fucking ash, whatever the fuck it is, it's like cream. You wouldn't know that, wouldn't you, Mr. Creamer? I, mean, I would. 
Good night. <coughs> I have expertise in these matters. <laughs> Painting the walls. Oh, your body feels heavy. Knock back disabled. Oh, that's an interesting. So. Look at that arch there. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Oh, wow. Oh my god, that's blinding. Yeah. It's cool. That makes you wonder what the deepest parts of this place are going to look like. I know. I just expected to get more intriguing from this point onward. The walls will have nothing but cocks. Cocks. <laughs> oh, Dick walls well, everywhere. Well, his favorite place then. <laughs> yep, hey! it's, it's literally just walls plastered with apples. Don't, don't you mean apple employees? <laughs> apple employees. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine the necromancer that that went through tech support. You failed me for the last time, Nail. Deep, deep palace pot. 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 It's because the trainer <laughs> said wall at the same time. I was trying to say pole pot. Pull pot. <laughs> pot. Pull pot. Ow. Just invest me with its rage. Oh, look, Mouse down. Oh, uh, that room has a bunch of chests and a bunch of death. <laughs> and a bunch of death. Yeah. I have learned this room full of chests. Fuck that room. Walk past oh it. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Please. Look shit. at all that. How can I be. How can I not? Alright. <laughs> Uh, the sad part is, wait. Is it Even with this? Manticore, that might be a problem. Yeah. Not with this stuff. Oh my god, <laughs> you were. Holy shit! No, we're not gonna be able to kill them all in time. No, we're not. This Grab is bad. Just... This is bad. Okay, okay, okay. We got multiples. <laughs> He's right. Oh my god. You've, I think you may have just killed us. Nah. No, no, I don't think so. It's just, it's really fucking intense right now as it is. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Told you. We got both. <laughs> you insane motherfucker. We might have needed those on later flaws. But he needed to try now. Passage uh, is uh, unlocked. So now we just gotta find the passage. At this point, I want those chests. I did not just, <laughs> I did not just start raw chaos. I did not get those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we lived. Yeah. yeah, after this set of floors, I think we're done for then. Shit, yeah. It's like, what? Alright. You are mine. Ooh, a flight. Popped. There's stairs that lead nowhere. Just like. Oh, wait. It leads to my soul. <laughs> Pop stem. Let's do. Give me that. Max potion. Ooh, a max potion. It's appropriate for you. And I just pop pulled something else for you. Have fun. Wait, that? Because I, I, I got you a pop shard, but in consequence, I pulled a uh, deep eye. Uh. <laughs> What's in that chest? Uh, don't know yet. Not oh, now it's. Uh, uh, actually, I, I'm happy that Sam is in here on Scholar now. <laughs> yeah, because he has frog. <laughs> A palm oh, and how appropriate! How appropriate what we just got. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, where's the exit? Good, Good question. question. 
No. I don't think it's that. I think it I is, actually. I, have... I think I see it. I have a funny feeling. I have a funny feeling it's not the exit. Is Wait, that it? A... No, no, we're not. I, I, I think that might be it, but we can peek around that corner there and make sure. I see a treasure coffer. Yeah. Oh, that's what was shooting at us that whole fucking time. Yeah. Rick? Want the gargoyles? Yeah. I was wondering what the fuck was doing that. This floor is huge. Yeah, it, it's back the other way because that's not the exit. That's the other Yeah, thingy. that's the current turn. Yeah. But it's for this close. Isn't that a bronze coffer? I know. Alright. You stop shooting at you giant fucking asshole. <laughs> I just want to fuck with us. You need a succubus. Oh, oh shit, dude. Double the pot. Just, just, just stick to the wall. Yeah. The wall. Aggroed. No, nope. aggroed. Yeah, because the pot moves. It's my Siri. Do. Why is it always you, Serenia? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just use balance on us so we get more damage. Why do you always bring us pain? So I can heal it later. You're the reason Decker Kane died. It was all you. Yeah, it was you. Again. It was you the entire time, and that cat just looks so fucking betrayed. Well, you've got pox. She's had it for a while. It's only got a minute left, so I'm good. Yeah, there's the fucking Be passage. Being the tank, I, I can handle it pretty easily. Especially Let's since we, we have can. healers, too. Really? No! What? Oh, ah. me. Yeah, things just went awry, huh? Pretty much we can't do that chaos potion again because we lost so much fucking time. It was worth it. We need to go that way anyway. Yeah, we did. Unfortunately. Because it led towards the exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had no choice, my friends. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, we did not. So see, the, the psycho led you down the correct path. Inadvertently. It, it was all part of the plan. Well, I've been trying to. Uh, was it worth it? I I've been trying to assist with my cards as much as I can. Oh man. This is Stop intense. Ag Stop aggroing things, Serena. <laughs> but this is gonna be a mimic. Horde is calling us. I would slap you in the face if it were. Commander of sight. You know what? <laughs> Go ahead. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Palm in your sight, walk straight into the landmine. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> it was a chest. It was so weird timing. Right as the map showed, explosion! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At that point, I'm like, wow, they're pulling that type of shit on us. The palm enders are trapped now? Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. That's <laughs> fucking fair. Now we gotta figure out where the horde's at. I think I see it. No, that's another trap. I saw a glow and I'm like... This is weird. It would be just like them to have it in this fucking corner. You know what? I see it. I see it from here. It's in and that I... corner, isn't it? God damn it, I see it, yeah. Not used to Palm Ender of Flight from the last thing. So just think of how many things would have been in here. Oh, man. Intense. Fucking brutal and intense. This is actually pretty exhilarating, though, gotta say. Whoa, 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 whoa. You almost fucking grabbed that, dude. It's because I mistargeted. I thought I was targeting the gremlin. Strength, hey, okay. it's another gold trim sack, motherfuckers. I don't like how empty the sensor is. Yeah, okay. neither do I. It's kind of ominous. Go do push-ups in the center. Whoa! What? What? Fuck! What just smacked him in the face? 
I think it might have been the side attack from this thing because it doesn't show. Oh. Uh, my bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, it killed show him from one hit. That means we gotta be careful. Oh man. Yeah, what is his armor at right now? We gotta check. 72. Not bad. But that could be all the difference, too. True, because it's I not only your HP, it's your I wouldn't expect them to big can of insta death, though. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, from, apparently from floor 80, everything... Oh, floor 180, everything's an insta kill mechanic at that point. Yeah. And then how do you survive? It, turns, it, it signals it. Supposedly. Do the little bit of looking up. There's okay. indicators to show you oh, to the that insta kill's coming. You had to dodge it. <laughs> and there's a pop right on the spot that we need to be at. Well, there's also a chest there, so might as well go for it. And this guy's gonna fucking shoot shit ass anyway. That's true. We got time then. Well, we've got five more floors to go through in 36 minutes. I think we're fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm calculating how, how you would divide 60 minutes with, with yeah, 10 Yeah, but floors. if it keeps getting rougher from this point on, though, it's... Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna get rough. I mean, you, you've pretty much earned everything you get here. Commander of Steel. I'm definitely using that. I am. All right. Well, we got to deal with that motherfucker anyway, so... That room back there looks pretty cool. There you see the... That yeah, move. The, actually, look, yeah. Look, 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 look. Yeah, look away. I wonder if it's like that in 11, honestly. I almost stepped on that fucking trap. <laughs> it's a that toss. That was suck. Pots are like boss level, what the fuck? Fifty-six! The wise words of the worms from worms. Leave me alone! <laughs> Hallelujah! What the fuck? What we the just fuck? Start out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> The invisible wars walls are starting to kick in. Fuck that. Can't miss fade in this floor. Soul flares! <laughs> oh, bright. Ice spikes. God you, damn. Know how, you know how fucked up that would have been if you were just in an area of, of light? And you had to figure it out? Whoa! <laughs> The ice, ice spikes. spikes. Holy shit. Yeah, if anything's got ice spikes on it, leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. the, the damage wasn't anywhere near that on Vel, though. No, I'm with Vel. It also looked like he's got vulnerability down. I did not oh, have that. Oh, good point. Well, you know what? I guess it's time to start using this. Yeah. So, yeah I think from this point onward, I'm going to start banking the bowls. I'm glad I'm staying in tank stance. My yeah. blast. <laughs> God damn, man. This is ridiculous. All they want to do is eat your brain. Yeah. <laughs> or blow it up. Oh, it's All you... they want to do is eat, eat your, your brain. brain. I just see a room past this one that doesn't look fun. Oh, oh god, please my don't let the exit god! Be there. Please do not let the exit be past that. Um, the exit, the exit's right in front of us. Oh, oh okay. god! Point that out. As I added an angle, I couldn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not the same god. here, but holy fuck! Was that was that a trap? If you wasn't paying attention to the exit, you just run towards that. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe you son of a bitch. There's no gold chest in that at all. I want him dead for shooting at me. Okay. And if it, uh, if it enables the exit, well, fuck it. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you need to come up for enabling the exit anyway. I just want to know how the hell that ice spike killed you. I was doing like fucking uh, like 5k a hit to you. I did a one elm punch with it. Maybe that was a, a, like a insta kill or some shit of that nature. No, to every time you hit it, it chunked your HP by like 30%. I was watching it. Okay. I was watching that, that. It didn't really get time to heal you because of how fast you hit. Uh, okay, so devil it. Don't attack, don't attack them. What, well, yeah, don't attack them when they have their ice spikes on. Yeah, don't melee them, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Which is all you can do. Okay, there we go. 
Now I'm just waiting for the ice spikes to go down. Right. At least that ice spikes doesn't last very long. Normally oh it God. lasts a lot longer than Guys, that. Guys, move over this way. Huh? What? Wait, Wait what? Oh. Oh, yeah, one of the golems is coming this way. Rip, rip, rip. Uh, oh, we nope. Oh, we it's need to active. kill it anyway. Yeah, it's not active. I'm slowly. <laughs> I'll drop. That looks like it would hurt. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're a Lollafell, I'll have to trade power right there. <laughs> but now. But look at that room! My god in heaven! I would not want to try this solo. No wonder people say they have a hard time getting past 150 solo. Shit, man. Shit, now we gotta make a choice. And there's a chest in there too, and it's a gold this one. one. Yeah. yeah. And there's a room behind it too that has a chest in it. Well, I don't think we'll need to go that far. Yeah. This is fun, though. There we go. GTFO. Yeah. It, it bothers the fuck out of me that we can't get, get the more. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was no timer. If there was no timer, I'd say take everything. You know. Or Unfortunately, at least the timer was better, longer. Just the point, apparently. Yay! Ah, oh, fuck. Now, question: Do mimics count towards the floor enemy count? Yes. Yeah. I wish that there. What the hell? Who the hell hit that? Uh. <laughs> Zach! Trinia. I did that on purpose so it couldn't infatuate us. What did well, I he do? He, he, used the, he used the Pomander of Witching so it couldn't pox us. Yes. What a, that was a bit of a waste, honestly. That, it's worth it. Weak. <sighs> That could have saved us from that could have saved us from a room full of bullshit. We're good, yeah. don't worry. Ashton's coffee. Fuck this! Oh fuck. Oh, boss! It could have saved us from this. If we oh. die now, this is on you. We won't. <laughs> this is just stay for the fact that. I gotta look at that devlet too, make sure he doesn't have ice spikes. Actually, it's probably best to beat on the devlet until, until he puts up ice spikes. We still have a Palmander of Raising if we need it. Not to mention, we have Palmanders of Resolution that we can use as well. Yeah, but we might need that with a little 200. Well, we'll get more between now and then, I can promise you that. Well, it, not if we keep skipping the chest one more. Which we might yeah. need to do, which we're gonna need to do with this, right? To be honest. Okay, kill the devlet. Devlet's dead. Okay. Alright, so when we can, we should and try to grab chest as we go. Yep, here's the, uh, uh exit. There's a bronze chest right there. You got more in pot shirt. There's a gold chest back there in the room with the fucking... He might be a hassle, so let's go ahead and get him out of the way. Yeah. There's roaming drop. mobs. Feels really, drop. now the the big problem here is damage. Well, I can switch. There we go. I'm just... I'm a little... scared to be in... this stance. You know? Well, I can get... Like, once we get to floor eight, 180, if we make it that far, <laughs> you might want to stay in Deliverance, because every one of their weapon skills is going to be a one-shot anyway. Well, do we actually know it's a one-shot other time? Apparently, that's what people are saying when you look it up. All I know is I'm having fun with you guys. Yeah, it, this is intense, is what it is. We gotta kill that fucker too. anyway. Yeah, fuck him. We gotta kill him anyway. The reason why we're taking so long with this is the typical party stuff. There's two DPS, one healer, one tank. I work. Lost. 
before I jump into that, is there... No, I'd have to fight to get to that. I was just seeing if I could get that chest or not, without having to fight more of this. Now, if we reach 159 with plenty of time, then we can clear that shit out and see if there's gold chests. Mm. Oh. oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Oh. Ooh, intuition. Don't, don't use it. Save it. Yeah, I'm not using it at all. We got two gold. I'll, I'll do... Anyway. I don't know. Clip you guys. I would. Hold, I'll hold it. Yeah, hold it for next time. Ooh, an arch demon. Get over it. <laughs> I, I, whenever I see these new mobs, I want to test them just to see if they got any fucked up mechanics. That, that's the reason why I pull mobs I haven't seen before. No, that's no problem at all. Don't but, say uh, that. Is this one of your family? Ow! Family? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's no problem at all, dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, I didn't catch on, so. One of your family you members, huh? Give me this. Dirty. Yeah. Old chest over here. You absolute fog stick. <laughs> oh God shit! Damn it. No, that that's the game. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it too. Mimic first. Mimic, mimic yeah. first. Just... Oh shit. God. Well, I'm popping that. Yeah, that's trap. I'm beginning to really not like how this is making me feel. Yeah, because you mean. But, uh, very. Tense. I'm, I'm actually starting to get anxious. Oof. Because we're running all the time, I'm betting. What do you feel? You're starting to feel what I feel almost on a daily basis, though. Well, it's, it, it's now the fact that we're in pressured situations. Exactly. Hey, I live with anxiety. I already know what it feels like. No, no, I mean yeah. as a dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and use that purity. Hey, I just got the... I... No. Fuck, oh, fuck, 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 Thank God, that is... It. Thankfully, that is stunnable. At least at this floor. <laughs> what, Mortal Ray? Oh, no, I just realized. I, I see uh, where we gotta go, and, uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. I completely fucked that up. The floor we're at now has the exit. So. Just gotta kill enough mobs to get over to 159. No, fucking gargoyle! <laughs> yeah, we're killing it just out of principle at this point. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, we actually we, we have to. I need to kill it. We gotta kill mobs. Yeah, but right. you're next, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> This is ridiculous. They're back! This is Glo cool, though. Glory to mankind. Indeed. Oh, oh no! no. I stepped back, like, one fucking step. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> balance is out. out. And that fucking happens. Oh, oh my god. I'm shit everywhere. In fact, I'm gonna do this so that we can get an extra layer of regeneration. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea because it'd be hard for me to see AoEs through it. No, I, I was gonna drop it early so we keep the, the um. Ow! Fucker! Drain touch on me. Oh, well, now the passage is open. Oh, the passage is open. So the trap uh, inadvertently helped us a little bit. Oh, fuck, mine blasts. You're gonna get hit by one of them. Nope. That makes me a little sad though because I was wanting to go a little bit deeper. Aw. <laughs> uh, oh, well. We could, but you know, I think we have to. Uh, we got another pool. We're good. All right. Yeah, we can keep. Let, let's go to the next one. Ow! Floor. Yeah, it's not. It's not getting too green. <laughs> he just threw it up. Bam! I'm just gonna pull it over here so I can jump into the thing after we kill it. And, and then, then we get the boss on top of this. Oh. oh. Not again. Oh, really? And wounds refuse. 
So. Shit. <laughs> so, uh, should we use our last serenity or hold it for something worse? I think we should hold it for something worse. It's gonna suck that I can't draw my cards, but, well. Well, look at what well, we gotta deal with, too. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fill my fist! It's PMS time. Metacore, 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 Metacore. Going to make you hurt, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You're oh. definitely going to hurt, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck, I can't use, I can't use my uh, essential dignity. Doesn't matter, they're dead. I can't use Lost Strike. Yeah, <laughs> your bones are locked. It wouldn't let me shove them off the edge. <laughs> Wouldn't you like that? Kind of like when I got blown back in the in the diet and I fell to my death. That's that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might just be white sand, though. Possible. What is over here? <laughs> Look at these giant blocks. That's cool. Interesting. I'm going to get this chest because I can't. Alright. Uh, okay. uh, alteration. All right. How about you fuck off, you <coughs> Taurus fuckface? You mortal raid out your ass for all I care. There's the return. Hey, there it is. And a coffer. So, hey. And, and a coffer. Yeah. We'll just do this. We'll just. Ow! You want uh, explode? <laughs> that kind of hurt. Alright, boss time. <laughs> no wonder the fucking mound's so expensive. This place is fucking ah, it's brutal. Yeah. Codes for my lost it. Uh, sure. Let, let us prep. I'm gonna steal. I like that horse. Though. You go ahead and palm in your strength. Uh, yeah. You know uh, I. I have a sneaking suspicion that I might want to use our raising, but at the same time, it's the last one we got. We'll just wait. Right, yeah. yeah, if it feels All like right. things are going south, I'll pop it. Let's go. Okay. We have no idea how this shot's going to flow. Oh, hell no. Tipped up version of fucking... Ooh, at this point, we should have looked it up, really. But, yeah. Ah, uh, it's more fun this way. It is. One more fun also says floor 51 again, bitch. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. We can't target those either, can we? But off oh, off oh, oh shit, yeah, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna charge me. He's, he's gotta go knock you back too whenever he does it. Oh, yeah, that's okay. what I thought. Yeah. So try to angle yourself where you don't get slammed into one of these or that goopy shit. Yeah, seems like it. Hannah, it's a bad time to be sitting <laughs> there. Ah! Alright, I'm gonna. Okay. Oh my god, that bleed is severe. If you stand in those. That's where oh. the fight gets different. Well, up this way. Up this way. Never mind. Yes! We got out of it. Just okay. fucking barely, dude. I saw that. I know. Skin in my fucking teeth. I'm about threading the fucking needle. Mm hmm. My little legs are good for something. You being so tiny, X is you. Oh no, that's not good. You don't want them that close, you guys don't want to stay towards the edges. That's dangerous. And plus I got I got one uh I got my ability here that will help me with that. If need Fucking be. Fucking leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. god! Thankfully he chose another target. That yeah, wasn't me. We got this, I guess. Watch him pull some bullshit at 10%. Z Shin Zantescan. Crap Tetskin. No. I was gonna say it's a bit late now. Eh. I bet it matters. Good finish. 
Hell yeah, motherfuckers. God. Good job, everybody. Yay. Before I exit, I gotta look over this edge, because that looks cool as fuck. Yeah, it does look cool. That's awesome. The cubes. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Makes me wonder what this lobby's gonna look like. Oh my god. That was some... There's gold in them there sacks! Yeah, there is. We oh, earned that. Cool. We earned those sacks. I like this transition room. Yeah, this is a nice transition room. <laughs> my lord. Well, if you look straight up in here, it's darkness. What in the fuck? Yeah. <coughs> uh, I, I definitely have to see what's Magic guys, 40 more floors and then we're done. If we make it that far. Alright, yeah. We'll Alright, gold trim sack number one. Palace of the Dead interior wall. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. That's what I got. And Dead Hive Battle Axe, high quality. Endless. Expanse. That's, ooh, that's, that's, yeah, Expanse is uh, Bismarck and Death Hive is fucking Nirvana. Let's see. Na -na 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 Moonlit. Dead Hive Log Globe. Okay. Nice, Sam. Dead Hive Battle Axe and a Dead Hive Long Pole. These are the Nirvana Glamours. Hey, Neon. Look at this thing, okay. Hey, Neon. Yeah, I am, like, pistol. Well, the Savage Might material. Oh, how it. Cool. <laughs> Intense! Oh, yeah. I still need to reconfigure my warrior bar. Damn it, I'll worry, I'll worry about that later. I'm not too worried about it. I wonder if this sells for anything at all. It still looks cooler. Fields of glory shatter, robust light. But yeah, like the in, the pal uh, Palace of the Dead interior wall, I think actually sells for a bit. Yeah, I think it, it might be that white shit. It is. It's the it's the one that has like the Triforce on it or the Midas symbol or whatever it is. Oh, Holy plan. shit! The Dead Hive Long Pole HQ is two hundred k. Oh shit! Nice. The Dead Hive Battle Axe is three hundred sixty nine k. Oh shit! Look at that. The level uh, to which I actually hate you guys right now is ridiculous. I got absolutely fuck all. What did you get? <laughs> you got the high elegant you like pistol it. and the, the Savage Might Materia 5. Well, the Savage Might Materia 5 sells for a bit. And the uh, the elegant pistol might sell for a lot too. I don't know. It doesn't. Oh, doesn't it? It really doesn't, though. Goes to show you what the potential possibilities of making the money. It's yeah. worth doing. I'm getting fucked over. How many get more important oh, yeah. did I get from all that? Seven. I got seven. Nice. Damn, dude, I only got two. Well, I already had some on me, though. I had like. For reference, Savage yeah. Mike Materia 5 is worth 9,900. Oh wow, that what? dropped. For a five? Yeah, because feed them. Oh. So I got absolutely fuck all in the. Boy, right. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, dude. It's alright. And the high elegant pistol is 15k. Well, at least it's something. <sighs> A lot of headache, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of headache for essentially 20, 24k. 
and you guys got, what, half a million? Or at least one of you did. Yeah, I did. I, I won't lie, I'm a bit salty, but it's not, it's not your guys' fault. RNG got you today. RNG oh, always gets me, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. I, I can definitely vouch for that. RNG does fuck him over a lot. But at least he got a lot of upgrades on his weapon and armor. He got pretty good there. He did. And at least now we know we can go up to 160 at least. Yeah. Yeah, we've proven it. We'll go to 161 and just die. <laughs> oh, that would suck. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I would. I would laugh. If you predicted that. We finally made it up here. BAM! Oh. <laughs> That's a one step forward. Trap! Explosion! Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Let's be fair. The, the person that's, that's more, the most likely to do that is me. Don't shoulder tackle the something and set up one of those traps that have all the monsters spawn them. You know, oh, come God, running yeah. back. Stop an explosion <laughs> trap. It's not my kill fault. Himself there, and then they'll keep running at us. <laughs> <laughs> they came from behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got me excited now for the future floors and see what we what we can actually do. Yeah. Let's see how epically we walk. Because we had about 16 minutes, 17 minutes left Something after like the boss that, fight. Yeah. We could potentially do this. I can't believe I dropped three million on shit today. Yeah, because uh, you just saw something like, "Oh my God, one!" and you just bought all that. I, I've never won the glamour thing that badly before. It's not even glamour; it's actually legit pieces. But I wanted it for glamour. Somebody yeah. else would have used it as equipment. Not me. This is true. And I, and I have road floors strapped to my tits. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Those are basically road flares, ain't they? That's what it looks like to me. Looks like road flares or oversized shotgun shells. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's using that shotgun, what the fuck are you taking down with that? That's a little dude. much even for a behemoth. I want to make the behemoth's head explode off of its body. <laughs> Fuck you. It actually makes me wonder, XIVDB, are you up right now? XIVDB? Yes, you are. I actually look like a... <laughs> a damn seal right now. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Who's Sido BB? Sido, X what? XIVDB. Oh. Sido BB. What? Sido BB. Is that is that a, a hentai side or some shit? What? Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, the Vivian site, the, the, the Vivian, yeah, Vivian Ite is uh, only gone from exploratory voyages. <laughs> uh, I'm dipping out of this for now. Game. That I had fun with you guys. Yeah, that was fun. I need a break from that shit. What I need to do is fucking. Take the trash out, take my dog out, get some food, take a shower, and go to bed. Yeah, I'm probably it's gonna... It's a shame we did so little Palace of the Dead, but we done a lot of floors of died, didn't we? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we were in diet and all fucking day, and we only did Palace of the Dead once, but it's this shit. Anyway, though, I think I need a bit of a break, because I've been live here for about 8 hours and 40 minutes. Um, and I think Neon wants to stream some Nier Automata, so I'll, get, I'll let him do that. But I'll, well, probably... I'll do that after I walk my dog. <laughs> yeah, but I'll probably be back later tonight to stream my raid group um, as we progress through A11S and whatnot. Only Hopefully the raid group, to... though. He won't be there. He'll just be there as a cameraman. Yeah, that's true. Because, um, see, what they don't know is they add, actually added uh, spectator mode so I can actually spectate. And, no, no. That's bullshit. Anyway, thank that's you guys too bad. for those of you that tank hung out with me for these eight hours though i don't think anyone really did but but yeah other than you, these guys anyway but um thank uh, you guys so much for the help and as always if you want to donate to the thingy there's a thing down below and i will see you guys soon uh later um <laughs> thanks for watching guys i need a break take care
Cool. Oh, 